At Jewellery Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. Buying with Jewellery Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver, or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. <laughs> Hello, jewellery makers. It's Pearl Weekend. We're back, we're back, we're back. Jan, I'm so Hello. thrilled to be on with you again. It's only our second show, isn't it? It is. Our second show. Our second show and Pearl Weekend. It's going to be fab. It's been manic. Did you see yesterday's show? I did. Oh, it was, I was brilliant, wasn't it? A lot. Were you? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 
There you go. It's, it's fab. It's always um, testament, isn't it, when the, the guest designers come in and they're always buying everything. You couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. We had some brilliant deals yesterday and we've still got loads and loads and loads and loads of loads coming up today as well. Sorry, my voice is very, very husky today, so I'm pleased you're here anyway. I said, you're going to have to help me through all this. <laughs> we've got the most exciting five hours to bring you, packed full of goodies. Um, what do you want to show, Becky, first? I mean, there's so much to show you. Let's show some of your jewellery, Jan, because okay. you've been busy, busy, busy. I've had a fabulous time with, uh, with both of the kits. That's so beautiful. <gasps> they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And we've got brand new pegs. Mm -hmm. So um, people know that I love drilling pearls. Yeah. So I've drilled pearls before and set Swarovski in, but never, um, never had a specific... Uh, insert that's this beautiful. They're gorgeous. just gorgeous and so easy to do as well. We've got, I think, moon stars. We've got all sorts, haven't we? We have. They're going to be beautiful. coming up. So if you've got any questions with referring to, you know, your Dremel, using any of your, your tools, get them in today because we are going to be doing lots of demonstrations as well. We aren't are. We, with pearls we, and pearl knotting. We so. are. We're going to do a, a pearl knotting demonstration with the first kit and then we're going to do a drilling demonstration with the second kit to show Fantastic. how to sort of set in. Fantastic. Also, something that's come back into stock, it's today's uh, must-have, are these. Now, I don't think these have been on for ages. Since, in fact, last August, I don't oh, wow. think we've had these in. And they're great to do double rows of, uh, of pearls, Pearl. aren't they? Absolutely brilliant and really secure as well. Oh, because the way they fit together. Yeah, they sort gorgeous. of slide, um, slide apart, which are just yeah. so useful. They're really, really secure. Ooh. And very versatile, actually. Not just for multi strands of, of pearl bracelets. You could do earrings with those. Just you use them as connectors. Earrings. Exactly, yeah. yeah. They're beautiful. They're coming up at three o'clock. We've got a huge, huge quantity. Um, as Jan was saying, we've also got brand new pegs. Uh, so we've got the... Oh gosh, they're really lovely. We've got the, the stars, we've got some multicoloured ones, we've got um, we've got rose gold ones, stars all coming up in the two o'clock show, uh, sh uh, show. Also, we've got the Town Talk Pearl Care Kit because quite Ooh. often I talk about not being able to use products on pearls, so it's amazing to be able to say, this is how you clean your pearls. And that's it. To have something specific yeah. to do that is, is really fab, isn't it? I tried to get this last time we had it and I didn't get it. This time today. Yeah. Today's the day, Jan. Yes. Uh, have we got a nice quantity of those as well? Uh, not really. I think they are. They will sell out again. There's 50 of each, so with how successful, how busy this weekend's been, I think that'll be the last time to see those as well. Right, should we get started? We're going to get started with some strands of pearls. Now, we've seen Ooh. pearls for every sort of occasion. I think they are just so, so classic and for every age. Yeah. Uh, just timeless, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Like you say, pearls are timeless. And we have such an array of different pearls it covers all age range, doesn't it? All generations it mm -hmm. covers. And, when, and these are beautiful. And when you get that, that beautiful star shape, yeah. it's just fabulous. And we've actually got some star pegs in the kit. So to put a star peg on a star pearl would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Could, so could you do that? Are these, um, are these ones, we're going to go through what, which ones you can and yeah. can't drill. Yeah. But you think these ones would be suitable to put a star in? You could put a star in there. You'd drill it in a slightly different way, which we're going to talk about yeah. later on. But, um, it's but yeah, doable. Do, it's doable, yeah. Brilliant. So let me count how many you get on here, because I think these are really lovely individual yes. pearl pieces yeah. as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. 50, 60, 70, 80, 19, 20. Wow. So you're getting 20. Well, that could have worked that out, couldn't I? They're 10 millimetres each. You've got 20 centimetre strand. They should be 34.95. I think this is what baffled me when I first started here, Jan, is the prices yeah. on... Well, I, I instantly knew the prices on gemstones were brilliant, but pearls... Yeah, crazy. Me and Becky were talking about this this morning. It's really hard, isn't it, Becky, to price pearls because you see pearls that you are out on the high street or in designer stores that are thousands and thousands yeah. and i think well what's the difference with ours how are they so much more affordable it's simply down to our buying power isn't it and, and that's exactly it <clears throat> i think i think we've got such good relationships with um with suppliers and pearl farmers and things that the, the, you know you're sort of cutting out the middleman aren't you or lots of middlemen and it's coming sort of straight from source sometimes straight to to screen yeah absolutely which is fabulous isn't it 
Oh, it really is. And these are so unusual. Don't get me wrong, still very classic in that classic pearl colour, but to be able to have a star, I don't think yeah. I've ever seen it before. I don't know whether we've got any other star pearl strands, so make the most of this. We've only got nine. Shall we keep up with the chaos? The last couple of days have been absolutely amazing. We're going to keep up with it. 19 pounds, 95 wow. pence. Wow, wow, wow. So that'd be great as earrings, wouldn't they? Just imagine yeah. one of those, though, with a silver chain uh, and just have one star in the centre. Just sort of sitting in oh, there. Oh, a necklace. It would please. look beautiful, wouldn't it? Earrings, rings. Yeah, rings necklaces. would be fab. Gorgeous. And it's so different. It's something a bit different. I think it's really fun. If you're making um, to sell, yes. you can't go wrong. No, I think motifs like stars and flowers and, and, and that sort of thing and hearts are always, always popular. Absolutely. So to get that in a pearl as well, it's, um, yeah, doubly brilliant. If you've got any questions for Jan whatsoever, if you've got any any tips that you want to share as well with us, then this is what I love about the jewellery maker community. Everybody's always sharing their advice and tips and, and that's online, the thing learning that together. On, on Facebook, you know, if you've got a problem and you put it out on Facebook, people will always come back to you. There's always somebody out there who knows the answer to the question. Yeah, absolutely. So, so get in touch with us. Uh, 19 pounds, 95 pence. Well done, Eileen. Congratulations, Carol, London, Kent, Cheshire, Marilyn, Devon. It is very, very busy, just so you know. And it's going to get busier and busier and busier throughout the day. Um, that was number 10. We've now got... See, I love this colour. This colour is almost like an aubergine -y. That is so pretty, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Has it already got a post up? It has. So this has already there. been sort of drilled and set for you. So oh. you could simply just put this onto a, a jump ring and go. That's it. Jump ring. If you can open and close a jump ring, you can make a beautiful piece of jewellery with that. <gasps> Jump ring onto a sterling silver chain. How gorgeous would that be? And it is a 925 sterling silver peg in wow. there as well. That's How beautiful, beautiful colour as well, isn't it? <gasps> It's huge, right? So, in fact, Jan, I know how much you love pearls, and me and Becky were talking about it. Slight changes in the size yes. and the shape yeah. can alter the value yeah. quite it, dramatically, actually. Well, it does, you go up. And when you're talking about, um, what are these, sort of like 30, up to 13 millimetre? So, you know, when you're talking that, you're talking luxury pearl size, aren't you? Uh -huh. So then you're talking sort of, you, you're going up up a value. So as the size of the pearl increases, I think the value, the other value's got to increase, hasn't it? But right. some gemstones, stones, for example, a quartz. Millimetre sizes don't really make too much of a difference in terms of value. With yeah. pearl, it's years, isn't it? It's and years of growing that yeah. would, that and would that, make a big... That's the thing, you know, that, that pearl has taken a long time to grow. Mm -hmm. um, and, so, I mean, it's so beautiful. And that one, I mean, look how smooth it is as well. It is. They're the sort of things that you're looking for, is to be able to have that lovely, can you see that high sheen to it Gorgeous. without um, too many... I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love the baroque pearls yes. that you get as well but what values a pearl is is how smooth it is yeah. as well how is the two? Oh, you're getting two already people checking out are you ready to see the price you're getting both of these for less than 50 pounds you're shaking your head that's crazy see because i make and sell um in a hotel and i know that if i put a jump ring on that put it on a chain put it in a gift box just the one in the cabinet, for me, that's going to get sort of £70. You're talking £70, £80 for that? Oh, and you're getting two of them for £49.95. It's a no-brainer. This is a good point to make, actually. If you are making to sell, when you're looking at pearls, think about where you're selling them as well. That's it. I think it's your market. I think um, you've, got to, you've got to aim it to the market. And I know where I sell. I know the price that I can get to. I know a ceiling price that I, can, mm -hmm. that I, that I shouldn't cross, really. Um, but when you're getting them for this sort of price, then, um, you know, you can't use formulas, as a lot of people do. You know, put a percentage on for this and a percentage for that, because it doesn't work. Jan, it's not your price. That is not even your price. Bearing in mind, we are happy at £49.95 for one of those. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea you're actually going to get both of them. Oh, what? my goodness. That's great. Oh, see, this is why the Pearl Weekend has just been absolutely <laughs> manic. Bonkers. Oh, that is bonkers. And you've already got your 925 sterling silver peg in there. It is a pair of beautiful lavender freshwater cultured nucleated pearls for just £24.95. I would be contacting, you know, my local bridal shops. Definitely. Uh, you know, hotels, like you said. Yeah, yeah. 
and, and that's the thing. This is the sort of place that you're going to be looking at selling these. Because imagine the bride wearing that, you oh, know, yes. on her wedding day. Would be stunning, wouldn't it? Also, mother of the bride, these colours are lovely yep. for the bridal party, yep. aren't they? And sort of bridesmaids gifts and that that's sort of it. thing. And at these sort of prices, you can afford you can, to do yeah, it. Exactly. That's it. Twenty-four by ninety-five. Even somebody that is just dipping their toe into jewellery making, don't worry. You don't need to go on a, a pearl knotting course, or you don't need to invest in loads of tools and different uh nope. you know to be able to set this into beautiful jewelry that's just a jump ring if you can open and close your jump ring you're done that's going to sell out about to sell out i love these shapes jan oh that's pretty they were so nice it's just so organic isn't it i do think it's i um have got a, a jewelry box well i used to have a jewelry box and it had audrey hepburn on pearls you just think of some of the biggest icons of the decades don't you they're gorgeous aren't they they're really pretty, and they're, they're sort of similar to the second kit. Okay. So you can set into these, drill into these, and, and set the um, pegs into them. They will look, be look beautiful. Um, yeah, they're gorgeous. They're, they make great earrings because you've got that drop shape to them. Um, but again, you can knot them. They look great because they just sort of follow on. That, yeah, they're really pretty. They're called coins with tails. That's it's so cool, cool isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you're getting loads and loads and loads on this strand. 38 centimetre strand, bearing in mind, ah, oh, okay, this is the last to stop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Look at that one. They're all really different as well. There's 23 pearls on here. For the very last to stock, we have got... 12 chances to get this at 80 something pence each. Wow. But each of those could be a pendant, could be earrings. Absolutely. Couldn't they? Gosh, Very yeah. Pretty. And these are your classic sort of ivory colour as yes. well. Yeah. Always going to be beautiful. popular. £19.95 for your white fresh water, culture bought pearls with the little tails. They are like a, a nice little almost pear shape. Well done, everybody. It, it, ha it has been very, very busy all day long, just so you know, Angela, Tracy. In fact, if everybody checks out, we're oversubscribed. There's three left, and there's about 25 of you that have got it in your basket. Got to be quick. Janet, Linda, Janice, Annette, Carolyn, Cheshire, Elaine. It's about to go. About to sell out. In fact, I think it may have... Have they sold out? It's one. Room for one of you to put that in your basket. I think that, well, I say in your basket, one chance to check out. Gone. If you've missed out on those, come back and look at the second kit. That's what time is that? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Say no more, say no more. Amazing. Let's have a look at. Oh, are these like little. Um, oh, they're but are they? Are they drilled, double are drilled? They double drilled, cross drilled. Right. Uh, what does. What does that mean, cross drill? So I you, can see the different so holes. So you've got but a, a button pearl, yeah. but then you've got the drill hole, but then you see the other drill hole goes straight across it as well. How does that help us as jewellery makers? Well, it's obviously it depends on what sort of designs you want to do. Uh, if people go onto my Facebook page, Jane mm -hmm. Guest Designer Janet Dwyer, there are a few designs on there because I've had kits with these in. Um, and they're great for sort of putting together, like if you like seed bead designs and you want to use your pearls in seed bead designs, these are great because you've got the different different drill holes ah oh, hang on hang on hang on uh, right we'll come back to the cross drilled ones we will come back to the ooh, cross drilled ones before. we've got these first what a beautiful color <gasps> gorgeous have these been dyed yes they have been i was going to say this is such a beautiful color. this is the great thing about the variety of pearls that we're bringing you're going to get such a high-end look and unusual colours as well. It's a real metallic sort of yeah. um, petrol on watercolour, isn't it? It is. It's so beautiful. I love that shape as well. Deep grey, beautiful. Are they like, they're like a I'd rhombus. Call them a peacock, to be honest. <gasps> well, yeah, because they're, they're like a peacock colour, aren't they? A peacock pearl colour. But very metallic. Oh, they're lovely. They're like an iridescence to them. See, pearl jewellery, yes is very classic and very sort of timeless but this i'm thinking contemporary modern yes. designs and that's the thing you know you can use your your pearls in your classic designs but when you get pearls like this it really brings them bang up to date doesn't it mm. really really beautiful 
Just £16.95. £16.95. See, lots of the other pearls that I think of, I think, right, just keep them with just pearls. But actually, I'm thinking about other gemstones and sea beads that you can add with these. That'd be great. With some labradorite or something, wouldn't oh, that? Yes. Yeah. Accenting with black spinels in oh, between. Yeah. That'd nice. be cool. £16.95. Wow. I think they were. They were 19, number 19. Did I, did, these were in 13, is that right? Okay, so let's go back to the cross trailed. Yeah. So they've got that, sort of like a flat base to them, haven't they? Yeah, so, so they're like a button pearl, right. but they've got that, um, that double drilled mm -hmm. section, uh, which allows you to, so if you imagine that you, you're making a pearl necklace, but you want a drop from it, and you don't want to just hang that drop on there. You could use one of these as the centre to that necklace, but then you've got the hole going through the other way, haven't you? Right. So you can put a head pin through it and, and put a drop on it. <gasps> nice. So there's lots of ways. If you put um, beading thread through both of them and bring them together, it's difficult to explain, but there are lots of pictures I on my... I was just going to see um, if there's something behind us that's used the cross-drilled. We've got loads of examples. Yeah. There are lots of pictures on my Facebook page. Oh, brilliant. Um, and we've done sort of crosses with them. Um, and they're great if you do seed beads because you can um, use this to sort of go through and add your seed beads to it. They're great if you want to add them to shibori and that sort of stuff. So they do everything that a, a beautiful button pearl would do, but with the added bonus of having that second drill hole. Mm. Um, and they're very popular and they are gorgeous. Now, I know that drill hole, uh, the drill holes in pearls are normally quite small, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. So what sort of a beading thread or what would well, you Well, with these to before, I've used, um, I've used beading thread, mm -hmm. our standard beading thread. We'll go through both of them because the way they're drilled, it, I mean, it's really precise the way they're drilled as well. So you can get beading thread through both of the holes and they will cross over perfectly. Oh, nice. They are so classic, aren't they? You can use them in your wire work designs as well, you know, so, yeah, yeah. I love what them. What if you'd fit a 0.4 through? Oh, yeah, D yeah Just definitely. Just thinking 0.6, maybe. You may do, but if not, you could always extend that hole with the, uh, with the Dremel and the pearl drills. Amazing. We're going to show how to do that, actually, at two, aren't we, yeah. during your uh, yeah. pearl knotting? So you can do that. Brilliant. £25.95. £25.95. Wow. We are going to take it under £20. Absolutely crazy. Unbelievable. Do you know what? I can't wait for that demo at 2 o'clock. Can't wait. Um, there's a jeweller that's close to me and they said, Vic, if you know how to pearl knot, we'll give you loads of work to go and sit and do them because the amount that you can pay to go and have yeah. your pieces pearl yeah. knotted at jewellers. And it's great. It's such a... I find it really therapeutic right. to sit and, and pearl knot. So. <gasps> Just £19.95. It's all... It's, I think we all live in such a fast-paced world, it's nice to actually sit and do yeah, something just a take bit time slow. out and sit down and enjoy what you're doing. You know, Absolutely. It's perfect. And I always think with pearls especially, they last, look after them and they last the test of time. They really, really do. These potentially going to be jewellery that you keep and pass down even for the generations. I always think of, as I say, icons of the decades, very, very glamorous pieces of jewellery with pearls very classic pieces they yeah. are completely timeless and ageless 1995 it's about to go there's loads of your multi bars i'm not surprised actually oh no i'm not surprised because they are gorgeous and really really beautiful to work with jenny you ready you say you missed out on these I last missed time didn't you? On it. right so we've got the spray and we've also got the clean and polish oh wow um, they're separate oh, so get ready this is of course going to be a star buy Okay, we are limited, limited every single time. This has come on air. Uh, both of these products, they've completely sold out. We've got, I'm just going to tell you, 50 of each. Oh. And judging by the phone lines over the last 20 minutes that we've been on air, I don't know whether you're going to get a look in, Jan. No. Quite frankly. Like it. Are you ready? Are we didn't do a minute clock. Get ready. Bruce, go for it. You've got a minute to be on the phone line. Which one are we going to do first? Oh. Yeah. So that one's got tissues in there, so it's got uh, cleaning tissues that you can clean your pearls. And then it's got a cloth, uh, like a buffing cloth in there as well. 
So um, it's great if you were talking about pill knotting, but also if you offer, because I offer a pill knotting service, but a cleaning service as well. So this would be great. So oh. then you can, you know, because if you wear your pearls and we try and keep them clean, we don't put perfume on them and they're always the last thing you put on and the first thing you take off. Mm -hmm. But just through, you know, daily wearing, because you can wear your pearls every day. Yeah. You know, they, they sometimes if they get a bit grimy, then just do, and I offer that as a service as well. Absolutely. So in there you get the you get four of the packets of tissues plus you get your cloth. Now you don't wet them or anything like that, do you? So I think that the the tissues are impregnated with with something you know a really gentle okay. sort of uh, clean, cleaner. Yeah. So um, clean the cloth the, with the excuse me with the tissues and then use the buffing cloth then to sort of polish them up really. Yeah, your polishing cloth is in there and it comes in such a lovely little um, tin as well, which I think would be beautiful as a gift for somebody perfect i mean if you do craft fairs you could offer a cleaning service couldn't you oh, so then people you could say to people yeah you know go off and have a look around and then come back and i'll clean the pearls for you and you can charge for that brilliant idea oh, and then also have them on the stand buy a few of these have them on your stand yep. and say look there you go you can buy a cleaning kit as yep. well right are you ready Graphics are live. I would seriously be making the most of these now. There's so many of you that are already adding this to your basket. Janet, Doris, Kathleen, Karen, Wiltshire. I'd love to know anybody that has used this before as well. Please message in and let us know because we were always looking different products and we always, uh, of course, have different personal preferences. So we want to know your experiences with these as yes. well because they're yeah. brilliant. Half the stock has got... 9.95. I had no idea they were going that low. Do you know what? They're about to sell out. There's people multi buying galore on this. Nine pounds ninety five. Because the thing is, we love our pearls, don't we? You know, and they're precious. So you want to be cleaning them and looking after them in the right way. Absolutely. So to get the product that is specifically made to do that. That's perfect, isn't it? Especially if you're making to sell or if you're making a particularly special, um, I think, as I say, if you're making bridal jewellery. I do a lot of um, restringing, um, sort of, I get people coming to me saying, I've got my grandma's pearls, mm -hmm. but I want them restrung um, for my wedding, I'm getting married. Uh, and obviously, that you know, they're, they're older pearls, so I, I offer a service where we, we take them apart, we clean all the pearls and then re-knot them. But to have this product, it's, that's going to make that so much easier. There you go. I mean, you can you can do that yourself without yeah. being a, a, a jewellery maker, just knowing how to do pearl knotting, yeah. Yeah. cleaning pearls. Yeah. You can make a business in, exactly. in itself. Yeah. £9.95, stock up on those because they're beautiful gifts for people. If you know somebody that wears pearls... Oh, hello, Karen. I've got one for you if you want it, Jan. Oh, Karen. That's lovely. That's lovely. Message me after the show and we'll sort things out. Oh, thank you. Such a good, there you go. You've not myself. Because oh, how many have we got you. left? Two. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you, Karen. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Right, let's do the spray. So, this is something else that you've. Uh, I've not seen this. No, you've not seen this before. Pearl spray. That's good, isn't it? Right, so let me see. It says, top tip, always put your pearls on after applying perfume, cosmetics, hairspray. We know that, don't yeah, we? Yeah. These, are, these are the last thing that you should put on. They're very porous, so just be very careful. The directions are to spray the liquid onto the pearls, taking care to avoid wetting the thread of the pearls. Then clean with a soft, dry cloth. So actually, this can work in conjunction with the, exactly. the, the tin that you've so, got. So um, you've got tissues in there, but if you wanted to, if... if you know, you could use the spray on there and then use the buffing cloth that's in the tin. So they could work together really, really nicely. Oh, brilliant. Couldn't that? Are we going to do a clock again? No, graphics are live. We're just going to go for it because there's so many people who are there. And this is something that, I mean, this isn't a company that is, um, is a brand new company. These are, well, they've been around for, for centuries. They've, they've been established since, the, um, since 1895, in fact. And with not, cleaning and, and not, it's products. A, you know, they're specially formulated to do the best job, but also protect your pearls as well. You know, I mean, you can you can spray anything on your pearls to clean them, but you don't know what damage that's going to do to them. So to have a product again that's specifically made for that's perfect. Yeah, I love that because we're constantly saying what you can't do with pearls. Do you know what I mean? But I'm always saying, yeah. right, you can use this on this gem, so this gem, so this gem, so this gem. Careful with your pearls. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. I personally. I've never ever been able to recommend anything to no. clean your pearls with. I've just always said, oh, just just 
be careful with them, don't yeah. clean them. So this is brilliant. This is especially made to clean your pearls. Okay, obviously still take care of them, but it is uh, made to, uh, you know, make that, make them looking as beautiful yeah. as... And it actually says on there that they've been, the, the company, is it 1895? Eight, so they've been making... 1895, they've been renowned the, for making sort of cleaners products. and polishes. Yeah. So, you this know, isn't a new company? No. There's a lot of um, history to that and there's a lot of research, I would imagine, and a lot of uh, time and effort gone into getting the best products. So, yeah, yeah, perfect. Giving you a chance to be on the phone line, by the way, because did you see how quickly the tin sold out? We're just going to do it. Um, just to make sure you manage to get both of them. Don't forget, it's 1 P&P &P all Ooh. day. Six pounds ninety-five, just six ninety-five. How good is that? And let me open this. Oh, see, I always get told off for opening the cereal boxes in the house wrong. I'm not <laughs> one of these that opens packaging really badly. So I do want to. Oh yes, you do. So you get your spray. Oh, and you get the cloth as well. You also get a little polishing cloth. So uh -huh. there you go. You do get the polishing cloth as well. It looks lovely, doesn't it? It's a nice gift. I think it looks cool. And that's, that's a really great, you've just said a gift. Because if you know someone who's got lots of pearls and they love their pearls, what a great gift. Oh, yeah. £6.95. £6.95 is fantastic. Oh, just looked at the phone lines. Well done. There were only 50 of these to start with. There's 10 left. Well done, all 40 of wow. you that were there to check out straight away. Uh, Yvonne, Emma, Greater London, Manchester, Alex, Janet, Pam, Jean, Yvonne, Sheila, uh, Irene, Martin, Pam, good luck. There's so many people coming through on the phone line all over the country. Hello, Stella. Wow, what a weekend! My back balance, my back balance has taken a hammering, <laughs> and I'm not sure I'm finished yet. Jan, will the pegs be available separately from the kits? Yes. 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 Yes, they will. And they are beautiful. We've got the silver, the gold, and the rose gold, which are separate to the kit. Actually, they, yeah. they are completely separate to the kit. So, um, Stella. That's going to be a really, really exciting show. Um, it's, it's coming up at 2 o'clock, by the way. It's and only half an hour away. Them. You are going to love them. They're fab. And we've got our pearl knotting demo. I can't wait for that. Because you can go on a course and it's... We do courses here, don't we? Yes. Have you yeah. done any of the workshops, the pearl knotting no, workshops? No, no, We've done them here, though, in the past, yeah, haven't we? Fleur's and... done, uh, Fleur does a, a right. workshop. And there are different techniques. And, and, and as guest designers, we all do things slightly different. differently. So it's good. You would recommend, if you can get to the workshops, then it's oh, good yeah. to do so. Yeah, definitely. We're going to see it here today. But I'm going to do a demo. Um, and we're just going to do a bit of a, a different way of doing things. And it's all about finding the best way for you. There's no right... Well, there is right and wrong. I mean, <laughs> as long as the end result hmm. is how you want it, then how you achieve that, there are slightly different ways. The technique is, is basically the same, but ways of doing it slightly differ. So oh, we all um, do things slightly differently, yeah, though. Yeah, it's whatever yeah. works best for you, like yeah. you say. Well done. Is it sold out? Sorry, we need to definitely get more of those in because we every do. single time they come to air, they sell out. We need a bigger quantity next time. Um, okay, let's do some more strands of pearls. Oh, I love these. Keshi pearls, right. Um, these are beautiful. They're, They're gorgeous. big as well, aren't they? So beautiful. And again, the pegs in those would look beautiful. Um, and that, that pendant size, they're large enough to be pendant size, aren't they? Absolutely, they, they really are. are. Stunning. So it's Keshi, the, the shape of these pearls, is that what it's, it's referring to, the size and shape of them? Well, I think it's the, the size and the shape, and, and I think it's probably the... Um, it, to have that sort of more natural look to them as well, isn't it? Right. And I think at the minute there's a real trend for sort of natural looking gemstones and Absolutely. pearls, isn't there? So to have um, strands like this, is in your designs is perfect oh you're completely right i follow a lot of um, sort of fashion houses on social media and yeah. they're all actually moving more towards the organic gemstones as opposed to the perfectly cut um you know the preci the, the precise cut yes. uh, yeah. gemstones with high clarity they are all moving more towards Beautiful. these organic shapes and sizes i love that they'd make big statement pieces just one of those wouldn't they yeah one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 pearls in there for less than 30. Right, that half have wow. gone. Half have already been checked out. Congratulations. 
It's £1.43 each. That's crazy. Please don't sell your pearls for £1.40. <laughs> and these are great. I mean, I've got this, this one yeah. on, which is, but I've got a Swarovski set into it. So if you do, you want to do that, you want to set your Swarovski into it. Oh, perfect. can we have a look at that? That's beautiful. So if you want to set your Swarovski into it, or you want to set the pegs into it, it's just, or you just want to use them on their own because they are so beautiful. But just having a pearl that's just, you know, really organic, mm -hmm. it's just, I, I love them. I think they're beautiful. £29.95. Are they sold out? There's a lot of you there. Two left. Two left at the moment. Just £29.95 for a whole strand. Please will you bear in mind as well that um, if you do make to sell, go and have a look. It is important to go and do your research a bit, isn't it? And I, see how yeah. much you can... I think, I think so. I think, you know, you look, look online and see, you know, what people are offering, what sort of prices people are, are charging. Um, but then again, you've got to be mindful of the market that you're selling in. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, when we get these sort of prices, you know, if you want to go, go away and sell those pendants for £20 a pendant, then you're still going to make profit. Oh, a huge profit. I mean, I wouldn't. Um, but, you know, the potential there to make profit is huge. You've got to think, if you are doing more sort of craft fairs, are people going to have £100 in their pockets? But, yeah, yeah. So. Right. The witch, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. Start by. What is it? Oh, oh, are you ready? Let's do a star by. Mm. Oh, this is exciting. Right. Okay, we've got how many different... Four. Four you different, get, uh, I want to call them point nine. What are they called? The drill? Per, uh, pearl drill burrs. We call burrs. them burrs. Like okay. That. So you've got a point nine, a one mil, point two, and a point, uh, one point two, and a one point four. Right. I think Becky, is so, that right? So does that determine the size, the of the drill hole? Of the drill hole. Yeah. How big do you know, how do I say this? How do you know how big you want your drill hole well, to be? Well, if, if people have got the uh, Inset Pearl DVD, we talk about, um, setting Swarovskis in. So obviously, if you've got a Swarovski, you know what size that Swarovski is. So you know what size sort of um, drill hole you'll need. Uh, but this is the one mil. So this would be great as well for, for setting in your Swarovski. It'd be great for drilling your pearls to set your pegs into. Um, but also, if you're doing pearl knotting and you want to pass back through that, that final pearl and the first pearl with your thread, this would be the pearl that you would probably use to, to, to extend that drill hole. Oh, brilliant. So, and if you want to use uh, your pearls in your wire work, but the drill hole's too, too small, you could use this to, again, make that drill hole larger. Um, pearl drills, for me, were a complete game changer with my jewellery making. Once I discovered them and realised what you can do with them, um, and I just love them. So this wasn't love something them. that, and it isn't just necessarily something that you can only use with pearls, is it? I would only suggest you using only use pearls, pearls. Okay. because they're designed. If you look at the, the, the tip of them, they they've got a little point and they're quite flat. They're yeah. unlike a normal drill uh, right. bit, where a normal drill bit is is sort of. Um, got a spiral to it mm -hmm. where this is flat so flat. what it does the little point sort of locates onto the pearl yeah. so it doesn't slide around mm -hmm. so you've got that so that locates and then as it turns it cuts a clean hole in the nacre so it keeps it really really clean so this one would make a one millimeter drill hole yes. so you'd be able to fit essentially maybe your one mil wire yeah. through but what i will say is when you're drilling pearls if you want a 0.2 drill hole or a one mil I would always go for the smallest you can do first. So we've got a 0.9. So I would always start with a 0.9. If you're going from no drill hole at all, you know, if we're going to you drill to set pegs in, I would do the smallest hole first mm -hmm. and then go up the sizes. Okay. If you obviously if you're going to extend the size of a drill hole, you've always got that drill hole there. So if you want to, you can go straight in with that. But if you've got a, a pearl that you're drilling from scratch, then I'd start with the smallest and then move up. So to have the four of them. The four different sizes. If you can get them, definitely do it. Get them. I've got so many questions, so many questions, but we are gonna we are gonna go through all this. So these are four pounds ninety five, four ninety five. Absolutely, make the most of it, and it'll work in conjunction with your Dremel. 
Perfect for the Dremel. Okay. Absolutely perfect with the Dremel. So you will need, obviously, that tool. You, don't, you don't, wouldn't just have your, this on its own. You need no, your, you, you need, you need, need the drill, you need the drill. Um, to sort of, uh, you know, to attach to. And um, But it's so easy and it's so nice to have, again, a specific tool for a specific job. Absolutely. And we are going to talk about later on about um, which pearls um, to use this on and how to use it. Um, but they're, they're great. And, oh, yeah. that, and even if you like don't questions. want to inset into your pearls, but you want to make sure that you've always got um, a pearl that you can use on maybe your one mil wire mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, yeah, then your pearl one. drills, yeah. And, and do you need to go all the way through the pearls or can you half drill it so you, you can, can half make drill rings? them? Yeah, you can half drill it. <sighs> and so, earrings, gosh, the pop yeah, possibilities there. And that's there. the thing, so if you've got some undrilled pearls or you've got some pearls that have. Um, <clears throat> You know, you, you want to set the bale in a different place or something. Yeah. It's it's perfect. No, we said that you say you just recommend them because of the way they're designed, because they're flat to uh, yeah. only sort of use them with your yeah, pearls. Yeah, because they are made to cut through the nacre of the pearl. Right. Uh, so That's really, what I love, though. Like you say, they're specifically specific, designed. Having the right tools for the right yeah. job makes such a difference, doesn't it? It makes your life so much easier. Well, you wouldn't send a plumber to work with a... Uh, I don't know, uh, a fork, would you? You need to well, have no, the that's right... The thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. That was the first thing that came to my head. <clears throat> I'm going to keep these here because I'm going to yeah, use them in the demo. Right, so Later. I'm going to add 26, 28. <clears throat> oh, okay, so you said to start with 0. 0.8. Let's start with... 0. 0.9. 0. 0.9, sorry. Yeah, so a 0. 0. 0.9, 9. obviously... They're still um, flat, then, yeah. So the, the, all of the, the, the shape of them, so you've got a flat section, but you've got a little point on them, Again, that locates. So if you're drilling a pearl that hasn't got no drill hole there, start with a 0.9. How would you recommend sort of keep, if you're going to buy all these, would you keep them in little bags or what keep would them you in do the bag. so you what, know which What I rich? do is I've got, um, I keep them in the bags and I write on the bag the size of them. And then put them back once and you've done put, it. And then put them away and when you've used them, put them back in the bag. Oh, I suppose you could just <clears> get a little sticker and put a sticker on with... I don't know, point eight or something. You on. could, but you, you're going to be putting that into the the, the chuck of the drill as right. well. So, and if there, there's something stuck on there, it might slip slightly. So, get yourself a little um, yeah. compartment. Back or you there. could colour code them. You could put a little bit of paint on the end of yeah, them. Yeah, nail varnish yeah. or something. Yeah, is it good idea? Okay, so these are your 0 0.9, four pound ninety five. Like you say, when you were saying, oh, do you know if you can get all four? I was thinking, oh, it's going to add up. Yeah. But actually, they're four ninety five. <coughs> I would absolutely. But I'm going to I'm going to say something now. I Go actually um, lost a, a pack of pearl drills and recently bought some. We hadn't got them here. Bought them from another supplier. Right. And I paid seven pound each for them. There you Six pound ninety five. Plus I had to pay postage. Yeah. On top of that. So, you know, so, so four ninety five really is a great price for them. And they're for me now, they've become one of the, of my essential um bit of kit for me. Well you said this has been a game changer for you in the world of jewelry. Absolutely, absolutely game changer for when, me. When was it that you started doing it? Does, <coughs> is, is there a bit of a knack to it? Does it take some practice to, to do it? No, I think it's confidence. I think, okay. you know, you, you've got a beautiful pearl and it's like you're gonna drill into it, so yeah. it's like, oh what well, well, <laughs> But it's so easy, okay. so easy, and we're going to we're going to actually show that. I mean, for people who have got the Inset Pearl DVD where we we drill and we set Swarovski in, you will have seen that process. Mm -hmm. But we're going to show that in the in the second kit. Brilliant. Okay, so, so I'm this is a I'm point nine. Leave them with you, let me get the bag as well for you, so you can remember which way they all are. That was a point nine. Fabulous. Um, right, we've also got twenty six and twenty seven. Let's do the one point four. So when would you need, I suppose it depends on the size of the pearl, doesn't it? If you're it looking does. at small, small, smaller pearls, yeah. I'm trying to just get it It depends what seconds. you're going to set into your pearl. So if you've got, um, if for instance you want to make, um, and you'll see in, in the next kit, if you want to make your own bale and you use a thicker wire, then you'll need a larger drill hole, won't you, to right. set that into. Right, I'm um, okay. So... Uh, 1.4 and again if you're going for Swarovski you'll start with the 1.9 or you set a gemstone in mm -hmm. you'll you'll start with the 1.9 you'll move up to the 1 mil then the 1.2 and obviously depending on the size of whatever it is you're going to set in there um, so to get all four of them for me to have all four is is an essential can we go through at some point as well what pearls are suitable for drilling yes. and which ones you probably wouldn't drill into yeah the, the, well, I think all 
I mean, I would drill into sort of pretty much any pearl. Yeah, but you're a rebel. But <laughs> there, are, uh, there are certain pearls that maybe have... Because if we talk about shaped pearls, uh, like we had the stars, mm -hmm. um, they will have had a star shape um, for the, the nacre to grow around. Well, sometimes that star, the, the, the insert is harder than the nacre of the pearl. Right. So if you know that... Um, that you, it's a pearl that's been a specific shape, then I would then be a bit cautious and I would use my pearl drills to start with to go through the nacre and get that clean drill hole. <clears throat> and then, I'm going to be really controversial now, I would use probably a normal drill then to continue through the body just to make sure that um, I d if that's quite hard, you don't want to damage your pearl drills. Right, I'm with you. So you want to keep it, but there's a place for both. And I liken it to the fact that um, your flush cutters. I wouldn't cut memory wire with my flush cutters, but I wouldn't be without my flush cutters. Mm -hmm. Same way, there are some pearls I wouldn't drill with my pearl drills, but I wouldn't be without them. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. Okay. So that's one point two. Thank you. Yes. Um, and twenty-seven is which one? What size is it? This was one point two. Oh, that oh, was one point four. I'll move that over there then. That's one four. This is one point two. And again, everything we just said about following through the sizes, it applies to this. Oh, brilliant. This is so good. Right. I'm so pleased that um, we've managed to get these, the, these in because it's been ages, hasn't it, since yeah. we've had these back in stock. Uh, this is 1.2. All of these, same price again. You know what price it's going to. There's a lot of people who have been on the phone line, so congratulations if you managed <laughs> to get any of them. I know a lot of people are going to come back as well. And get more. Oh, in fact, do you know what I was saying about storing them? This is a burr's stand. Oh. Oh, I haven't seen this. Hang on. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, do you know what? Can we do that next? Because we were talking about storing them. So we're going to do that next. That's brilliant. And does it spin? Oh, oh that's great. So you could make yourself a little um, notch, colour code or something, couldn't you? I love that. Oh, that's great. I don't think that's... Have we seen that before? No, I've not seen it. Been on air once, that's oh. why. It's, it's virtually new. Oh, that's brilliant. We'll do that next. <laughs> okay, so that's £4.95. This is your 1.2. Do you have a, a certain burr that you reach for more so size? I tend to use, um, well, I tend to use all of them because I, I do a lot of setting in of gemstones and Swarovski. So I would use all of them. But I would say, um, my um, lot for pearl knotting, and things the 0.9 and the 1 mil are probably the ones that I use the most and then when you get onto setting things then you go up maybe to the to the higher ones brilliant at £4.95 you're only paying one postage and packaging it's worth at this point oh that's amazing instead of just sort of purchasing one and then having to come back and use yeah. the, do the PMP again yeah. just do it all in one go have a go with them okay so let's do the burst stand next so it's magnetic nice just to be there on your desk so that then that's so it's cool. nice and handy. And it spins round. It's a revolving burst stand. Becky really likes the fact that it was revolving. That's amazing. And like you say, if mm -hmm. you're going to do that, then I would colour code them. I yeah. would put a little bit of nail varnish on the end uh, so that I know what size they are. But they're just there, aren't they? So if you've got the Dremel then, you've got that set up on your desk. You want the burrs there set up on the desk as well. It's perfect. You haven't got to go rummaging, have you, in boxes and bags for them? It looks very professional, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, if you're all, if you, maybe if you're at... Um, a wedding fair, a bridal fair or something and you say, look, I can make these now personalised yep. into your jewellery and I can do it Perfect. in front of you. This is brilliant. Looks very professional. So your magnetic burr holder for anybody that, that was wanting something to, to store them in your workshop or your work room or your living room, wherever you're, wherever you're making, this is very handy. Glenda, Wiltshire, Janice, I've got a feeling people are going to be buying these as gifts for just well, yeah. less than £12. That's amazing. That, that is a, an absolute brilliant. And the thing is, you're going to have, I mean, if you do a lot of metal work, are you going to have a lot of drills and a lot of drill bills and things? So that would be perfect. Oh, great. For all your different sort of um, attachments and things. It's got a really lovely strong magnet as well. Wow. Really, really strong. Uh, just £11.95. How many of these have we got, Becky? 50 chances left. That is it. We have seen quantity sell very, very quickly this weekend. It's been brilliant to have your company. I think we're all in the same boat of my word. 
had, everything has just been brilliant. It's been great, isn't auction it? Auction after auction, product after product has just been so useful. Karen, Marilyn, Vera, Tina, Lynn, Sharon, another one that could sell out today. It's only been to air once before and it could be about to go again. Just £11.95. Oh, please spotted that one. That's Good choice, brilliant. Becky. Okay, I'm going to hand this one to you, so we're going to do some demo with the birds. We are. Um, right. Let me see if I can find it. Where do yeah. you use your cat lubricant? So, um, I, I personally wouldn't use the lubricant if we're going to then set into. So, if you're right. going to use a glue then, because you might, I mean, I don't know how the glue then would would react with the, with the lube in there because obviously that's gonna um it could not stick properly okay um but if you're just drilling through um through a pearl mm -hmm. then this will just keep that really smooth but this is great for metal work so if you're drilling into your sterling silver sheet or your your copper um it's perfect for that perfect or if you you know you, you're sore you can put some on the um on the blades there you go so, couple of little pictures there so you can see as well yeah so it's great so if you do a lot of metal work or um, anything that you use your drill bits with it's great brilliant another fantastic price on its way it's gonna last for ages as well it's like one of those push-up push tubes so that's gonna uh, last for ages five pounds ninety five five pound ninety five check out as soon as you can and all you'll need to do is as you're drilling obviously the drill bits get quite hot um, just sort of press that into there and it will help with the um, make it really smooth oh thank you Sarah for your message hi Vicky and Joan loving the pearls can you make a drill hole uh, larger with a with a, with your bush with your bush bar burr. Burr, 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 burr. yes yeah so if you've got a pearl that um, you've got a drill hole in there but you want to make it larger then you just whatever size it is just go up a size with the pearl drill yeah that's perfect £5.95. Oh my word. Okay. <laughs> Shall we do a DVD? Oh, this is an introduction to, to Dremel. Oh. This was with Fleur and Gemma, yep. I believe. It was. Um, so, two discs. Yeah, I think Fleur takes you through the setting up of the Dremel. Um, and talks you through what's what's included. And the... Cause, because the Dremel... Um, kit that we've got mm -hmm. it's got lots of different attachments so you'd be able to do um texturing it's got yeah. uh, drilling and etching texturing cleaning and sanding yeah. polishing yeah. on there Everything. and then Gemma's dvd on here um talking about making marks feather earrings lotus flower designs just, there you go yeah you can so see i think lotus flower. flo talks you through the setting up and the what things are for and then okay. Gemma takes you through actual projects oh, of using them i uh i've sat in on a, a couple of dvds recently and they are brilliant they're, they're invaluable right. really they are they? And, and you know uh, so much sort of research and a lot of work goes into them oh, so much, into yeah. the stages so that it's clear you know when uh, when you're at home watching them that we we try and cover everything or as much as we can the workshops are brilliant here i mean fleur Gemma, are such incredible teachers and i've been in a couple of the workshops and i get scared that i'm putting people back if i start asking questions so the reason that i love it is that i can stop yeah. rewind listen again if i yeah. missed something you can do it at your own convenience if you can't get to us here in the midlands which i know a lot of you would love to come to the workshops this is brilliant uh and also we'll work at different times if yeah. you can't watch the show we do a lot of di live demonstrations every single day but the dvds are, are an hour long each about an hour long each and they will all focus in sp specifically on the demonstration yes the, yeah. the camera angles are different, aren't yeah. they, to get really up close and personal and talk through it really clearly. They are, really, so that it's as clear as it can be. But like you say, you know, you can watch it, but then you can go back and actually follow it stage by stage. What I tend to do is if I've got a DVD, I'll watch it all the way through so I've got the idea in my mm -hmm. head. I'll then watch a section and then, then do that. Right. You know, so follow yeah, that idea. project along. Yeah, because it's, it's like it with anything, isn't it? When you're cooking, you should do yes. that, really. Read all your method and go through instead of going, yeah. oh, well, I know how to do that, yeah. and get ahead of yourself yeah. and realise you've done it wrong. Yeah. Um, this is a bit of a part of the DVD, actually. So Fleur and Gemma, they, they both go into quite detail about projects as well as setting up your Dremel and, and the, the initial introduction to your Dremel kit. That's lovely. 
Wow. It's great. Gosh, isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, we're just mesmerised by watching that DVD now. We're ready. Should we just put it off for an hour? <laughs> it's lovely. Sunday afternoon, little DVD. Okay, don't tempt Bruce. Should we do? Oh, we haven't got them here. Um, we've got... We've got a video of them, though, I believe. Although our Wi-Fi's been down in here. Oh. It's been terrible. It's been like back in the olden days, no internet to go on. We keep picking up our phone and going, oh, no, can't use it. Everywhere we went. Oh. Yeah, it was like back in 1994 again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, wow, multicoloured. And graduation, because quite wow. often, actually, the pearl strands that we see... They're not graduated, and if you do want that classic graduation, then you yeah. have to buy your six millimeters, exactly. eight millimeters, ten, twelve, fourteen. That there's a and lot. And that, that's it. That centre one there, forty, you know, fourteen it's millimeter. Huge. So you'd have to buy those different sizes to make that that strand. And that they're beautiful pearls, aren't they? Gosh, they are. Look at the colour. Um, let's think about the price that you would see just on that fourteen millimeter. Pearl. Do you mean that we haven't got it? Like you said, oh, it's not been seen since September last year. We can't find it. <laughs> but the video, um, no, we have got it in stock. It's just not physically here in the studio. But um, this hasn't been to air since last year. There's only four chances to get this oh, left. Wow. I love the colour of those as well. Are they slightly sort of lilac aubergine on, on your screen? And then some of the, the ivory colours. I don't know where this first hour's gone. We're going to be getting straight into demo at 2 o'clock as well. So stay tuned, pearl lovers. Oh, wow. 39 .95. Just for a 14 millimetre pearl set on its own. Yeah. I don't think you should be looking at selling it for less than £40. No, not at all. See, and I look at that strand and I think those three in the centre mm -hmm. there, for me, that could be a pendant and earrings. And then close that up and that's then you've got a necklace there. Cool. Maybe just add a little bit of um, something on the end, you know, to, to extend it a little bit, put an extension chain on it. Um, so you could get, you know, a full suite of jewellery out of that, couldn't you? And a necklace. Oh, That's amazing price, isn't it? Yeah, it's about to go. It is about to go. At the moment, oh, it is about to go one left, I think. Okay. They're very pretty. Uh, we've literally got minutes left until we go into our first kit this afternoon. Both kits are awesome. You're going to love them both. Okay, 38 centimetre strand. Uh, this time, they're, again, Yukeshi pearls, aren't they? They're really beautiful shapes. I think these would make lovely, simple bracelets for bridesmaids, flower girls. Yeah. Our prices on... When, when I first started doing Pearl Weekends here, was around the time that I was getting married, and I wish I knew about the deals here sooner, because I could have done favours for every yes. person at my wedding. Yeah. Could have got a, a pearl yeah. for the price Amazing. point. that You know, when you have... Little al sugared almonds, coated almonds, and things like that. That nobody costs, eats. No, and it costs it costs more than what you would pay here to do a pearl for everybody on yeah. a bit of memory wire. That's crazy, a, isn't it? As a, a wine glass charm. How amazing is that? Watch what we can do on pearls. If you have, how do I? Because even me, and I work here. When I first started, I said, "Hang on, what is the catch? Are these fake? Are they synthetic?" Are they, no, are these the ones that you get, you know, when you walk into Marks and Spencer's or House of Fraser or, you know, Monsoon or actually any of the high street jewellers where they're, they're, they're repli replicating pearls? No. no, they're not. And they're so beautiful, aren't they? I and mean, like you say, the, the prices that we do them for are just crazy. Gosh. Yes. And it's not only that, it's the quality of them as well, you know. Um, but don't be lulled into, like, hey, thinking oh, you've paid that for them. So if you are selling them on... Um, you know, you've got to be mindful of that. It's like, Char I watched Charlie yesterday mm -hmm. and he was talking about pearls and he said something that I thought, I'm, I'm going to use that. He said, uh, you know, they have to be reassuringly expensive to give the confidence to someone that they are real. Because if you underprice your pearls and pieces, then uh, people have doubts as to whether they are real. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You go to um, a bicycle store and you see a, a, a bike that's 
I don't know how much bikes are, let's just pick out a thousand pounds. And then you see another bike and they say, oh look, it's the same as that, but it's 50 pounds today. You go, no, nah, well, I want the more expensive yeah, one. Yeah. You just, we're programmed as humans to think if you, if yeah. you pay more, if you pay more, then you get more. Yeah. Like you said right at the start, Jan, because we almost cut out all of the middlemen to be able to bring these to you, you are getting better than wholesale prices. It's unbelievable on pearls. It really does baffle me. Right, so um, we've got coming up in just a couple of minutes the most incredible, incredible kit. And you're going to be doing a bit of a, a pan knotting. We're going to do a knotting demo in the first kit. It's beautiful. You're going to love it. Oh, amazing, amazing. Do not go anywhere. Please do make sure you're checking out your basket on anything that you've seen because uh, everything has been selling like hotcakes. We're going to be back with another beautiful, beautiful kit and we're going to learn lots of tips from Jan right after this. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. How would you like to design a bead and launch it with a presenter live on Jewelry Maker? Well, in celebration to Jewelry Maker's fast approaching 10th birthday, we are giving one lucky person a chance to do just that. All you have to do is send a blank email to the address below, download the pack, fill it in and send it back to us. The lucky winner will have their bead designed, put into production, spend their day at Jewelry Maker creating and designing projects, finishing pieces with guest designers, and launch their bead live on Jewelry Maker. And on top of that, you'll get £200 accredited to your account. It's that easy. The closing date to get your entries in is the 3rd of March. From then, a panel of judges and bead makers will go through your designs to pick an eligible winner. This will take a couple of weeks to process and go through all of the entries, so we'll keep you posted on what show we're going to be announcing the winner on. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Win! strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre.
buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello, welcome back to the best weekend ever. Yay. We're just saying, somebody said to me, you'll never work a day in your life when you love what you do or something no. like that. And it's so true, isn't it? We, it it's is. just so brilliant doing shows like this. I I'm really intrigued to see your power knotting technique as well. Really intrigued. So, um, this hour, we are going to have a look at some of the kits. Uh, John has been having lots of fun this I've week, working it. on beautiful, beautiful pearl pieces uh, and setting in, like, we've done uh, Swarovski setting with you we've, before, We've done you? Swarovski um, setting and I've shown sort of how to do that and gemstones, but this is, it, for one, it's easier and for two, it looks so beautiful. Oh, they are beautiful. You said these are your favourite um, posts you've ever Love them. With. I've never never worked with posts oh, before. This is a first for me. Oh, wow. uh, and a f first for us as well. They're, they're brand new. <gasps> Brilliant. Um, and, yeah, love them. Absolutely How, how them. beautiful are they? All of the ones that I've got here, uh, Jan has set for us very kindly, and they do look awesome, don't they? You've got the gold stars. You've got the rose gold stars as well. And... Um, Hang on, I've got here. Is it? Is it this yeah. is the, we're going to do those ones. So the ones on the busts are actually yeah. they've got the uh, I think is it um, a CZ in there. So oh, there go. we've got um, each one of them has a round CZ. It has a star and a moon. Oh, brilliant. so they're, they're in little sets of three. But you get um, two of each. Oh, I love them. So you get two of those, and you get two stars, and you get two moons. I'm with you on both the, the yeah. silver, the gold, and the rose gold. So, with this one, it, we are very, very limited. Uh, to say that this is one of the biggest pearl weekends we've ever done in the history of jewellery maker in the last virtually 10 years, we've got nowhere near enough to go around of these. No. We absolutely are going to need hundreds. Shall I tell everybody the quantity? I just want to warn you because I've got a feeling they're just going to go really quickly. We've got 59 chances on each colourway. So there's the uh, 59. That's it. There's the one with the the Shavosky, uh with the the CZ. Sorry. You also get your little moon. And, and the, the star. star. So they have like a little hook on the end as well, don't they? Well, they've got the hook on the end. And to, I'm going to be totally honest with you. We don't know why they've got the hook on the end. <laughs> um, oh, apparently you get three moons. Oh, yeah, I've got three moons. Um, oh. No, I've got, I've got two in here. I think apparently you get, apparently you get three, it says on oh, the, the details. Right, bonus if you get three. Our graphics say two, but... We think you might get three. But they've got a little loop on the end. Uh, but for me, that means that I could, so you could tie them together just to make sure that you keep them together in like little sets. Uh, but when you actually come to set them, obviously that little loop has to come off. Right. Because um, otherwise you'd be drilling such a big hole then yeah, to get yeah. that in there. But I suppose it makes it first tough for other pieces of jewellery as well, doesn't it? Exactly. And the them. thing is, I've cut them off and filed them down and you've got the, the, the neatest little jump ring. <gasps> that you can use in, in your resin, your enamelling, or anything, really. Do you know what? Nothing goes you to waste nothing with jewellery makers, does nothing it? Nothing at all, no. Keep everything, keep yep. absolutely everything. Right, Bruce, you ready? Clock, one minute, go, 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 go. Dar now, because we've only got 59 chances on these. We will show you in just a minute how you set these into your pearls. And um, Are there any restrictions on what pearls are going to be, you're going to be able to set these into? Well, no, you, if you can drill a hole yeah. in, in a pearl or or whatever it is you want to set it into mm -hmm. then then that's it and it is literally that drilling a hole 
Yeah. Do you know, it, it's, it's not really technical, it's not difficult, but it allows you to make just beautiful jewellery. And, and is there a certain um, tool that you need to put these uh, posts in? Um, well, no, I mean, your pearl drills will drill the hole for yeah. you. Um, unless, when well, we're talking about which pearls to drill and which not to use mm -hmm. your pearl drills on. Um, but then, um, you simply, you put glue in, as you would if you were putting a pearl onto a, an earring post, you do exactly the same thing with that. Right. That's so good, isn't it? But it just adds that detail to oh, them that make them look so beautiful. Very, very designer, isn't it? So, it says on uh, that you three moons, two stars, and two of the CZ rounds. All beautiful. Like we said, if you're sitting at a craft fair and you're making, or, or if you're speaking to a bride or bride, or you know, you can say, would you like it extra with, yeah. the, with the, the CZ or and, with a star? And that's the thing as well. And when I was sort of sent the kits and told about the pegs, um, it was like, can you drill a few of them? Can you set a few of them for me? And then when they came back, I said, I've done all of them because I just couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually, I've drilled um, all, all of them. I just couldn't help it. Look at the quantity. Look at the quantity. It's going already. It is That's going beautiful. already. Oh, I'm intrigued to know the price because we've never done this before. These are brand new to us too. I like the uh, the fact, you know some of the, those metallic colours that we were looking at earlier, how good these would look as oh, well with the different colours. Do you know like the, uh, let me see, you know like these colours that we've got? Gorgeous. How lovely would that look with a star or with a CZ in as well? Or the, moon, the moon, because it's quite... Um, oh, wow, yeah. That'd oh. look really cool, wouldn't it? Let me see, the stars and the moon. I wonder whether, because that's quite a big pearl, could you do... Do you have to go straight through the centre or can you offset them? You can put them anywhere. You put them anywhere. Put them wherever you want to. I was thinking... Oh, oh we're going to talk about that, actually, with the second kit. They're about to sell out. They're about to sell out, by the way. The price is 19 95 wow. There's 11 left, that's it. Is this going to be a um, similar price across the board, by the way? Yeah, absolutely. Check out as soon as you can on any of the colourways that you want. Remember, have you got them on pre-order, Becca? No. You've got to be quick. You've got to be quick. But the fact that you get two of them, or three of the moon as well, the, that means then you can do a pendant and earrings. Oh, to lovely. Match, couldn't you? Or you can make earrings, or you can make... So that's what... How many is that? Then that's seven, isn't it? So oh. you've got... Literally, you can make seven pendants then from oh, that... That's amazing. So you're going to be uh, doing this I again? So. Oh, <laughs> yes, definitely. I love them. Absolutely love them. I think the silver colourway as well is just going to go in everything. And it's 925 sterling silver. Yeah. So if you're making 925 sterling silver jewellery, yeah. you kind of need to have all of the components being 95 sterling silver. And that's the thing, yeah, because when you're selling, obviously you need to tell people what, you're, what the, the, you know, consists of. Uh, and you want to be able to say it's sterling silver, so you want everything to be sterling. Absolutely. Right, they've sold out. They have sold out. Should we go to the rose? I love the rose. It's so I pretty. I think this is so, can I just, so which one's pretty. Yes. Oh, that's the rose gold, the one in the middle. Adam, can we show those, please? The, the ones in the so, middle. So, that, um, that's the rose gold in the middle, and then I think on, on the little stand as well. But look how pretty that looks. And oh, that pearl against that pearl. Oh, it does. I, look, I fell in love. I absolutely fell in love with them. I think that uh, rose gold is just so feminine and so beautiful, isn't it? It's just, it's going to go with any of the colours. Some of yeah. those ones that have got those lovely pinks in, I'm trying to get them all in my tweezers so I can show you them in a row. <laughs> this could be a while. Right, talk about yourselves. There's the CZ. The moons, and we've got the stars. Uh, Becky, does it say the same again? Yeah, it does. Three moons, three moons, and a little star. There you go. Thank you. Look at that. They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, they really are. But you can make, like you say, matching earrings with with them, or you can just make pendants. They're, they're stunning. Oh, love them. And remember, these are still Fab. 925 sterling silver with that rose gold plating. It's an expensive process to do, but it's so pretty uh, and very, very designer at the moment. I think everybody thought it was a bit of um, a trend that came in and was probably going to go out of fashion. And it's rose gold's here to stay. Yeah. It absolutely it's is. I think it's really pr pretty. And I think against the pearls as well, it looks beautiful. And what about in some of these colour pearls? I'm just thinking if you're looking at this colourway with the the rose colour they are so beautiful aren't they oh, the wow. pinky or lavender tones that we've seen the lavender pearls that we had at the start of the show 
They look beautiful. Thank you, There's gorgeous. loads of you making the most of these. I, I've honestly just loved looking at all of the different creations that everybody's done. There's something right, about the pearl jewellery that we always use as display items anyway. Yeah. Uh, because it's just, everybody loves Amazing. them. Everyone loves them. Price, same price again, remember? There's so many of you there. I'm not surprised we've got people who are, who, are, who bought the silver colourway are coming in for the rose gold as well. But definitely, I think, for me, to have all three colourways is... Because mm -hmm. uh, they all give you a different look, don't they? Yeah. And obviously, you know, each pearl we've got... <coughs> excuse me. The pearls we've got in the kit, and then we've got... Um, and, the we've, you know, the pearls we've got are all different. So yeah. to put a different sort of peg... Uh, I don't like calling them pegs. I think that's sort of... <laughs> I think inserts or something. Something. Yeah, it, it, kind, of, it kind of um, cheapens it a bit, yeah. doesn't it? So it's like a peg, but actually, no, this yeah, is a really luxury 95 sewing silver gold-plated insert. Yes, that's better, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but I think to have, uh, you know, a pearl that's individual, then to pop one of these in is beautiful. They're beautiful. They They're really, gorgeous. really are. There's 19 chances remaining. We are now less than 20. We are going to move on to the gold colourway in a second and then we are going to get cracking with the demo. But please do make sure you're checking out on these as the Sterling Silver sold out. Oh yeah, and we've got the actual kit. <laughs> Who was it that asked about these individually as well? Was it Stella? I think it was, wasn't it, earlier on? Said, are we going to do these individually? It's nice to be able to see these do you know, individual outside of a yes. kit, because I think we're all at different stages of our jewelry making journey and all want to try different things. So it's nice to be able to add these in so affordably. Remember, you're getting two stars, two of your CZ and three moons as well. You're going to love them. You are actually going to love working with them. I fell in love with them as soon as I saw them. Oh, it's brilliant. We've never, seen, we've never done anything like it, really, no. have we? We've done the Swarovski. Yeah. But um, no, we haven't done the inserts Beautiful. like this before. Okay, um, the gold colourway. What colour pearls would you put this with? Would you still go with your well, the ivory is, tones? We've got in the kit, we've got um, some beautiful pearls and um, we've got a fabulous, fabulous findings pack. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Um, but it's got silver in the findings pack, but I put the gold um, with the silver. Yeah. Um, because it's got the CZ in there, so I think the gold and the CZ against that white pearl, oh. um, but it's got a silver clasp on it. I think they look beautiful together. Gosh, they do. They do. They work really, really well. Do you know some of the um, more golden pearls that we've seen as well, like the golden yeah. South Sea pearls and the... Um, you did that very well then. Thank you. <laughs> do you see the concentration in my face? My tongue was like this. <laughs> Trying to get them all in a row. But there you go, you can see the three different shapes that you're getting the moon, the star, and your bezel CZ. Um, you do get two of the stars, same as before, two of the stars, two of the bezel CZs, and three of the moons. And these are all shapes that I think are, are always going to be popular. But, yeah, always going to be popular, aren't they? And like Stuck we said up. about the stars that we had earlier, to mm -hmm. put uh, one of these stars in that the, the pearl stars would be beautiful. Stock up on these because this is the first time we've ever done it and I don't know when or if we're going to be able to get them back. So uh, take Jan's word for it and know that you are going to want to do are. this more than one time. Yeah, so absolutely make the most of that prize. Get as many of these as you can. Remember, you do get um, two, four, six, seven of these in total. You can make seven different pieces. For £19.95. Absolutely amazing. Um, the ones that are coming up later as well, I should show you really, shouldn't I? I because we've got these cooler. beautiful, beautiful ones with um, colourful CZ. Is it a pendant? Ah. <laughs> You've been playing with these as well. Oh, I um, love them. So this is the silver one. Let me move that across. Do you want me to come in, pop come that? in, come in. <laughs> Excuse me. So oh, wow. Oh, sorry, I've got the wrong, gone the wrong way, haven't I? There. Look how beautiful is that. And are they sort of completely secure now? They are staying there. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. so they're drilled in. As you can see on these ones, they've got the post on there. And they're, they're set in there, and that's, that's going to stay there. That's so good, isn't it? That's oh, so, so good. Oh, yeah. 19 pounds, 95. Ooh. Do you have a bit of wiggle room time? So if you put it in and you think, right, actually, it needs moving around or I need to... 
do you have time to, to take it out or is it set and then it's set? Well, it depends sort of obviously what sort of uh, adhesive you're going to use right. as to how long that takes to, to set. But we'll talk about um, which sort of adhesive to use oh, when we actually come to drilling and, and setting them in. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but it's, um, it's just brilliant. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Right, there's so many of you that are checking out on all of the colourways, um, all very, very limited. The silver sold out. The rose gold now, less than, well, there's 15 left to be exact. And the gold, there's still stock at the moment. I'll keep you updated when they're sold out because they will all sell out today. Let's, um, I don't know, 30, did you say, or 13? 30, right, let's have a look at your kit. So, in here, this is Love great. It. This is really great because you get your strand of pearls and you also get... Your um, your silk, your threading Ooh, can silk. I open Go this? for it. I'll open this. <laughs> this is so exciting. Hang on, is this the findings yeah. that you're on about? Yeah, the findings I know, that you it get sounds ridiculous it. to get excited about findings pack, but wait till you see it. It's lush. Two, yeah, you get a magnetic clasp as well, which are, by the way, normally very, very, very expensive elsewhere. So you can get two Ooh. of your pearl um, strands. Jan's getting very excited about it. the findings pack. You also get your silk cord your silk thread and it comes with a little needle on it yeah and then right we're opening all of these out so you Look. can see <gasps> you get oh, um, they're gorgeous. you get lever, lever back. back earrings in a findings pack i don't know when have we ever done lever pack we lever have back in a but, findings but we pack. Don't, well not in a findings pack as far as i'm i'm aware do you like a lever back i love a lever back Especially when you're using pearls, you want something that's nice and secure. Absolutely. But you also get, you get plenty of um, shepherd hooks. Oh, great. I won't take them all out because you've got, li you've got um, little, little beads in there. You've got um, different head pins. You've got jump rings. There's your um, shepherd hook. But then you have got those extra secure lever backs as well. Sorry, I'm getting excited. I'll leave them to, <laughs> leave them to you. <laughs> No, I love your enthusiasm on the binding spout. I love it, love it, love it. You also have, look, you've got sterling, your, uh, your clasp as well. You also get your amazing magnetic clasp with a really, really lovely magnet. And I like that it's round. It almost mimics the pearl, doesn't yeah, it? it? It's going to be perfect. seamless with Can I show you on, um, on, on the necklace? Oh, gorgeous. So I've used it on the pearl necklace. Oh, that makes such a difference having this, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, Bruce. There you go. But it just looks so beautiful. <gasps> Brilliant. Look how lovely it looks with the pearls. Oh, it does. It's just seamless, isn't oh, it? It's gorgeous. See, I it makes it. it look very, very, very expensive. And um, I, I like the fact that you can... Put it on yourself. I think the yes. ease of having that magnetic clasp. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Uh, plus, I haven't even uh, I haven't even finished. You then get head pins, eye pins, uh, jump rings, and then a little. Just little, little beads, little beads, little silver beads. beads, which are great. Which we're going to use then at the beginning and the end of the uh, pearl knotting demo. So um, it's f a fabulous findings pack. Oh, so exciting. Brilliant. This is called so the lovely. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, I love it. So there's your little spacer beads, your eye pins, jump rings, and your head pins. Should be. Oh, my word. Yes. Yeah. Right, hang on, hang yeah. on. Can we just break this down? I don't understand how it should be there. So I also work a part of Gemporia, and I'm often, one of the most popular products on Gemporia is a magnetic. Yeah. Clasp like and they this. are so so popular. Uh, I get asked all the time to to change um, clasps to magnetic clasps, yeah. or even add, add a clasp to, to it, to clasp, yeah. and then sell it as as a, a way of someone just to add it onto different necklaces. That's it, absolutely. And they can cost at least ten pounds, at least. Yeah. Um, and I mean that's at a really really special special price. I'm just being quite conservative there. Two. Of beautiful your potato strands. pearl strands, two beautiful strands that are going to go a very, very long way. You're going to be able to do full neckline pieces with yeah. those. And your gorgeous silk pearl knotting thread, plus it does have the, the needle as well. The needle attached to it. Really lovely quality. Which is fabulous. And Jan's super duper 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 findings pack as well. I love it. So when Becky says that we should be at 50 pounds and 60 pence, <gasps> it kind of, uh, oh no, really? Are you sure you're going to do it? 
Um, okay, you are going to have to be quick. How many of these kits have we got? 84 sounds a big quantity, not 39.95. Oh my word. I look, I look, That's I so good. See, for me, I've made a pair of earrings, um, and I'd sell those earrings, maybe for that price. How many pearls did you use in there for? Two on each. Gosh, that's And I so used the lever backs because I love le lever backs. <laughs> um, you know, so they're just beautiful. Oh, that is such a great but kit. But that find is pack. The pearls are delicious and beautiful. Silk is great. But to put that finest pack with it as well, I was in my element. Magnetic cloth, shepherd took plenty of those. You lever backs, you, uh, head pins, eye pins, spacer beads, jump rings. Crazy. Does not get better, doesn't get better. Love it. They are beautiful. What was in there? That All of those were in there. So is it... Hang on. Oh, yeah. It's silver. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's sterling. It's all sterling. What? Right, hang on. Your magnetic glass, but that is sterling silver. Yeah. Your lever back earrings are sterling silver. I would understand this price if you were looking at a base metal. Yeah. They are sterling, sterling silver. Sterling. They are sterling silver as well. Oh my word. So, I mean, if you got those pearls and that with the magnetic clasp for that price, yeah. I would be multiplying, to be honest with you, because that is a, an absolute fabulous deal. But then to get all those additional yeah. pieces, and it's, it's great because you've got lots of open jump rings, you've got the, um, the magnetic clasp, the earrings, you've got the little silver beads for, the, you know, for your knotting, you've got head pins in there. It's just... Oh, brilliant. Whoever put that little finest pack together is just you love them amazing <gasps> enjoy 39 pounds 95 uh yeah i didn't realize because it doesn't say there on the graphics 95 sterling silver i presumed they weren't that is such a brilliant price just whilst everybody's checking out as there's christine rose sarah beverly wiltshire linda sydney marie angela plus so many more rosie christine that are just coming through on the web please do check out we're going to Get straight into demo if that's okay, Jan. Okay, yeah. I, what, so, you, is this, uh, we're going to be doing some drilling later, but you want to do, do some um, Yeah, we thought, as we've got um, these beautiful pearls in the kit, we're going we're gonna to talk about the, the knotting process. And then in the second kit, we're going to do the drilling okay. and setting the pegs in. Okay, so for this, what I did is I, um, I've actually set in one of the little star pegs just into one of the, one, a, a pearl there, it ready is. to... Um, to go onto the necklace because I wanted this to be the focal point of the necklace. Okay, mm. so the process is going to be we're going to start knotting on one side, we're going to knot down, attach this, and then continue and finish off at that side. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to move that to one side just for now. So to start off, um, I use if we're using silk, I'll use a wire guardian or um, French wire at the end of the clasp and what I, I always tend to do is just do the um the wire guardian or the french wire and then add my clasp afterwards and i like to add the clasp on an open jump ring because it means if you somebody wants to change that clasp you can easily do that um rather than sort of um faffing around too much okay yeah, good idea so what we're going to do we're going to go through the um silver bead if i can see the should have put that on first really there we go i'm going to go through the silver bead okay and what we need to do we need to make sure this is what i've got left from um the knotted pieces i did would you use the whole of your you don't cut any off your your silk thread you just um, use the whole of the... no you, you don't cut any off okay. and, uh, until um you just cut off what what's left over really because for this technique what we're going to do we're going to move to the end so we're going to go to the opposite end of the <coughs> excuse me opposite end of the needle so we've just got a little tail here and then the needles on the other end okay and then what I'm going to do I'm going to pass through the um, what's it called again Y guardian that's the thing and you've just done a, a normal knot on the end of your thread. I've just put that on the end just to stop the bead falling off really okay okay so then we're going to bring that all the way through so now we've got our Y guardian and our bead just there and then I'm going to pop the silk through that um, through that silver bead which goes through really easily when you're at home <laughs> <laughs> okay so I'm going to bring that through and we're going to bring everything together let me just get my hands out of the way I'm going to use my um, t-pin just to hold that just so you can see what I'm doing so now we're going to bring our bead all the way up to there okay so now we've got 
our end of the um, pearl necklace there. So we've got our tail and we've got our silk here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a knot. Again, I'm going to put my T-pin in there. This is just how, how I work when I'm at home. Okay, so what I would do now is I would pop a little bit of um, hypo cement glue in there and tie that. Okay? And that just means that's not moving. That's not going to move. Um, but just for security, what I would do is I'd probably do another, another knot, okay? Um, and I would cover that then with a crimp cover. Let me turn that over. So I would do another knot, and again, before I close that knot up, just pop a little bit of hypo cement on there and close that up, okay? And now what you can do there is you can cover that with a crimp crimp cover, so that's going to cover all that, that knot there, mm -hmm. and then cut off your little tail once your glue's, um, glue's dry, okay? But just for the, for the demonstration, so you're, you imagine you've got your crimp cover on there, unless we, oh, I don't think I've brought a crimp cover with me. Um, on there. So then the next thing that goes on would be your pearls. We did okay. a demonstration, I think it was on Friday, I was with Claire McDonald yeah. and she showed really, really clearly how you can put on Good. a crimp bead cover, yeah. sterling silver one, really neatly. So once your crimp cover's on there, obviously you'll bring both of those um, threads together, mm -hmm. pop your crimp cover on, then when you cut this off, your bead in, your um, silk comes in a straight line. At the moment it looks like it's sort of going off to one side, but once you've um, got your crimp cover on there, that, that will be fine, okay? So now, this is where it differs slightly. Um, I'm going to take... What do you mean differs? it differs between different people's techniques? Yeah. So some people then would use a knotting all or the T-pin on the top of the board, okay? But I'm going to just move that to one side and I'm going to turn it over the board and I'm going to pop the pin through the board. Ah. And so I've got a pin there. The only thing I will say, be careful. very, very careful because that's very, very sharp, okay? So don't leave it like that on your desk. <laughs> if you're not working, doing this, take that out. So I always take it out and pop it into my board, okay? So now, what we're going to do is... It looks like you've made a few holes in this board. I, yeah, <laughs> I've, done a, I've done a fair bit of knotting. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, we're going to do an overhand knot. I'm going to pop the pearl through there. And I'm going to pop that just sitting there. And while that's sitting there, I'm going to get my next pearl and thread it on. Okay, so my next pearl then is here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this and pull this all the way across. So that that then sits closely to the, that pearl just there. Okay, I'm going to bring in my second pearl. So we've got that there. I'm then going to take that, hold both of them, slide that off the pin and sit it down. Now if I just pull that, that knot will be, you'll have a space either side, okay? But what we're going to do, we're just going to take the, this second pearl, I'm going to push that slowly and give that a nice push there. And Does the knot kind of disappeared right yeah. as close to the as hole? As close to the hole, and you can see there that there's, there's, it's really, really, tight, really yeah. tight there. Okay? So the next one, what we would do is we thread on our next um, pearl. Do you think that this, this colour silk is perfect for a variation of, of, um, pearls. of pearls? Yeah, yeah I, th I think it looks great with sort of white pearls, great with ivory pearls. If you've got any of the, the golden metallic pearls that we've got, right. great with that. Um, so it's just perfect. So again, what I'm going to do, the, um, the pearls that I've already knotted are in my right hand. I'm going to do an overhand knot and pop the pearls through there. We're then going to pop it onto the pin, pull that up. So that, those pearls, that knot is sitting. You won't have this little tail. That knot is sitting there. And we're going to bring our next pearl in. And we're going to hold, the, or hold them together. And then bring them to one side and give that a pull there. And that's your third, your second knot. And that's what you do. You repeat and you repeat and you repeat. It's very therapeutic, isn't and, it? Um, it's, it's and it's nice relaxing. It's very, very relaxing. And I like, like thread on at each pearl. I mean, you can thread on, you know, quite a few, but... And then next one through. Do you do it pearl by that. pearl, then? Um, it depends what, what mood I'm in, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but it's just a really lovely, easy, easy technique. So that they're together, bring them off. And as you... I wouldn't say... Um, rush it, I mean take your time and do it, you know, 
But then when you come to adding in a like a focal bead or um, as I've done with this one, we, we're going to add in this pearl. Again, all you do is you pop that onto your silk and it's great to be able to use the silk as well and have that, that quality there, isn't it? Mm. So again, we're going to do that. We're going to bring this all the way to the top to the pearl so it sits nice and tightly against the pearl there. Bring this one in. I'm going to take them off really carefully and then again just push that pearl there. Oh, gorgeous. And that sits then nicely there. And I'll do a pearl the neck the other side and continue that, continue that along. So shall I do a few of those? Yeah, you keep going. And then you I'll show you then how to finish off uh, at the, the other end. The pearls that you've got, the, the big pearl that you've got the insert in is from this strand, isn't it? It is. Yeah. These are great sizes if you did get any of those inserts, actually. Because you want to show them off, don't you? You, you always do. want that large face. And let's face it, with pearls, how often do you get quite a, a sort of a big face? You don't. Yeah. They are all really big. They are really, really beautiful. I mean, that, they've got that oval shape, but then they've got that sort of um, organic mm -hmm. part to the top of them as well. And because they're top drilled as well, it means that you can put that peg anywhere on that pearl. Oh, um, when we come to the second kit, um, it's a different, uh, not different, but it's a slightly different process because there's a drill hole. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be mindful of where you're drilling because of the drill hole. Right. Um, That's a good or, point, or you take precautions against that or you use that uh, in a different way. Um, but with these, you can pop that uh, insert anywhere on there. But when we were talking about the pearl drills, mm -hmm. this is, is, is a case where you, to, to obtain that oval shape, obviously there's an insert in the pearl. And then the nacre grows around that, that, that shape and creates that um, shape. So um, I'd test the insert on any pearls that you're drilling. Because um, in this one particularly, they are, it is quite hard because I think mm -hmm. it's maybe a shell pearl or something okay. like that. So what I would do is I would start the, the uh, process off with your drill pearl. So you've got a nice clean um, hole uh, on, on the, the top of your pearl. And then you can even, I mean, in the Dremel, we've got the, the normal drill bits. You can then continue that through the, um, the shell pearl section of it mm -hmm. with those really, really easily. Um, and I will show you that if you, you know, with the next kit, if you want me to. Um, but they're, they're great for this because they've got that nice face on them as well. Absolutely. They, they really lend themselves well to have yeah, the, the moon or the star, don't they? 29.95, brilliant value for money. For how many you get on this strand? That is a yeah, big strand. A lot. And they are top drilled, so they're all drilled right at the top, which is a smaller part of the pearl, packed onto there. Absolutely packed. Hence why they're sort of sitting, um, not sort of flat, is because they put so many pearls on here for you. When, you're, um, when you get this home, it's obviously on a temporary yes. strand, isn't yeah. it? Do you just simply snip it and... Um, yeah, just, yeah, just cut that off. And when I saw them and when I got them and realised that they were top drilled, for me, instantly I thought about pendants. So with, with this one, I've put it on the knotted necklace. With this one, I've um, just put a, a wrap loop or a loop on either side and added chain so it hangs there. So um, oh, I love it. they just, they're great. It they're looks fab. so, so, so professional and designer, doesn't it? Very, very expensive, especially with the insert as well. And you don't need to be an expert wire worker. You don't need to be somebody that's had years of experience with beading and patterns no. and, you know, jewellery making. This is for anybody as well who loves pearls, loves jewellery, and maybe want to start a new hobby and a new skill. And, and it isn't rocket science. It's something you it can isn't. pick up really quickly. We all can have a go. £29.95. Uh, for a whole strand like this, you could make so many pieces yeah just one of those in a pendant is a statement piece of jewelry in itself yeah. just that on on that chain i think is is it really that's all, all it needs i'm putting you on the spot jan the yeah. pendant that you've got there you sell in hotels and a few yeah. different places don't you so what do you think you would be looking to achieve with this sterling silver insert on the necklace this piece of this size See, if i was selling that pearl without the insert in it for me i'd probably sell that for about 50 50 pounds uh, you put the insert into it, for me that's going to go up to about £65, £70. Yeah. Pounds. So, you know, it adds a lot of value mm. because it's different, mm -hmm. something different to anything else that I've got in, in the cabinets that I sell. It's all sterling silver, 
it's beautiful pearl. Yeah. You know, I put it in a nice gift box and I know that I could achieve sort of 65, 70 pounds for that. Absolutely. And I mean, look at how many you're getting on here. Let's, let's count them. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Ooh. There's 40 pearls on that strand. 40. So that's 40 pendants. If, if you want it to be 40 pendants. 40 pendants. Let's go crazy and say... Yeah, £50. Pounds. Say, say £50. Pounds. £2,000. It's gravy. <laughs> it's gravy. That's what it is. <laughs> How good is that? How good is that? Twenty nine ninety five. What's our price per pearl on here? As um, 40 As Charlie was saying, and as you're saying, 75p. <gasps> Do not, do not think that that reflects the value I mean, look, worth. Look at that one there. That one. Gosh, that's look amazing. At just... And they have the most amazing iridescence. Uh, yeah, they Such are. Such beautiful shoe. Look at that. <laughs> they're oh, they're so good. Just £29.95 pence and they're top drilled, which is unusual. Right, leaving that one with you. So, uh, okay. sorry, you're just... Um, you're just in all of all these, aren't you? That you haven't been getting along with you, with your So what I've done is I've just done a few, a few, put a few pearls on. So uh, we started off, and then we've got our few pearls. Obviously, you'd have more than that. So you'd have a full length. Um, pop on your um, pearl that you've inserted, and then you do the rest of the length, so to match it up. But then when you get to your last pearl, don't add a knot here, what, because what we're going to do now is we're going to add in um, another silver silver bead okay so we're going to add our silver bead in here which is going to sit just about there we're going to put our other um, crimp um, guardian wire guardian or um, French wire on you know whatever your preference is and then we're going to go back through the through the bead but it's great to work with the silk as well with the pearls because it's just so um, so, so luxurious. Right, as opposed to what? What's an alternative? Well, you can use, if you've got a larger pearl um, and you want a different colour or you want it to be a bit more, I don't know, say, you know, the, the silk that you've got is too, um, too fine for the drill holes. If you're using maybe a quartz bead or something and you want to knot that, because it's not only pearls that you can knot, mm -hmm. we can, you can knot sort of anything really. Um, you could use your Eslons or something. Um, but I think if you can use your silk, it just gives such a luxurious... Sorry, yes. I'm not doing this very well. What we need to do is pull that... I'm trying to do it without showing... There. So we're going to pull that as tight as we can against there. OK? So I need to pull that guardian in a little bit. Right, so now what we need... We need just to have uh, our silver bead just there. I'm not doing this very well. So we need a little space here enough to pop in a crimp cover okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually put i'm going to just create a little bit more space there by pulling that out there so now what we need to do at the end of this one is we're going to put a knot in there so i'm going to just pop the thread around and bring it through okay so we're going to make a knot and obviously we want it to sit in there so not on that pearl so you see, I'm, I've just knotted yeah. that there. Right, so let's bring it round so it doesn't go all the way around. What have I done there? Oh, no. <laughs> You're telling me. It nothing. shouldn't be in there next to the pearl. It should be there next to the silver beads. There we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull that. And then um, it's difficult to try and show you without using, get my hands in the way. So I'm just going to hold that and pull that really tightly, okay? Right. So that then creates that knot. Before I did that and closed that up, I would, have, again, put a little dot of, of glue on there. I'd possibly do another knot uh, and put the glue on. I would, at this stage, I would leave that until it's completely dry, cut off the tail, and pop on a crimp cover onto there as well. Right. So I would have, if I show you this one, there. 
so here I've got, and I've actually, um, what I did, I'm going to, I shouldn't have really done this really, I've fessed up a little bit here. So <laughs> what I've done is I've put my Y Guardian on, that flat thing there that looks like a crimp is actually the silver bead. Because as I was closing up the crimp cover, I caught the bead and squashed it. <laughs> so I thought, well, I've done that now, so I may as well make it a feature. So I actually just squashed that down too much. If you do that, don't go too far because you don't want to cut through your silk, okay? But it actually turned out quite nice. So it looks like it's a nice little flat bit of silver. And a, accident. And a crimp cover and then the bead and so on. Yeah, there you um, go. Design feature. And in the, in the kit, we've got um, the open jump rings and we've got that beautiful magnetic clasp. <gasps> That's so good. Um, and, yeah, I just love it. And what I did, I used the smaller beads at, at the back and then graduated to the larger ones at the front. And so the pearl knotting technique, that applies with any size. So you would still do it the exactly the same way, even if you were doing exactly smaller. Exactly the same, yeah. Whether you've got sort of 14 mil or you've got sort of 5 mil, um, you would do it the same, same way. Brilliant, we love yeah. that. If you've got any questions, any messages for Jam, please, please, please do get them in. Um, that's amazing. We love this kit so much, especially with that finding. That finding pack is amazing. And such a brilliant price. So well done to everybody who's taken advantage of that. Thank you very much. Thank You're welcome. You. Okay. Shall we do a huge, huge Baroque pearl? I mean, we've got, to, uh, well, I say huge Baroque pearl, pearls, pearl. We've got so many, uh, well, I don't know how many on the strand, we'll count them. It's going to be an amazing style mm. buy. Right, oh. one was an understatement. You've got nine Baroque pearls on this strand. These are awesome. They are it's beautiful. Similarly to what you've done with your necklace, actually, I think yeah. these would work really well, especially with the inserts. They're gorgeous. They are, aren't they? Wow, look. Now, earlier on, I said um, majority, you know, a majority when you've got this, this sort of iridescence will have been dyed, which is absolutely fine. These are natural. Wow. They are naturally. Wow, look at that colour as well. This amazing colour, look at them. Like you say, you know when, you're, um, when you see petrol on the floor or oil on the floor, or oil on water, that beautiful iridescent colour that you get. So That's are these funny. okay to drill? Yes, yeah. That'd yeah. be great actually, wouldn't that? Now they've got the drill hole running all the way through. Yeah. So would you have to be wary of where it is that you're drilling? Yeah. Okay. You'd, you'd need to do that. Just, just be mindful of, of where it is. Um, but I'm going to show you in the second kit mm -hmm. that I've actually drilled, where I've drilled it has actually gone straight through where the drill hole is. So I'll show you how to overcome that if that happens. Um, but they are beautiful. Prop pearls are so, so, so on trend. They are very, very expensive normally. You are getting all nine of these at a star by price. They're already going, they're already going. I don't think we've got anything else like this today, you know. Nothing else quite like this. Ten chances. Well, these haven't been on, well, I don't know if they've been on, they haven't been on for age. We haven't had anything out that else like this for years. I love that. Uh, £49.95, we're in single figures already. Can I remind you as well, coming up at 3 o'clock today, today's must-have is brilliant as well and will go lovely with your kit. £49.95 for the last seven. In fact, just whilst everyone's checking out as they are about to go, just to remind you, Ooh. today's must-have. Uh, 925 sterling silver, double uh, double clasp. So you could do two rows of, of small little beautiful pearls. That'd be great it. with the kit. If you wanted yeah. to do a double, you could have the, the smaller ones on the inside and then the larger ones, couldn't you? Absolutely. Good idea. We've got a huge quantity on those coming up in 15 minutes time, so stay tuned. Oh, yeah. 49.95, well done. Wendy Olga, Karen Doreen, Cheshire, Tyrone, Diane Essex, Michelle, sorry. Do you know what? I'm, naming, I'm calling all these names and it looks like every single one of you is going to miss out. I'm sorry, they've gone. They've gone, they've gone, they've gone. They're beautiful. So, 15 minutes away My from God. the class. That's going to be the next big one to look out for. Don't forget they're coming up. And they slide in and out. They're really secure, aren't they? And, and that's the thing. You know, with a pearl necklace, you, you want that security, don't you? Of course. That's why you love your lever backs. Yeah, love the lever backs. But this, these are fabulous. 
they all just it just slides into place extremely secure but also earrings necklaces yep. you could do loads with these they do lots with them Ooh, very exciting okay Sorry if you've missed it, the Baroque pearls have definitely gone. They have definitely gone. Uh, shall we have a look at some... Oh, I think these would make lovely flowers. Yeah, great petals. petals, petals. Great petals. They're, They're lovely, aren't they? aren't they? Especially some of these sort of shapes, the more round. Don't get me wrong, strands like this are great because every single one of them is a, is a sort of different shape, isn't it? They're gorgeous. See, with these, I mean, one of those, I'd just set a little Swarovski in there on a chain. would look beautiful, yeah. wouldn't it? Beautiful. White fresh water, cashew pearls. Are these top Gorgeous. drilled again? Yes, they yeah. are. There's a lot drilled. on that strand as well, isn't it? Well, look how they're sort of sitting. They're sitting, they, they, they're not sitting flat because there's so many packs onto there. You could make they're a good beautiful. few neckline pieces with this, couldn't you? I'm, I'm not just even looking at some of the pieces we've got back there, like just with the, the necklaces and things. Oh, yes. Let me pull out a few. There's a couple. That's the sort of thing. Oh, that's mine, that is from last week. <gasps> is it? Oh, I love it. Have you, done, have you shown this on air yet? Um, yes, we did it last week. <gasps> oh, wow. But, but just with, with a, a little bead in between them, they look beautiful. Oh, and because nice. you've got that movement to them as well, you know, I mean, you can have them lying flat if you want to. Yeah. But um, I think they look, just look beautiful. So you could get that look with, with, with those, couldn't you? Absolutely. They're very, very Don't similar, they actually. Beautiful. They are beautiful. They're gorgeous. £36.95. Oh, in fact, we're not even done. It's the 1st of March today. Yeah. Oh, my word. Where is this year going? So, I thought, I thought that these um, Steve Savvy Saver deals were ending. How are we so low? Of course, it is our Pearl Weekend. We wanted to do some brilliant, brilliant things for you. Everything has been phenomenal. It's not just the, you know, the big star buys or the deals of the day that have been brilliant. Everything has been amazing. Sorry, I've just turned that round because it's back to front. Oh. <laughs> £24.95. There's amazing. another example again, just facing them with seed beads. That turns it into a very contemporary piece, jewellery, doesn't it? It's so pretty, isn't it? But again, because of the, they are quite sizeable, they could be individual pendants. Oh, or earrings. Or rings, imagine one in a ring. Yeah, they're really lovely. Great shapes. Not lush. And you can make so many rings. £24.95. Jenny, Maria, Melissa, Sandra, Linda, Angela, Ali, Lincolnshire. Do check out as quick as you can. They are beautiful for less than £30. Way under £30 now. Okay, we're going to fly through a few more before we um, do today's must-have. 16. These are quite similar to the wooden neck line pieces that you're wearing, actually. Oh, right. Yeah. Aren't they? Beautiful, aren't they? They're lovely. Oh, wow. Again, they are um, classic, yeah. classic colour. Side oh, drilled. drilled. What does that mean? Well, it means... Again, it gives you a different look, doesn't it? So for me, when I see a side drilled, I always think about bracelets mm. because they sit beautifully. Yeah, I mean, yours are sort of drilled through, yes, through drilled, yes. aren't so they? Yeah, so you get that longer, the, drilled in the longer part of the pearl. Right. Um, but then I think for bracelets and things, side drills are perfect. Yeah. I mean, they're great if you, you knot them as well as a necklace. I mean, they work in both, but I always automatically think of bracelets. Brilliant. Again, white fresh water. That's sizeable as well. They are eight to nine and nine wow. to ten millimeters. They are they're, they're really gorgeous. Big. Uh, what do you sort of think as you know when you were saying earlier about the price point of a luxury pearls? What do you think is sort of the breaking point that you start to see different sizes? See, so for me, when stores? when I sort of look, start going up to eight, eight by nine. Eight. That's what I was going to say. Then for me, that, that's that point really. And then you know, obviously the value will go up and. Um, but they're beautiful. But then when you start talking about nine, ten mils as well, you know, you're into, again, we talk about luxury sizes and things. That's, that's it, isn't it? Becky, how long have you been here now? Oh! <gasps> Five years. And Becky was saying, do you know what, I, I, these prices this weekend, she said, I'm going to be completely honest, and I don't understand the pricing in no. pearls. And do you know, quite often, I find that when I'm going into stores, you walk from one high street store to another, and it's, it's actually quite often who's selling it, isn't yeah. it, the prices. But you can see astronomical prices for these sort of 9 to 10 millimetres. I, I have asked the question, I've been into stores, and I've said, 
hang on, what, why is that this price? And what's this price? And it said, oh, because these are nine millimetres. Mm. Well, yeah. these, are, these are near rounds and these yeah. are, you know, these sort of words, they mean that it's going to be a fortune normally. The quality of these are phenomenal. So then we, we say that and then we do that for the, to the price. I've stopped even looking at the prices. I think that's one of the most affordable <laughs> prices of the whole of the weekend, isn't it? It's crazy. You can get a whole strand of big pearls. We were just talking about those important sizes for less than a tenner. I hate to even Makes say sense. that in the same sentence when I'm yeah. talking about pearls. It's, it's crazy, wrong, crazy, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. In fact, so crazy that we're going to move on. Uh, what number's now? Sorry, Becky. Okay, we have got... Oh, what squares. Mm. So how is it that they do these then? Do they put some sort of square shape, shape inside and yeah. then it grows around to create yeah. a square? To create that, that sort of... You, you say uniformity to it, but it's not because everyone is still different. Because Mother Nature takes over at that point, doesn't she? And says, well, actually, yeah. I want them to look like this. And, yeah, they've um, still got an organic feel to them. Yeah. They're, not, they're not, you know, plastic beads. No, no, no. They are genuine pals. Yeah. They're Again, for bracelets, I think they're great because oh, you've nice. got that they're... shape to them. So they sit quite flush to yeah. the skin, don't they? They're very pretty, Again, aren't rings they? Yeah. with a Swarovski on. Love them, Perfect. love them, love them. Okay, nothing else quite like this. These haven't been seen in over a year. Where have these been hiding? Well. Whose secret stash are you rooting in, Becky? <laughs> oh, can't tell you. Secret. That's why it's a secret stash, she says. They are 10 millimeter pals, under 20 pals. So a bit different, like we say, you, um, when you think of pearls in jewelry, you do think of those classic pearl knotted, classic yeah. necklaces. I love that you can have a bit of fun and, yeah. and play around with it because normally if you're working with pearls or if you're buying pearls, you would just have those classic pieces. Yeah. But because of jewellery makers' prices and opportunities, you can think, well, actually, do you know what? I am going to have a go at drilling into pearls. Yeah, no, that's right. And it's you can scary. do different things. You could still knot these. You could put a round pearl or a, a potato pearl in between them and knot them and that would look really pretty. Good idea. Yeah. Nothing else like these, by the way. Nothing else like them. Less than £20 as well. Well, well done, Bev, Angela, Janet, Kathleen, and Manchester in Scotland, Yorkshire, London, Amanda. So if you put those, if you took two of those and made a pair of earrings, just as they are, just put them on a head pin, little wrap loop, onto a shepherd's hook, they've got to be worth at least £20, haven't they? <sighs> so, you know, you get a lot of pairs of earrings out of that. So your first pair of earrings, you're in profit. Oh, brilliant. £19.95. Look at that iridescence. That's gorgeous. So beautiful. £19.95. Hello, Susan, Tanya, Stephanie, Alice, Lois in Florida. International buyers. This is a great thing. Hello in Florida. Oh, I wonder what the weather's like there. Oh. It's actually been a bit better today, hasn't it? This, this, yeah. The sky's been blue, I think. Um, but this is a great thing. We've got collectors all over the country and all over the world who come to us to buy pearls. Yeah. Love places that you says, can buy pearls. That says something, doesn't it? Yeah. Love buy places you can get pearls. This is the great thing about jewel makers is that there are certain gemstones that I will say, I don't know where else you can get it. We have a grand didier right on this show. I'd be saying, I've no idea where you can go and get gemstones like that. Pearls, you can virtually walk to any high street uh, store in your local town and you'll find pearl jewellery. The amount of people that come to us, it's, it is almost... I don't really like to say this, but I think that it's better than wholesale prices. Like yeah. the, I've had friends who have been in the Tucson show, um, Gem Fair recently, pearls, they just couldn't get the prices that, that we see here on pearls. It's crazy, isn't it? Even in the trade. Well, you heard Charlie talking yesterday. He's really interesting, isn't he? He was, he was really... He was, I could have listened to him all day. <sighs> yeah. He's going to be back. He's going to be Good. back. He's going to be back bringing we us love more Charlie. deals. Okay. White lavender. Oh, these are interesting. See, that's a piece. That's a piece in its in itself, isn't yeah. it? That's amazing. Because on there, you've got sort of those really large rounds. I mean, you've got button pearls on there. Rounds. Are these classes button pearls? Yeah. And then you've got sort of uh, those little tiny pearls. So you've got one, two, three, four, four different pearls on there. Oh, gosh, that is so good. And then look, the different colours as well. Your aubergine, your lavender, your ivory, your big. I mean, that one is just stunning. That is huge and very, very, very round. Yeah. 
you add, do you know what? If you were to say to me, this should be 154. There's a jeweler in um, the town that I live in, Warwick. And that, in a necklace, just that, I think would probably be four figures. Yeah. Seriously. I don't want to sound like I'm just plucking figures out of thin air, but... But it, it is. I mean, you look at it, look how beautiful it looks. <gasps> Gosh. I mean, you could just knot that as it is, take it off the strand and re-knot it. Or, like you said, each one of those little sections yes. could be a piece of jewellery, couldn't they? Absolutely. How have you done that prize, Becky? <laughs> She's very secretive today. <laughs> I can't tell you that either. <laughs> can't tell you where I got these and I can't tell you how I could do the prices. But... Um, <laughs> Just take advantage, trust uh, trust Becky on this one. That is an absolute steal. Margaret has come in and said, right, I'm multi-buying on that straight Don't away. Don't blame her, look at them. They're beautiful. Oh, I love them. Well done, Devon, Rosie. I've seen lots of the same names coming in. You remember, your, no matter how many times you've checked out of your basket, you can still come back in and you'll only pay one postage and packaging. The white, the beautiful lavender shades as well. Uh, it's a 38 centimetre strand, but Think about how many strands you would have to buy if you wanted to create this yeah. effect. Because you've got the large one, haven't you? So there's one. Yeah. The button pearls, which is two. But actually, no, because the button pearls, you've got them in all those different colours as well. And the big ones, you've got them in yeah. different colours as well. So you'd have to get four to get the uh, that beautiful aubergine colour one. And then you'd have to get four strands of the other colours. So you need to buy a lot of pearls to make that strand. Absolutely. Make the most of that. At the moment, there's a few of those still remaining if you want to check out during the break. But we are going nowhere. Stay where you are because we have got uh, the two-row bar clasp, which is back in stock. Are you ready? Because they haven't been on pre-order. And we've got a really nice quantity. Customer service team... Are you ready? Because you're about to be bombarded. It's going to be today's must-have. And it really is a must-have. Do not go anywhere. We'll see you right after the break with these. How would you like to design a bead and launch it with a presenter live on Jewelry Maker? Well, in celebration to Jewelry Maker's fast approaching 10th birthday, we are giving one lucky person a chance to do just that. All you have to do is send a blank email to the address below, download the pack, fill it in and send it back to us. The lucky winner will have their bead designed, put into production, spend their day at Jewelry Maker, creating and designing projects, finishing pieces with guest designers, and launch their bead live on Jewelry Maker. And on top of that, you'll get 200 pounds accredited to your account. It's that easy. The closing date to get your entries in is the 3rd of March. From then, a panel of judges and bead makers will go through your designs to pick an eligible winner. This will take a couple of weeks to process and go through all of the entries. So we'll keep you posted on what show we're gonna be announcing the winner on. Jewelry maker, create, wear, win. Don't want to miss a jewelry maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre.
You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewellery Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online, or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Welcome back. It's the one to own. Today's must have everything all rolled into one. <laughs> I, I always get this wrong because I'm always here, there, and everywhere on different shows. I always, I'm not sure what time of day it is where you are. Three o'clock, <laughs> one to own. A lot of people tuning in, especially in fact at three o'clock, to see what the one to own is today. It's a beauty, and I know there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you watching. You're going for it as well already. Oh, How many of these do you get in the pack then? Right, let's just go through the, the, the logistics. You get five of these in the pack. We haven't had the, the double clasp, these are the double row clasps in for ages. It's been since August. And one of wow. our biggest requests to our buying team is to always have these on pre-order. We always, always, always have a lot of people asking for them. Um, so I've got a feeling we're about to melt the phone lines. <laughs> Uh, what is it that you like about these, Jam? I love them because they're really, really secure. Because the way they open, because you open them, um, you know, up and, up and down, so to mm -hmm. speak, and then they've got that little um, little sort of um, oh, yeah, loop on it, haven't they? Can you A see? A little it? section there that clicks into place and makes sure that that's going to stay secure. But then, once you've actually got your, your, your jewellery on there, um, it's secure because a piece of jewellery would pull... That way, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, but obviously, the clasp cannot open that way. So it's, it's doubly, doubly secure. Nice. So They're it's really, really cool. But, but you, you, sorry. No, but like on. you said, you could use them um, as the centrepiece to a necklace and, mm -hmm. and hang gemstones from them. Mm -hmm. You could use them in earrings. You could use them mm -hmm. in lots of different things. But they are... So I said hello to Kerry. Hello! <laughs> That's fab. Oh, they're, and they're really solid as well. They're big. They're, they're really lovely clasps. Plus, to have two rows of pearls like this, I just love. In fact, I've got a bracelet on that's... Who made this one? Oh, love it. Absolutely but love that, it. That's the, but the great thing is, if the necklace, is, if that was going to come undone, it would be because of the weight pulling it this way, wouldn't it? Uh -huh. But that clasp can't open that way, so it's 
perfectly oh, secure. Oh, I'm with you because, you know it, I mean? yeah, it doesn't open that way. It opens this way. Yeah. It's yeah. not going to come undone. Not going to come no. undone. So if you've got a pearl necklace that's got some of the, our larger pearls on that, you know, that we've had today, then that's going to be quite a weighty piece. Mm -hmm. um, so you want a really secure clasp. Let's face it right. I love, I'm a huge advocate of the magnetic class. I really, really am. Yeah. But I still know people who say, do you know what, these are my grandmother's pearls or these are pearls that have been uh, uh, really, really special to me. I just wouldn't use a magnetic clasp. I use yeah. a lobster clasp. I can't do a lobster claw clasp but myself. I just can't do it. I really, really struggle. These are really handy because you can do it yourself. Yeah. But also, as Jan's been saying, they are so very, very secure. Perfect. Right, Becky, what are you thinking? Already loads of you there. By the way, you're doing the right thing by getting in early um, because uh, there will be queues. There will be queues for this. The, the price on these is crazy to say. Remember, you're getting five of them and, and they're all really lovely and solid. They're, they're nice and highly polished. They're going to go beautifully in your designs. And no matter what sort of size pearls you're using, even the more delicate pearls, I still and they think are they're sterling, really nice. They are. They're sterling. So, I mean, there's a lot of silver there, isn't there? So, again, we were talking about having uh, sterling throughout a piece. You know, to get a clasp like that with that much sterling silver in it, that's, that's phenomenal. Wow. Oh. Is that Ollie? Hello, Ollie. Ollie says he's not sure, but he doesn't know. These, whether I think they these have. are the ones that, that have the, um, the little, um, that little, bit that little there. clasp on them rather than the magnet. Right, so some of them have a magnet, but some, this one, can you see there, when I push that, that is making it really secure. That is just not going to come undone from the weight, if you imagine. There's nowhere for yeah. it to sort of But go. the thing is, because of the way that that opens that way, because it mm -hmm. opens that way, pulling the, on that way has no, no effect on it at all. Absolutely. Would not open it. Okay. Looks beautiful. Two row clasps. I know so many people that have used these for so many different things in jewellery, though. That's a really great way of using it. Yeah. Okay, I've got a feeling... You know how low this is going to be. Of course, it's a one to own, so Becky is going to go above and beyond on the price. £14.95. Only because, look at the phone line, there are so many of you already there, she's gone straight down. £14.95. Sterling silver. Yeah, see, and if we were to say, okay, yeah, they're, they're, they're five pounds each that's already five ten fifteen twenty twenty five pounds yeah if you want to if, if you if you don't have a sterling silver clasp or if you're making t um to sell i know a lot of people even the little tiny lobster claw clasp i think it's mark smith actually says right i can add one to your piece of jewelry it's an additional five pounds yeah so you could have these there ready to go if someone wants a sterling silver clasp i'd add that price to it add 14.95 i'd, I'd yeah. add 15 pounds to it yes yeah, this is me, weighty this that, is that, adding that to a piece of jewellery would add at least £15. It's got two, hasn't it? Mm. How good is that? All five of them, by the way, for that price. 95 sterling silver. Wow. Do you know, I thought we'd be sitting talking about this for the next 10 minutes. I've got a feeling this is going to go very, very quickly. Over half has checked out. We've got some really savvy, savvy jewellery <laughs> makers out there, and they know the value of pieces like this. Really, you don't really have to say a lot about it, do we? Mm. You know, because... People out there know. You the do, benefit. you do, you do indeed. They're gorgeous. They're very, very secure. Great if you're doing a, a double row uh, of pearls like we have been here. About a two minute wait on the phone line at the moment, but don't worry, you're absolutely fine. The customer service team are flying through the calls. Uh, if you can get to the web, that's probably going to be your quickest and easiest way to make the most of it, though, or the app. Um, but this, I mean, a bracelet like that, that's ideal, isn't it? Perfect, isn't it? And it looks so beautiful as well, doesn't it? I'm thinking also. Isometric there, there, yeah, sort of here on a, on a neckline piece, that would look beautiful. And then you could add in some of your feature pearls with your inserts as well, which we're going to be talking about, don't forget, right. four o'clock. Fabulous. Love those. Absolutely. That's we haven't an seen amazing them since, price. was it August? Gosh, we're in March already. Where is this time going? We're already in March. No wonder everybody's stocking up. Heidi Winifred, Catherine Jill, um, Bogner, Melissa, Teresa, Sydney, Yvonne, Cal uh, Karen, Pim. Pam, sorry, Hazel, um, and you're there. Please don't forget to check out because we've got people multi-buying in front of you. In fact, there's probably more people that are multi-buying than not. Just to put it that way, there's a lot of people who are multi-buying. Um, it looks beautiful, doesn't it, on the bracelet? It does look really nice. Gorgeous. And just to remind you, it doesn't open this way. 
it opens this way. So no matter how weighty it is, it's not ever going to open no. that way. So then connecting it. Yeah. What is it that's been used here? Um, Let me show I you. Think, I think it's actually being connected straight onto um, to the clasp. But as we said before, how we did the knotting demo, mm -hmm. um, you could use a jump ring to, to attach it onto there. Right. Um, or you could just go directly onto, onto the clasp. Oh, nice. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're they really, are really great. Are. You could even they do some drop fun. earrings. You could have one with tassel mm. style earrings. You know what you could yeah. do? You could do tassel style earrings and you could have one section there as an earring yeah. and have different ones on here. So oh. you can interchangeable. Oh, gosh, yeah, that's a Couldn't really I? good idea. So you could have different gemstones suspended from there yeah. and then think, oh, I don't want, I don't want, I don't know, sapphires today. I'm, I'm feeling in a pearl mood or you take that one off and then pop the other one on with the different gemstones Ingenious. On. Oh, there you go. That's why she's paid the big bucks. <laughs> oh, wish. There you go. Fourteen ninety-five. <laughs> How good is that for all five of your two-row class? Ninety-five sterling silver. Child, uh, clasps, they are brilliant. Irina, Rosa, Heidi, Jill, Melissa, Teresa, Sydney, Yvonne, Karen, Pam, Hazel and Anne. Please don't forget to check out. We've got Marion, Joyce, Lancashire, Agnes, Carol, Jill, Sheila, Lynette. Somerset's bought three of these. Catherine's bought two. Evelyn's bought two. Marion's bought two. London, Jenny's bought two. Um, Bogdan's bought two in Greater London. Kent's bought two. Congratulations, June in, in Surrey. Just jumping in on the telephone. Loads of people getting involved. How was the queue doing? A minute. Minute wait on the phone line if you can get on the web. That's probably going to be your quickest and easiest way to get involved. But they are really lovely and chunky. They're not, they're they're not by any means flimsy bits of silver, no. are they? They're really nice But they look really too. beautiful as well on the bracelet. So that, yeah. wearing it the Feminine. way you have, as, as the front of the bracelet looks yes. beautiful. Absolutely. Like you were saying about a pearl necklace, wearing it sort of asymmetrically, having it there, having the clasp showing, because it just looks like a solid bar of silver, really, doesn't it? That's it. It could be quite a feature of your bracelet yeah. as opposed to just functional. It's, it is Something a feature. that you want to hide away at the back. Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, I've had to, have, I've had to ask to have help to put this one on, the lobster claw clasps. I do really like them. They're very secure, but I physically get so frustrated I give myself a bit of a five minute rule and if I can't do it then I give up because yeah. otherwise I get hot and sweaty and frustrated whereas this you can do it yourself yeah because it just slides out mm -hmm. isn't it? £14.95 wow. what an in Kent you've bought two Scottish Borders Evelyn's bought two Cardiff's bought two London's bought two County Durham well done Somerset's bought three as I say majority of people are multi-buying we started with 200, 210 to be exact Okay, to be exact, we've got 38, but that number is just dwindling away very, very quickly. There are way more of you than 38 that have got it in your basket. Now, the only reason I'm saying this, I'm certainly not here to rush or pressure you, but I'm guilty of it. I always put things in my basket, go off and make a cup of tea, or I get distracted and start doing something else, and then I'll think, oh, I'll wait and see what's on next and check it all together, and then I come back and one of them's gone. And it's gone. So... Have a serious think about it. Don't wait too long, though, because they will sell out today. They will sell out today. How beautiful. Love them. Nothing else quite like those. Um, right, what else have we got to show you this hour? My pink pearls. Oh, I love both of these. The bigger ones are coming up next. They'd look really nice with the, the bracelet, with the bracelet vest that we've pretty. just looked at. Oh, they're so pretty. Pink pearls going again to the most amazing price. Should we just do them now? I've not seen any other rice pearls actually, have we, Jan? No, not today. We haven't, have we? No. And I do like the shape. Hmm. Um, I they're think great. they sit nice on neckline pieces. Yeah. Because you've got that el elongation to them as well, they make great earrings, don't they? Mm -hmm. But um, you can see, like in the bracelet, they look perfect in the bracelet. They would go they? beautifully. They are absolutely gorgeous. Go for it. If you manage to get the clasp, jump back on the phone line and get these as well. They've never been to air before. They are brand new, especially wow. for our Pearl Extravaganza weekend. Four by seven millimetres, £16.95. I don't know what you mean by should be. If it should be, then surely that's where we should be. Uh, honestly, uh, the deals that we've been offering on this Pearl Weekend have just been getting better and better and better and better. We're going lower on a brand new Pearl Strand. Pink Pearl, we haven't seen any other pink freshwater rice pearls. No. Any other pink, in fact. We've seen a couple of lavenders, but they're lovely. Gosh. 
gosh. Wow. They're very, very pretty. Again, for bridal jewellery, or oh, but you know, even for somebody's first piece of jewellery, can you imagine? Gorgeous. We definitely need to get some more of those cleaning um, kits in as well because um, as gift ideas for people, it's lovely to be able to look after them because they are yeah. going to stand the test of time, aren't they? The timeless definitely. pearls are. Well, they are because you're making heirloom pieces, really, aren't you? You are. When you're using pearls. You know, Absolutely. pieces that are going to get passed down generations. So it's, yeah. You know when you imagine that treasure box of jewels that you find at the end of the rainbow, the pearl gold, but you just see pictures of treasure chests with pearls just dripping out. It's yeah. just always associated with luxury and yeah. treasure and money, isn't it? And today, it. less than £13. Pounds. For Amazing. anybody that is watching maybe for the first time or has watched and is sceptical or is thinking, Do, it, it can't be. They are. They are, and, that, and that's the thing, and that's, I mean, sometimes I look at our prices and I think, I just don't know how or why yeah. we, do, we, we do that, do you know what I mean? Because it's like, a, it's a freshwater culture pearl, it's, it's a pearl, it's a beautiful pearl, and it will make beautiful jewellery, Yeah. valuable jewellery, mm -hmm. that's the thing. Absolutely gorgeous, they really, really are. £12.95, we've said it so many times today, please do not think that reflects value or worth, it's... So good. Takes a long time to put together a weekend like this though, doesn't yes. it? Our team yes. have also put together some amazing, amazing deals for you. This is the other pink pearl one that we have. Is this the one that was on the necklace? Yes, oh, I think they've used these, um, or similar ones, very similar ones for a necklace, and used little rose gold spacers. But how elegant does that necklace look? It's very pretty, isn't it? Do you want to put it on? Will it, yeah, let's Is it too it big for that? Is it too long for that? Yeah. Do you want me to no, 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 that's fine. It'll be okay. <gasps> Look at it. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? It really does. Really, really does. Similar look. I think they're the same. I think they're the same strand. They're so pretty, aren't they? Gorgeous. Oh. Okay. This time, 45 millimetres. If you are making little flower girl jewellery, bridesmaid jewellery. And with this sort of size, I like to use three of them. Just rosary link three of them as an earring and just have a long earring and they look beautiful. Gorgeous. £12.95. £12.95. Who wants one of the only pearl strands of the whole event under £10? I think we've seen it once already today. That's it. Um, if you do want one, be quick, be quick, be quick. You've got pink freshwater culture pearls and they are that beautiful rice bead shape as well for just £8.95. No wonder we have had so many people coming back, coming back, coming back, and coming back all weekend saying, oh my word, there's just been too many good deals. This is so low, isn't it? It's just crazy, isn't it? Ollie, we were here yesterday as well. It was manic, wasn't it? It's just been the most incredible event. I've been um, in the building all week, and the buzz around here, everybody talking about the Pearl Weekend, the Pearl Weekend. In fact, when I was on air, Virtually every gemstone strand was saying, we were going, oh, this would look great with pearls. This would look lovely with pearls. Mix them in with your gemstones yeah. and use them in your different, uh, your different mediums as well. No, that, that's right. I mean, you, your pearls look, look great with shibori. So, you know, if you've got shibori a natural silk, yeah. so have pearls in that is beautiful. Use them alongside you, anything, really. That's you know, it. whatever you want to do with them. Just keep them and look at them. I do. Oh. I've got my stash. <laughs> That's just crazy. Why, why is this a pattern? Whenever anybody talks about their stash, they almost look down and like, yeah. yes, I know, I've got a stash. Yeah, <laughs> a large stash. <laughs> oh, gosh, Love this them. is just brilliant. You can't miss out there, can you, when you see deals like this? Um, I'm, not, I'm not here to talk about investments, but we all know the prices of pearls and you don't need to go far to, to see how ridiculous this is, I think you're going to be absolutely over the moon with your purchase. £8.95, what a wow. bargain. I, I nearly, I thought, oh, do I say that? You, it is, when you're talking about genuine pearls, unbelievable. Okay. We have got... Um, yes. I've got a chain, Ooh. a snake chain. Ooh, snake um, chain. The prices on our chains as well are crazy. crazy. 
crazy, crazy, crazy. So if you make some of the, ne even like what you've got on your necklace, we've seen some really big, beautiful pearls in it, especially yeah. with the inserts, putting, the, putting it on the end of a snake chain like this. That, that's it, absolutely beautiful. I mean, I buy a lot of chains, a lot of our chains, because I do a lot of single pearl pendants. Okay. Uh, and I like to offer a variety of chains, to offer different chains for different pearls. What um, do you think about the snake chain? I love the snake chain because of the way it drapes. Mm -hmm. On the neckline, it looks beautiful. Um, and also, it, it doesn't knot either. Right. So, you know, when you, you put sort of, you put them in your little bag in your stash and then you come to get them sometimes, so that, they're a bit knotted. Snake chains, you don't get that because of the way that it's put together. Um, and I think it just looks really luxurious as well, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it does. I love it's the really sheen and yes. that you get from it. Sling, silky. It's beautiful. Really nice indeed. So if you are gifting, maybe, or if you're making to sell, um, you've got to think about how you're photographing your pieces yes. and, you know, how you, if you do it on, uh, online and social media, it's good to be able to have chains with all these pieces, yep. isn't it? To be able to, to display them. Um, and our prices are phenomenal. 95 sterling silver snake chain, and it's an 18 centimetre, uh, 18 inch length chain going to an amazing, amazing price. We've got quite a big quantity on this, so we want every single person involved. Might be the only chain of the show. Mm hmm it is our only chain. Between now and six o'clock, it's the only chain. And pound five. five. Oh. This is, I, before I started at Jewelry Maker, I've got loads of pendants. I had a chain that I used to keep ch interchanging. Change. At these prices, you can have a chain for every pendant yeah. that you have. Wow. Gosh, it's gorgeous. If you are gifting maybe a pendant or making a pendant, then it is nice to be able to just have the chain there ready to go. Less than nine pounds. And you can see just how it catches the light. It's so good. It beautiful. is. It's lovely. And it drapes really lovely as well, mm -hmm. the snake chains. So even when you put a pendant, you, when you put a pendant on, you get that V shape. You don't tend to get that with a snake chain. It sort of holds some of its shape, doesn't it? It does. Gorgeous, less than ten pounds. You can't go wrong if you've bought something already. If you've opened your basket wow. already, definitely add to your order whilst you can. <laughs> oh. We always try and get as many chains in as possible because when they come in, they just sell out. It's ninety-five solid sterling silver. You've got a really good silver weight on these as well. It's an eighteen-inch length chain, two point eight grams of solid sterling silver, ninety-five sterling silver for just eight ninety-five. Wow. Enjoy. Great price. Yeah. <laughs> it's fabulous. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, I think so. Let me see if I can reach. Oh, these look interesting, <gasps> Jan. Oh. What's this shape called? Coins. Centre drilled coins. Right, how do you use these? They would, I mean, you can use them as they are and yeah. have maybe um, three or five and then have a, a, a round pearl or a potato pearl in between them and knot them as a really beautiful necklace. If you take them off the strand and have them flat, mm -hmm. um, because they've got that drill hole through the centre, you've already started, so you could actually continue that and then put a little Swarovski in there yeah. and then use it as a ring. Mm -hmm. I use these for cufflinks as well. Because um, they, they make great cufflinks, put a little Swarovski in the centre and then set them as a cufflink. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Um, so they're lovely and they're just gorgeous. Look at the <gasps> colours. Oh, gorgeous. That's a lot as well, isn't it? Oh, hang on, let me open this out. Look, Look at how all many of them. There are. Uh, Adam's can't, Adam can't even see them. Well, there you go, he's having to zoom out. There they go. Loads. Uh, loads and loads. And I'm not going to count them. I'll be here all day. Mm -hmm. There's so many, but even if like you were to take a section like that and put spaces in between, that's yeah. probably going to be enough for a, for a bracelet, isn't yep, it? Big definitely. spaces. There's so many on there. They're beautiful. They do all have this beautiful iridescent glow, don't they? They're gorgeous, like those. 38 centimetre strand, white, freshwater, culture pearls, centre drilled, beautiful coins. Again, going to a crazy price. We've not seen anything else like these all day either. I've not seen anything else like these. Um, right. 
They really should be here. I, I would love to have done a bit of a tally today of jotting down all of the savings. Yeah. The amount of times that Becky said, should be here, I should have been like, okay, saving this much, this much, this much, because it really has been crazy how much lower we've been going. These should be 40 pounds, which again, fantastic value for money when you're looking at such a high-end strand. Oh. 24.95. You can see why so many people um, almost start their own pearl businesses yeah. from watching jewelry making. Yeah, for definite. But th they are so beautiful. And when you get them home, you'll think of lots of ideas. Like I'm looking at them now, and I'm thinking two of those set of Swarovski in the centre, and then with your pearl drills, drill a hole at the top so you can set a post in. And you've got a beautiful pair of earrings. <gasps> yes. So you've got those coin earrings with a gemstone or a Swarovski set in the middle, just suspended from a, a shepherd hook. Would look beautiful, oh, wouldn't it? And they've got to be worth more than £25 then, haven't they? Absolutely, just two, using just two, two of them. Just two of those. That's crazy, yeah. isn't it, when you think of it like that? The value, again, is just brilliant. Think outside the box. Think outside the box. When you're looking at magnificent, magnificent shapes like this, there's so much scope. Wow. It's what I love about jewellery maker. Kits, strands, we all see something different. It fascinates me that somebody can be given a kit, all the same components, and they come up with something different. completely different to the person next to them. It's just amazing. One of those left, did you say? That's it. Only one of those left. Um, okay. This time. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh. They're peach this time. They're very pretty, aren't they? They really are. They'd be great in um, like a tiara twist as like sort of a headband or something, Ooh, wouldn't they? Oh, lovely. I'm just looking around to see if we've used them in any of the tiaras. They'll be very, really, 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 really pretty. Gorgeous. Again, you could use these with your new clasp, can't you? And do yeah, some double beautiful. rows. Or well, the bracelet you've got. Oh, that, yeah, bubble Something style. like that would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, bubble style bracelet would look really nice. Very pretty. Nice size as well, really delicate size, isn't it? I do like the idea. I was at the wedding fair at the NEC yesterday, and at the, some of the hair vines, mm. these would be really pretty with Perfect. rose gold wire. Look lovely. Hand selected peach freshwater cultured baroque pearls. Okay, that first prefix indicates to me that this is going to be a high end price point, yeah. Becky. These are hand selected baroque pearls. <laughs> this is a bit awkward now, isn't it? Because the pro. <gasps> Did you already press the button? Oh my word. That's how? Amazing. How? These are hand selected. This is why, you know what, I'm not here very often. And I feel like whenever I come here, we're all in this bubble. Well, you're all in this bubble here, where you think everything that goes on is normal. This is so far away from it's normality, not. isn't it? Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing. I think you have to, it's, it's a completely different world, isn't it? It really is. The thing is, you don't need to go far to realise that we are in a different, in a different league, in a different realm when it comes to such beautiful quality pearls at these prices eight pounds but it's great 95. great, great for, for us everybody. because we get them at that great price but then we can then go out into the marketplace and sell them for what the market that's expects it. them to be that's it so that's fab enjoy it, it, it is brilliant i'm thrilled 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 i feel sorry for people that don't know we're here <laughs> I really do. I feel sorry for people that don't know we're here. The amount of people that I meet, though, and they say, oh, I don't tell anybody, you're my best kept secret. <laughs> and everyone thinks I'm, you know, just, just dripping in pearls all the time. They think, oh, my word. <laughs> this is so good. I do love um, some of the, the sort of twisted style. See, using it with different size pearls as well, just incorporating the, the more delicate pearls into it. Yeah. It looks really pretty. It's gorgeous. Love it. Okay. Who wants... The first strand that we've done all afternoon of Nia rounds. Of course, it's going to be another amazing star buy. Now, Jan, you're going to have to sort of explain this because Becky and I, we had this conversation this morning saying, don't get me wrong, I appreciate, I understand sort of the, the basis of it, that the rounder the pearl, the more valuable yeah. and the more highly priced. But 
the difference in slight millimetre sizes, slight changes in the shape and slight changes in the sheen and all sorts can really alter. So when we're saying near rounds, yeah. what does that mean? Well, you're as close to... Um, I think sometimes we err on the side of caution right. here at Jewellery Maker. Because they look um, pretty round that, that's to me. What, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. I think we err on the side of caution um, because they are absolutely stunning. But like you say, a, a, a round pearl or a near round pearl is going to command a higher price, isn't it? And at that size, I mean, they are gorgeous. Gosh, look at that. Now, this they is the beautiful. one... Don't get me wrong, there are certain strands that we've done today that I'm saying, oh look, you can make it really contemporary, add it with different gemstones, add it into your shibori, drill into them, put yeah. the gems. This one, I would pearl nod and keep it as a classic yeah. necklace. Because, I mean, the size, we've said um, 7.5 to 8 millimetres. So that is like a fraction, you know, it's like 0.5, isn't it? Um, yeah. But some of them, look, to me, they look round and that, that's just a classic, not that. Classic, elegant pearl necklace, isn't it? And how much would it be? See, for me, where I sell, I know that that for me would be sort of, I don't know, about 170, something like that. Because mm -hmm. it's, and that, that's quite conservative. That I was going to say. I that's, mean, that's very conservative. That I mean, you go to the high street, and I know um, some of the jewellers that, that I have, um, you know, contact with and things, this would be sort of six. Five, six hundred pounds, yeah. easily. Absolutely. Honestly, it depends on where you're looking, where yeah. you're selling. Um, we talked about this earlier on. When you're making with pearls, yes, we make it accessible for everybody to have a go at making jewellery with, I mean, such an amazing gem as a, as a pearl. But um, these are pieces that I think you're almost making as heirloom pieces, especially yeah. when you're looking at a strand like this. Yeah. You won't hear us say it very often. When we do say near rounds, please obviously expect it is going to be more considered. If you want to buy pearls for under £10 today, we've made it possible. If you want to know that you are getting near round white fresh water pearls of big sizes, we talked about this earlier on, that 8mm mark yeah. being a real game changer. Yeah. And as soon as you add into the equation that they're near rounds, it's a different ball game. Mm. So we talk about hundreds of pounds. This whole strand should be, here at Jewellery Maker, around oh. about 150 pounds. Did you say 150? Yeah, it should be 150 pounds, which was already amazing. You've just taken 100 pounds off the price, Becky. 100 pounds off, like that. She just said to me, should be 149. I thought, you've just missed the price off. But no, there you go. She's taken 100 pounds off today. That's crazy, isn't it? <gasps> they are near rounds. I don't know if we've got any other near rounds of the whole of the show. They are phenomenal. They're beautiful. How many of these have we got? I should count them, really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 93 pence each. I have no idea how I'm buying team have managed to do this. That's Normally crazy. this is that one-off pearl necklace that's in the centre of a boutique window. We have got 43 of these strands. There are loads of you that have already bought them, but it is our pearl weekend and we want to smash everything else out of the water. We certainly have done with this price. We've taken another hundred pounds. We've taken a hundred pounds off. Surely we're going back up. <laughs> Surely we're crashing back up. Woo. So if you made Gosh. earrings, and I, if I made earrings with these, I'd, I'd be making them for about £35, £40. Pounds. Um, and we've got, what, 54? Mm -hmm. So what's that? 20, 22. 22 Sorry, pairs. Sorry, no, 25. Yeah, 20. 25. Yeah. 20, is it 22? No, that'd be 40. How many, how many are there? 54. Yeah, half of 50. Is 25, 26 pounds. 26. 
<laughs> I buy this. Everyone's screaming at the television. Door 26. Sorry. Yeah. So it's only 26 pairs of earrings. Rachel Riley is quaking in her boots right now, <laughs> isn't she, that we're going to steal her countdown job. say £35, conservatively. Yeah. That's a lot of money, isn't it? 26. So 26 pairs. £910. And that's not... I mean, you know, as a beginner, a beginner jewellery maker, you could make those earrings and look really beautiful. So, you know, there's a lot of, um, lot of potential in that stand. Oh, really mm. is. And it's just so classic. I mean, some beautiful. people might think, right, if I am starting out, maybe I won't go towards some of the, the more quirky colours and the different shapes. I do want to start with my classics. This is really, yeah. really beautiful. Bridal jewellery as well. Gorgeous. Absolutely for that. gorgeous. Thirty-seven pounds, ninety-five pence. Every single pound and every penny is now out of this, by the way. Just to make sure that these all sell out on this weekend. Um, virtually everything that we've seen is selling out. So do be aware it's if you've got anything in your it? basket. Oh, it really is. We love those. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, oh, thank you, Adam. Might need your help. Right, are these lavender colours, are they, uh, oh, button pearls? Mm-hmm. They're oh, pretty, they're aren't they? They're really, really pretty. Again, in that necklace, because they've got buttons in those, that twisted design, mm. that would be beautiful. Beautiful, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Very delicate. Okay. Natural, that colour, natural. That in itself is crazy, isn't it? They're naturally that colour. The consistency is brilliant, isn't it? Because I suppose this is a very exposed way of showing these pearls when you're looking at a yes. strand like that. You would notice if one didn't sort of have that colour or wasn't as, um, as amazing as this, it would stand out like a sore thumb. Yet the consistency for something that is natural. It's a beautiful colour, but you get really other colours, don't you? You get, I mean, I can see like greens in there and that's so beautiful. It's like aubergine colours, yeah. isn't it? And the button pearl means that you've got a slightly Flat. flatter side. So um, I use a lot of button pearls, like for rings, but mm -hmm. obviously then they would make great stud earrings. Yeah. So you put a little Swarovski in there and have them as a stud earring would be beautiful. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Again, great for hair vines as well and hair pieces, aren't they? Price. This is what's ridiculous. We just said a couple of minutes ago to be able to get any, any pearl strands under £10. Go for it. Lucy's here tonight, isn't she? Lucy Nichols. I think it is Lucy tonight. Uh, just £9.95. No, Dan's on a, Dan's here all night, isn't he? Natural, beautiful lavender button pearls for under £10. Oh, thank you, Adam. Okay. Trade. Trade. Oh. Ooh. What shape are these, do you think? Rice, rice shape? They, um... Hang on. Have I got the right one? Hmm, this is rounds. I don't think these are the round ones, are they? Because those look like sides. What would you say they were? Mm. Like a potato pearl? Yeah, I'd say they were a side drilled potato pearl. Mm, I don't know whether we've got the right graphics. What does your video look like, Bruce? Oh, because of the wifi. <laughs> it is the correct, it's the same code that we've got. Um, Maybe our graphics are it's a bit of a typo, potentially. 38 centimetre strand, the one that you're seeing on the screen now. I'll tell you what, if they were rounds, no. they would not be 12 .95. <laughs> So I think it's the graphics that's a mistake. I think this is the one that you'll be getting. And they are, again, absolutely beautiful. £12.95, you're classic. That'd be great, pearls. actually, with the pink pearls we just had. Put those in between. These are similar, those. the other yeah. ones. Yeah, I was going to say that. Put a different colour in there as well. Mine. Would look yes. beautiful, wouldn't they? So you know the twisted design that we saw? You could do a twisty design with multi-colour pearls, couldn't yep. you? Beautiful together. 
£12.95, you can't go wrong. Seriously, the amount of pearls that we've taken under £20 is, is laughable, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is laughable. But one of those, you could just make a solitaire ring with them. Yeah. And because that's side drilled as well, you could get your wire through there. Um, and then if you want to extend that drill hole, as we said before, you've got your pearl drills now, so you could do that. So You're you going to show get, us how to do that in a bit, We are. You? We're going to drill it in a second. But um, I use a 0.8 for, uh, for rings. And so I'd drill that hole and make it so that I could get a point eight through it. Just have one of those simple ring, bit of wire wrapped around it, it would be beautiful. We're going to show you how to do it at four o'clock as well. We're going to have a look at the, uh, don't forget about the Dremel. We've got the Dremel coming up in the four o'clock show along with, um, we're going to do some demonstrating as well with the new burrs. We are. Burrs, right. Uh, number, would you be able to help me please, Adam? I can't reach. Oh, I could actually, yeah. potentially. No, I can't. Thank you. Oh, oh on your no, snake pretty. chain. Yeah, because all you'd need to do again, put a jump ring on there, on a chain, perfect. Oh, Job done. Look at this. Oh, I like this. Could you do um, engraving Gorgeous. on the back, do you think? You could, yeah. You could do that with your Dremel. Can you? Yes, yeah, so you can do that with your Dremel. <gasps> Oh, this is exciting, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, 95 sterling silver, my word, that is weighty sterling silver as well, really weighty. Um, very, very designer, one of my favourite designers at the moment is Monica Veneda, I'm always following her, social media seems to be everywhere. I saw Kate Middleton wearing her earrings um, not long ago, but this sort of bezel look is all over the, the sort of boutique stores, isn't it? It's really pretty, but like you say, you could just put that onto a chain, or then you could probably just do some little um, wrap loop um, gemstones and suspend that so they yeah. sort of hang in front of it. Would look oh, gosh, beautiful. Yeah, you could idea. do birthstones, couldn't you? As well, have that, but then with a birthstone on it, that'd look pretty. Love it, or a little charm. Yeah, a little charm on it. I think it's got 3.6, yeah, it says there on screen, 3.6 grams of solid right. serving silver. That is great, isn't it? Very pretty. Handy that you've already got your connector. Um, the little hoop there, all ready there. You don't need to worry about soldering. No, nope, it's all ready done for you. Mm -hmm. And that mother of pearl is really pretty, isn't it? it and yesterday, is. Charlie was showing the shells and the the mollusks with and the mother of pearl and how pretty it was. And he showed one polished as well. So you, you really get a sense then of where this then comes from, don't you? Absolutely. So it's so perfect. organic, isn't it? The work of Mother Nature is amazing. Uh, just. Nine wow. pounds ninety-five for your sterling silver pendant on its own without the round mother of pearl. I think that is brilliant. Brilliant, isn't it? It's amazing. That size that. as well. And you've got a lot of sterling silver. Remember, three point six grams. It's stamped as well. It is stamped ninety-five. Sorry, yours will not come with my fingerprints on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely, highly polished silver. Until I got my greasy mitts on it. Just nine pounds ninety-five. I wonder are they, um, I just wonder whether they're too big for you, but actually, what no, do I you don't think? think so. They'd be quite glam, I think they? they'd be, yeah, I think they'd be beautiful. Nice, or uh, on a really nice long chain. Mm. Look nice. Um, right. Zircon. So, oh. we're talking a lot about pearls, but all throughout the week we've been saying, oh, you can mix this gemstone with pearls, this would look nice with pearls. Don't be afraid to mix your gems in as well. No, they would look beautiful, wouldn't they, with pearls? With, with the, with, well, with any of the pearls we've had today, they would look gorgeous. It's not very often that I see sort of golden zircon like this. It's almost like, oh, do you know what I'd call this? Imperial zircon. Yeah. Wow. Natural. Look and look at the centre one, how, how big that is as well. Imagine that, a pearl necklace and just that in, in the middle with a silver bead maybe either side of it. Wow. Would look stunning, wouldn't it? Talk about history with pearls and, you know, how iconic they are. A zircon is one of the oldest, actually the, not just the oldest gemstone, it's one of the oldest things on the, on the planet, in fact. This is wow. absolutely natural. Uh, from Cambodia, in, in fact, it's, it's called brown. I would call it imperial. I think it's more golden than brown, do you? Yes, definitely. It's beautiful. 40 carats of natural zircon, faceted pairs. It is one of the most beautifully refractive gemstones. If you love diamonds, if you love sparkly gems, then this one is one to get hold of without a doubt. 79.95 should be your price. Should be, keyword. Um, this is probably the biggest saving. This is why I said I need to do a bit of a tally. I need to jot up, jot together how much, how many savings you've made today. 
You've been doing a tally, Bruce. Oh, that's that's silly. Isn't What's it? the saving on that? You're saving more than you're spending, aren't you? I, I'm, I'm, as we prove, we we know Carol Vorderman. <laughs> It took us both about a good few minutes to try and work out what was half of 50, yeah. 54. And I think we still got it wrong. <laughs> Gosh. So, I can tell you, your saving is... £55 saving. You can buy two of these and you're still not paying what you should be for one. That's crazy, isn't Absolutely it? brilliant. That's beautiful as well. That colour is gorgeous. I did a, a demo um, last weekend with, with um, gemstones, this shape of how to do them and turn them into single pendants uh, with sterling silver wire. Oh, so nice. these would be perfect for that. So if anybody saw that, these would be great for that design. £24.95, I love them. And they are 100% natural as well. well. They are natural. What a great mm. way of getting natural zircon. I've never seen this before. Never, ever seen it. Um, well done in Wiltshire, in Cheshire, Greater London, Caroline, Bristol, Denise, Sonia. We've got eight, in fact, seven left now. Angela, check out. You'll take us to six. There's a lot of people there after the remaining few of these. And once they are gone, they are gone. So right. very great Gatsby about these. They're very glamorous, aren't very, they? Very, very pretty. Very elegant. Um, just because I know in the next hour, we're going to be really, really busy with demoing as well. Can we introduce the Dremel now? So, this is the first time I've seen this. Is this? Is? Yes. Oh, you're in for a treat. I don't know where on earth I've you're been. I've been treat. here for over a year now, and I've heard everybody mention the Dremel. I think I might have seen it being demonstrated, but I've never actually seen it in stock on air before. So, it comes in a lovely case. But, what do you get inside? Pocket. Let's try another zip. Look at that side. That's it. Look! <gasps> You get loads. What? You get loads and loads. So you get lots of attachments. Throw those out the way. Right, I didn't expect to open it and see this amount of goodies. Right. That's your Dremel. That's your Dremel tool. That's the actual Dremel drill. Um, and on it, you've got sort of multi um, speed on there. This is your sort of on off switch. And that's the actual gubbins of the Dremel, the actual thing. And you've got a hanging point there, which we've got to stand with it as well. So you clamp your stand onto the desk, hang your Dremel. Does that come okay. with it or is that separate? It's with it. That's with and it. And then you've got this um, section here, which is... This is uh, this for me was a game changer. <laughs> uh, that attaches to the um, dre main Dremel, hangs up. And then it allows you to use this, this flexi shaft, but it allows you then to use that like a pen. So when you were talking about engraving, it's easy to do. We talk about drilling your pearls, it's really easy because you can be really precise. Rather than having to hold um, a heavy drill there, which this is great for doing heavier jobs, you can use this like a pen. So you've got that, so you've got your main drill and you've got this attachment which is perfect. Then you've got, you've got so much. You've got a um, pack of, of the drills. You've got the multi-chuck in there as well. Um, somewhere all, in does there. Does this all come in the pack? Yep. What? This all comes in, are you sure? Yep. Yeah, it's just phenomenal. I don't know whether it's in here. You get all these little sections, all these little attachments. You get polishing, you get grinding. Please. You've got, you do get a multi-chuck as well, so that's here somewhere. So are these all sort of, um, again, going to add different textures? Yes, yeah. well, um, I, you also get oh, this... Um, <gasps> you, you love this, don't I you? I do love it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just get carried away with it. So everything is colour-coded. So this has got a yellow yellow on it. So right, you look on, yellow as You well. look on here, so it tells you on here then that this is cleaning and polishing. Right, so okay. you get loads of cleaning and polishing So you get cleaning and tools. polishing, you get sort of your grinding and your sanding, you get um, lots, of, you've got your drilling, you've got your cutting, and you've got lots of different, and they're all colour coded, so if it's got a colour on it, it'll tell you what it is and what to use it with, what you can actually use it with. So all of these different, all of these different um, things might not necessarily be in this first kit, but they're ones no. that you can add on. You can add on, but, so. but the ones that are here are on this list. Oh, brilliant. Um, and so we went to Dremel, uh, the few of us went to Dremel and sat down with them and told them exactly what, as individuals, we wanted to get out of the kit. And this is what, um, what they put together. <gasps> Gosh, how good is that? See, this just shows, it's doesn't it? Fabulous. Oh, it's, it's absolutely fabulous. And like I say, for me, 
um, it's been an absolute game changer. <laughs> this flexi shaft allows you to just be um, so free with what you do because the, the Dremel can be there set up permanently um, and it just allows you so much freedom and I love it. Absolutely love it. I can tell. I can I totally love, love this. I'm, I'm intrigued to know the price of this because I'm absolutely sold. I mean, you've got the, you've got so much going on here. To say that you get it, all of that for less than two hundred pounds is brilliant. And this isn't something that you're going to then need to buy again. No. And again, this is a. And, and that's the thing. And there is a multi chuck as well. I mean, it it doesn't appear to be here. or well, it's it's around somewhere, which you put on the end, um, and it allows you to use all of these pieces. And the pearl drills that you've got, you'll be able to use those with it as well. So it's just, it's a fabulous, fabulous bit of kit. So the, 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 um, the flexi shaft, oh, there you go. You can see it from the DVD. Yeah. Uh, the DVD that we saw earlier on. I think that will be underneath us on the web. But the, there's the flexi shaft in it's, action. Like you say, you're yeah. using it like a pen as opposed to having quite a big, yeah. um, bulky tool. Yeah. That is brilliant. It, it is. It's just... Yeah, it's fabulous. What do you primarily use it for? Uh, drilling my pearls, yeah. mainly. But I also do sort of um, some sheet silver work, copper work, and that sort of thing. So I use it for that. So I use it for polishing, uh, for drilling, obviously. Um, it's just it's just amazing. And texturing. Who else, who else was in the, uh, the meeting with you? There who was uh, myself, Claire... Uh, Fleur, and what did Claire and Fleur use it for? Well, we did. We all did different things, and we did some uh, engraving as well. We did some glass engraving, which I'd never done before, and that wow. was so much fun. Uh, so there's so much you can do with it. You know, lots of different mediums that you can use it with. Um, it's great. It's great. The only thing you, you've got to watch is your other half. Don't get hold of it. <laughs> <laughs> Start drilling holes in the world. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I'm like, get off. <laughs> I do love it though, it's lovely to have your own tool kit, yes, isn't it? It's fabulous. fabulous. And it comes all really nice and neatly all together yeah. in a bag. But when you open it, oh my word, it's like such a lucky dip. Wait till you get hold of it. It's fab. Um, so can we use our new, um, our pearl, new drills. pearl drills with this? Yep, yeah. yeah, can. Can you use it on the flexi shaft? Yeah. yeah, it's great. And that's what made it so um, so much easier for me to do it. Because if, if anybody's got the... Um, the DVD, the pearl inset DVD, you'll see that I use the, the larger drill. Um, and it gets quite cumbersome when that is quite large. And when you, you, you're sort of drilling small items, but having this and be able to use it like a pen, uh, it's just so much easier. It's about having the right tools for the job. This must, I must say as well, it's not just lying on the table, it also comes with all your poles there. And the, the black stand thing there as well. Oh, is that like a table clamp? Yeah, so it's got a clamp on it, so you, this clamps to your table, mm -hmm. the, po the poles go in here, but you've also got these little sections that you can put all your, your um, findings and bits in there, your accessories. Oh, that's good. Um, so you've got three sections to this, and on the end, um, you'll see you've got this um, little section here, and this, sorry, goes in here, and that's what you hang your drill on. Oh, great. So it's there, and it's, it can be permanently sat on your desk, ready to go. Brilliant. Um, and it's just brilliant. I love it. I could, I, could, I could just rave about it all day. That's really, really good, isn't it? Love uh, it. Can we, is it worth us setting this up? Because when you get this home, I don't want you to be like, oh, what on earth do I do with it? Whilst we've got Jan here, um, will it clamp to this desk? Do you think it'll it's go too here, thick? But it'll go here right in the, um, yeah, in in the, the middle. middle. So I, I suppose you could actually go on quite a thick desk, actually, can't you, with this Let's one, with this table clamp? It seems to open quite wide. Um, it's great, isn't it? £179.95. Will this come from us or come from Dremel? This will come from us, come from us. It? So it comes with our P&P as well. One P&P all day long and it will come with our P&P. So these are great, aren't they? That's and the, of course you can use it with the new um, burrs that we had earlier. So if you've got your magnetic burr holder and you've got your... Uh, you can look all the part with all of your tools out, can't you? Can. Oh, so, keeping everybody all kitted um, out. Let's have a look. That goes in there. That will go in there. What you need to do is open that. And push that in. So that will go in there. I, I, I won't do it all the way to the top because, well, actually, if we use this one, just so you can just see. So that you push that into there, and then that screws nice up and, and tightens up. And then your drill 
um, where's the little top bit section there? So that then fits. Obviously, it won't be this short. It'll be longer. But if I did that, you wouldn't see it at the top. And then that hangs oh, on there. Brilliant. And then this attaches to your um, Dremel there. Yeah. And then you've got your pen. So and it goes got, into the mains. It, it plugs into the mains. And then you've got this here then to use it. Because you switch this on. Um, actually, if I turn it round, you'll see that a bit more clearly. There you go. So you switch it on here. Mm -hmm. Here. On and off there. You've got your speed, your variable speed there. When you say speed. Yeah. yeah so, like a screwdriver. Yeah. So, yeah. so some things you'll want to go a little bit slower. Some things, obviously, you'll be drilling a little bit faster. Um, and then it's just yeah just great when you're um drilling pearls do yeah. you tend to have it on a slow speed when you're doing smaller yeah. intricate things? um it, well obviously it depends what you, you're going to be doing but it's sort of around about um 15 15 sort of that sort of speed um and it's it's just great but i think on um I didn't know whether it shows. There's loads of instructions. Here. There's I mean, lots that is and lots great, of instructions. Isn't it? There's loads of instructions as well. There's a really handy instruction manual that comes with it also, um, and uh, of course, speak to our customer service team or message in on Facebook because yep. there's a lot of the guest designers that use this, isn't it? Yep. There's loads. Of and on your um, instruction, well, your sheet here that's colour coded. Yeah. It also tells you across the top here. You've got a number, so that tells you the the the, the speed of which to use it so that's 15 and then you've got 25 there so that's the speed that you would ideally use that use that particular thing for and what to use it on as well it has yes. on there doesn't yeah. it that's really so that's, handy to have so keep so hold of that I, yeah i love it it's a fabulous bit of kit brilliant you're going to be using your dremel aren't you in the, in yes, the next section which is exciting we're going to um we are going to introduce the next kit very shortly whatever you do do not go anywhere if you got the inserts earlier on you know the lovely new posts that we had uh, we're going to be showing you and answering all of your questions as well about <coughs> what which ones you can do which piles you can't drill into uh, and we're going to see it in action don't go anywhere we're back after this How would you like to design a kit and launch it with a presenter live on Jewelry Maker? Well, with our upcoming 10th birthday this coming May, we're going to give the chance for one lucky viewer to do just that. All you have to do is send a blank email to the email address below, download the pack, fill in the details and send it back to us. A panel of judges will pick one lucky winner to have their jewelry designed and put into production. You'll get to spend the day at Jewelry Maker designing projects and finishing pieces with a guest designer and then you'll get to launch the kit live on Jewelry Maker on the 4th of May. And on top of that, you'll get £200 credited to your Jewelry Maker account. It's that simple. If you're stuck on where to begin, here's a couple of your favourite guest designers on where they get their inspiration from. I think the first few things you think is the who, what, when and where sort of questions. So who's it for? Is it going to be a necklace? Is it a tiara? Is it a suite? Is it going to be worn at a wedding or to the beach or shopping or something like that? So that's the first thing I'll choose. Is it going to be textiles, a suit cash, wire, all those things that's got to be considered first. And then I think about how do I pull all those things together? So if I've got um, large gemstones, I think, well, I'm, I'm going to need larger clasps. So making everything fit together and that actually you can ensure when you've got that kit, you can actually make the piece of jewellery that you've got in mind. You don't have to add or bring anything else into it. I get a lot of inspiration from uh, being outside and nature. And then I also get inspiration from much quieter times. So the inspiration might come as um, a thought or a feeling or in, in poetry or stories. It's a, a sort of opening your mind up to lots of things. So sometimes really energetic things and sometimes really quiet and peaceful things. I think that's how I get my inspiration. The closing date to get your entries in is March the 3rd. So get your pack today. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. When? Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre.
Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, welcome back. It is Pearl Weekend. We love doing Pearl Weekend. It's amazing. I, I don't know whether, was it the last time we did it back in Jan January? Did we do a Pearl Weekend in January? Oh, we're constantly working. I don't even know if we did do a Pearl Weekend actually in January. It might have just been a, a, an extended show, I'm not sure. It's always something that we strive to do, but of course there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes to do this, isn't there? There is, because there's a lot of planning for for kits, for design, so the guest designers put time in to talk with the kit team and then the kit team have to go and um, source the products and things and then bring them to there. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of work goes into it, especially to bring such beautiful products as well. Oh, you know, it's amazing. We've had some beauties today. Uh, and the, and this next kit, oh, and the, oh, the insects, the they're all gorgeous, they're aren't they? Amazing. Did you love this kit as well? Absolutely. Oh, loved it. Um, are we going to go for all the pegs first? The, uh, we don't like to call it, what we're calling them now instead. Inserts. 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 Uh, so we've got loads. I love these. Let's go silver, then rose gold, then gold. Okay. 
Let's start with the silver ones then. We've done those ones. Oh yeah, they're the stars. We'll go silver first. Oh. Anybody who missed the show earlier on, we've not done anything like this, have we? No. No, th this is, uh, well, for me certainly it's a first to work with, with pegs like this. And I think it's a first on jewellery maker as well. We just haven't, haven't done them before. <gasps> Um, but to get these with all the colours on them oh. and uh, to just be able to add that to, you, to your pearls is just so beautiful. Oh, they're so pretty, aren't they? You've got the star, the circle and the chevron. And again, I, I was asked to sort of drill a few pearls so that we could show, show how they looked. But I couldn't, I just couldn't stop. Couldn't stop. Oh. I just did all of them. Oh gosh, they're brilliant. Yeah, you were just going to do a couple, weren't you? Still a couple, all. and Double. I did all of them. So everyone is, you know, we've got an example of everyone. So. Oh, brilliant. Oh, let's have a look at some of Jan's jewellery as well, because they are, they're all beautiful. And I like you say, they work so well. Any colour, the they, fact that you've got all of these beautiful CZ colours in there, it's going to work with all of your pearls. Oh, they look so special. They, they just set into the pearls, and I just think they just look gorgeous. So they're on a little post. Yes. Now, we're not quite sure of why there's a little <laughs> loop on the end. Please message in if you know, um, because that, that will need to come off when you go into the Yeah, the bell, you, yeah. you will need to sort of um, snip that off yeah. uh, before you put it in. Um, but, I mean, it could be there for you to attach them together to keep them into pairs, like yeah. when you're storing them and that sort of thing. Um, but for whatever reason, it's, um, it doesn't really matter. No. Doesn't yeah. matter. Your rainbow CZ925 sterling silver. They are beautiful. So this time you get two of your stars. Let me show you the stars. Two of the stars, two of those. You then get two of your hearts, which are like these chevrons. Um, and you get two of uh, the circles as well. Two stars, two hearts, and two circles. All, again, going to the most amazing price. Can I warn you, the silver sold out very, very quickly the last time round. These now have lots of beautiful little um, CZ colours. They're beautiful. Therefore, I would have presumed, Becky, that these would have been more expensive. More. Yeah. You'd think... They were 1995. Am I going crazy? They were 1995, weren't they? Yeah. How are these 1295? I wonder whether if I put these like this, can you see them there, Adam? Yeah. And the star, because they're all so beautiful. They're so gorgeous. You're going to get two of each. Two of each for 12 pound 95. That makes your price per sterling silver. CZ beautiful insert. Um, well, I mean, crazy price, £2.15 each. Wow. And the fact that you get each. two means you can make it. So I made evenings with, um, with, the, um, with the round ones. Yeah. Um, and I just think they look beautiful. Oh, they do. They absolutely do. They look so beautiful. Would you, so we're going to talk about um, pearls that you can do this with and ones yeah. that you... Well, you can, you can, you can set them into any pearl, really. In my opinion, you can you can put them into any pearl. Just how you do it okay. that's, that's slightly different. Just twelve pound ninety five. Just so you know, the silver the last time around at nineteen ninety five in the the two o'clock show, all the sil all the silver coloured, all completely sold out. Uh, if you want these to add as well, they're so pretty with all the colours. I can't make up my mind which are my favourites. You're going to love them all. I would make the most of all of them because take Jan's word for it. It isn't going to be. The only six pieces of jewellery no. that you're going to want to No, you'll want, you'll want to sort of, once you start doing this, you'll want to carry on doing it. Yeah. Um, and they are just, I, lo I absolutely loved it. You are going to show us how to insert we'll get, them, Yeah, we're going to we're going to drill uh, a pearl and oh, I'm going to show you how we put the peg in and how we sort of um, get around the fact that there is a drill hole. So, um, and I have drilled across that drill hole on some of them. So we're just going to work with that. Amazing. £12.95, we've got the rose gold next. These are so pretty in rose gold as well. And these would look nice on some of the lavender pearls and the pinky wow. pearls that we've seen. So again, you're getting the star, the circle, and 
It's called A Little Heart. It's so pretty. Look at this. Again, the colours are amazing. And Aren't it is nice that you've got the two of each. So then, like you say, you can do earrings. I'm missing the circle one on these, but there we go. That's fab. That's great. And when you think, it's just a matter of really drilling a hole, but then you can add all that beautiful detail to your pearls. And I think they just look... And with the pearls from the kit as well, the shape of them, I think it really... I think it really looks beautiful. And is it an adhesive, then, that you use to keep them in? Or what yeah. is it that you use? You can use... Um, a the hypo cement okay. hypo cement will work because there's no uh, pressure on that that piece once it's in there it's not like you're hanging anything from it or mm -hmm. it's not like you for a bale yeah. or you could use a two-part epoxy uh, yeah. glue um, it's totally up to you really um, but it's I've used hypo cement for, for these examples oh I like my rose gold have you got a rose gold example on there there's, um, actually, I think it's in the, the our little, little stand. In the, so the rose cabinet. gold is on, um, I think it's on that end. These ones here are the rose gold. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, very nice indeed. We're going to match the prize. We are going to match the prize. You're getting your rose gold plated 90 star sterling silver multicolored CZ for £12.95. I think we all presume it's going to be price. so much more. Absolutely. The detail, just setting all of these lovely little CZs, even though they're, they're so delicate, they really pack a punch, those they colours, do. don't they? They're really sparkly and really bright, the colours. And I think, that, like I say, against the pearls. Um, I think the silver, the rose gold and the gold, I would be hard pressed to mm. pick a favourite, to be honest. Nice, go for it, £12.95. If you bought some earlier on, remember you can still come back in and you'll only pay one P&P. Karen, Cheshire, Hilda in Berkshire, Wiltshire, Mary, Janet, Claire, Nicolette, Sue, uh, congratulations, Helen, Angela's bought two, Jenny's bought three, David's bought two, Bev's bought four. Well Cheshire's done, bought two. These will sell out, by the way, and I don't know when or if we're going to be able to get these back. So I really, really am not rushing you at all, but this is, this is going to be gone <laughs> before we know it. And I've got a feeling anything that's left, Jan's going to be going home with. <laughs> too right. <laughs> yeah, for definite, because I'm going to be doing more of them. Oh, I love them. And so how much value would you say adds to your pearl pieces? Would you charge extra to be able to have these inserts oh definitely yeah i think if i was selling sort of like this pearl on its own for me that would be sort of um because of the size of the pearl and i would put it on a silver chain would be sort of like 45 50 pounds mm -hmm. um you know stand around 45 pounds but to add this in I, I can add another 10 pound to that price well that's it so say look for the price point that you're seeing on the screen there just for one of those, you could get your you, you get your money you back. Would get yeah. your money back, and yeah. then do you end up keeping for yourself? Well, I do because when I look at things like this, I think, oh well, if I do that, that's it. I've got my money back. Everything else for me is gravy. Mm -hmm. So then um, I'll make some more to sell. So that's my profit, and then some of it then is for me, and uh, it works really nice. We share it around, share the love, you know. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, I love that. We do agree. Uh, and then your yellow gold. Sorry, I say yellow gold. It's yellow gold plating, sterling silver. This is solid sterling silver still, which is amazing. And oh, I think the colours really show up very well yeah, on, on against the gold. The gold. They really, really do. But in the fact, colours are really bright, aren't they? Yes. Really sparkly. And the way that they're set as well is really pretty. Gosh, they're amazing. Look and at the colours gorgeous. on those. The rounds, the stars and the hearts. Once again, two of each. Two of each of those designs and they are so, so pretty. Can't go wrong with these shapes as well. I think they've done the, the, the right symbols, the hearts, the stars. Beautiful. Circle, oh, I just love them. Okay, once again, you know the price point already. We are going to honour it. £12.95. How nice would this look with more of your golden, um, the golden pearls as well? And actually, the, the button pearls you've got there, that, that, imagine those in there. Oh, wow. Or the round pearls, sorry, the coin pearls. Wow, wow, wow. One of those in the centre of that would look beautiful, wouldn't it? <gasps> yes, absolutely. £12.95 for all one, two, three, four, five, six of them. But just adding it into one of the gorgeous. very contemporary pearls that just instantly changes a very, very classic 
what you would presume to be a very classic piece of jewellery. It's something really fun. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. And I think, you know, for jewellery makers to bring products like this just allow us to, to take our jewellery making, <coughs> excuse me, to the next level, doesn't mm -hmm. it? You know, we're taking another step into that, that beautiful, um, I, just, I loved it, absolutely loved it. The thing is, is that when you're talking about pearls, you'd often think that, oh, they're so classic, I can't do anything. But yeah. actually, the prices that we're offering, we're saying, have a go at exactly. drilling into pearls. You will be terrified the first time you do it because you're thinking, what on earth am I doing? This feels so unnaturally yeah. unhuman un yeah. to drill into a but pearl. But once you start, you will love it. Oh. Yeah, well, absolutely. Exciting. How exciting. 12 pounds 95. Keep coming through. There's a lot of people who've got it in the basket. Do check out as soon as you can. We've got loads and loads and loads and loads to do with Jan over the next 45 minutes. So um, I'm going to go straight into your kit. Yeah. Now, in the kit, you I get your strand of beautiful pearls. You get a findings pack. You do. And you get your silk thread. You get silk. I didn't use the silk with the thread. So for me, this kit is, <coughs> excuse me, it's pendants and earrings with those pearls. Okay. Uh, and I've got that silk now in my stash ready for another strand of pearls. I suppose you, you can never have enough of this. Well, no, exactly. And, and that's it. So sometimes we get kits and I think, you know, um, rather than using the silk or doing something for the sake of using what's in the kit, I'd rather be honest and say, for me, these are pendants and earrings and I've got silk for mm. my stash. And I've used some of the findings. Um, uh, but I've got a toggle clasp now in my stash because okay. I haven't used that. So, you know, it's, it's, it covers it's, all bases, really, this it. kit. You don't, need, you don't need to use everything all in one go. No. Keep hold of it. You've yeah. also got your shepherd's hook, your head pins, you've got jump rings, you've got a lobster claw clasp, you've got crimp beads in there, um, all included in your kit. The price point, if you were, well, to purchase these individually, the price where we should be is £35.90. Everything has been going lower today, everything. I have no idea why, uh, but this is no exception. You're about to see a huge reduction on this one as well. We would love everybody to be able to experience making their own yeah. heirloom pearl jewellery, and this certainly has made it possible. £24.95. That's bonkers, isn't it? Gosh, and I mean, that's a big strand. You're going to be able to, like you said, strand. if you're thinking this is individual pendants, you can make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26 individual pendants, or... Oh. 13 pairs of earrings. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I was looking at you. How then? I wasn't just, even going to attempt. Like, quickly I'll turn your head. Like, you. don't, yeah. <laughs> don't give me eye, to, eye contact, Vicky. I'm not working that out. 24 pounds, 95 pence, with your silk thread and your findings as well. 95 solid sterling silver findings, might I add. Your toggle clasp is sterling silver. So... We want to spend as much time as we can going over any demos, as I know there's a lot of people who are, who are excited to watch this. Okay. Right, so let's go for it. You know, right. save us setting all of this up with the, ex the extension leaders yeah. in here, and there's a couple of bits that went there. So you're using your Dremel. I'm up, using yeah. the, the Dremel as, as, it, as it is, without, um, you know, not the flexor shaft. I mean, I would prefer to use that because it's a lot easier, because this has got a bit of weight in, in it. But you'll get, you'll get the idea. I'll be able to do the same same thing okay so what you need to do uh, to make um, the pendant and maybe set in um, a star okay if I just pop this in quickly all right so this is what we're going to do we're going to drill um, a pearl so we can set in yeah. the little star just oh, there gosh. so if I take that out you'll see that's got a hole drilled into it mm -hmm. okay and if you can see you can probably see in there I don't know if you can, but the, the, um, we've drilled down and I've managed to get it dead centre where the, um, the head pit, where the drill hole goes through. Okay, right. so I'm going to show you then how we do this and, and put everything together. But first of all, the most important thing is you've got to draw that hole for the insert to go into. Yeah, we Okay, do. so if I just move those away to one side, what I tend to do is, so I've selected my pearl, so I've got a pearl there. Now, you want something that's firm to work on, um, and this board, I, I always use my macrame board for pretty much everything, really, um, but because it's got a bit of give in it, um, it's not as good to work on. So I usually use my uh, rubber block from my stamping, and I cover it in a bit of um, old beady mat, 
just so it's nice and smooth and it's not going to damage the pearl and sit that on there okay so now I said about using the pearl drills obviously um, you just pop your pearl drill into your um, onto your drill uh, and now the pearl drills have got a uh, little point on the end which will once it's on the pearl uh, shouldn't slide around it will locate onto the pearl and stay where you want it to be okay? well what size um, burr are you using so I'm going to start off with the point 0.9 um, and then we can move up to the one mil because the um, the post I, this drill hole is um, using a um, a one mil. Right. Okay, so you can then move move up the drill bits, but start because there is no initial drill hole there. Start with the smallest one you can. Okay, um, and we'll, you do it in. It's something that you can't rush. So don't think, oh, I've got five minutes. I'll just do a few of these really take your time doing it because well, I suppose you can make it bigger but you can't make it smaller yeah and the thing is I mean you don't want to go straight in and drill straight through because the um, the burr will get hot the pearl will get hot and it doesn't you know you're not going to get the best results so what we're going to do it's not a quick thing yeah. no so we're going to go down uh, a section at a time and and do that okay so what you need to do is get your pearl obviously decide where you're going to be just show me this push can there. Um, and then, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it on the overhead. What speed are you going to have this on? Well, this is different to the other one. So this is, I'm going to put it on quite a, a, number, a, a three on this one, but you, sort of around the 15, sort of 20 mark on the, on the Dremel drill, okay? So it's a bit noisy, this one. This is the 0 0.9 burr, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 0.9. Um, this is a bit noisy. It's a bit noisier than the, the other one because it's an older okay, one. Don't you turn it down a bit. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the pearl I'll turn that around a little bit and decide what I would do is I'd mark it first I haven't done it on this occasion but would mark it first and we're going to pop that and you hear the drill we're going to do a little bit and then I'm going to pop that in again and you can see the pearl dust sort of coming out of there so you've got quite a lot of dust come out there clean that off and then do a little bit more and then clean that off and you see that that hole I'll turn that off actually so you, can, so you can hear what I'm saying so you can see that hole there um, but obviously we just need to go down further and further if you do just want to half drill it if you're yeah. making a ring or a pair yeah. of earrings you would just go as far as you need to you don't need to yeah. you can do it half you, drill if, if you're, you've got a round and um, say you want to extend the drill hole what I would do I wouldn't go all the way through I'd, I'd do um, the existing drill hole and go halfway through and then turn it round and do the same the other way just so it just makes it easy for mm -hmm. yourself as well and um, so I'll do a little bit more and I've got another piece there but it's that easy that you hold the pearl get your drill pop it on and go through my battery's not very good on this so it's, um, it's a bit noisy and you can see that the, the pearl dust... You're not having to put too much pressure on it. To you don't put too it. much pressure on it. You don't want to put too much pressure on because you don't want to... One, you don't want to damage your, your drill burr. Uh, but two, you'd, obviously you don't want to damage your pearl. So you need to take it slow. And you can see on here, there's quite a lot of pearl dust. Uh, and I've got a little paintbrush that I've cut down. And I just use that to, to clean off the, the pearl dust. But you can see that the, the start of that hole there. And can I, can I drill it anywhere on the pearl? Is there anywhere? anywhere. Yeah, you can go anywhere. You don't need to anywhere. go dead central. No. I mean, wherever you want to set it, you can set it. It's just that with, with, the, with the other kit that we had um, and the pearls that I used, they were top drilled. Mm -hmm. So the, dr the drill hole went across. So we've got all this space down here. You could go anywhere and you haven't got to think about the drill hole. With these, it was slightly different. Because they're drilled, um, obviously with this one, I've drilled it smack bang where the, the drill hole is so my um, my head pin goes through and obviously when I put the pearl um, the insert in it actually sits on top of the pin okay. um, but obviously if I'd, if I'd gone somewhere else and not uh, uh, you know affected that drill hole then you just a matter of putting your your, your insert in there mm -hmm. but I'll show you how to do that in a in a second so what I would do is I'd do that with the point nine and I'd go down um, and I'd keep, well you can't actually test it because the 0.9 isn't actually large enough, so I'd do a section of the 0.9, then I'd take the 1mm and drill down again and just keep going 
and then keep checking your insert against that. Actually, if I get another one of the inserts out, I'll show you. Because I don't want to use one of mine. No, I'll, I'll use one of these because I'll cut it, cut it off, and I don't want to cut off that oh, one. Oh, so cause... cutting the cutting the um, the little loop off. Yeah. Do you just do that with? Yeah, I'll show you. Okay. So we've got our little insert there. Okay. So obviously we're not going to be able to get the loop, the loop into the drill hole there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in some flush cutters as close to that um, jump ring uh, effectively mm -hmm. as I can. Um, I'm just going to hold that, she says, and I'm going to cut that off, okay? So now I've got um, the peg there without, without the jump ring on, okay? Really? Yeah. Um, and here now I've got a tiny little jump ring that I can use. I can file down the little bit of post that's on there and I can use that. I'd, I'd put, use that in my resin or mm. my uh, F-colour or something. Mm -hmm. um, so keep that. So always keep it because it's obviously it's sterling silver. Okay, I'll move that to one side. So now, once you've done that and you'll do it with your one mil and you'll drill down and you'll just need to keep checking that the, you've drilled down enough for the post to fit in. Okay. So you see that fits nicely into that one, okay? But now I know that if I pop that in, that's not going to go in there. That's stopping uh, that going in. Because you went perfectly where the driller yeah. was. So that's going to stop that going in and I'm not going to be able to set it. So what I, what I had to do with them is cut them down just a fraction more. So if I pop that one down, you'll see that one's a little bit shorter. So now if I pop that one in, there. That sits in exactly the same way, but when I put the head pin in... Is that going to pass? Th that goes through. Yeah. But you see, what, see it's moving because it's touching that. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is... Well, I'll show you that bit in a minute. I'm jumping ahead a little bit. Um, so all you, what you need to do is you need to continue doing what I did with the 0.9, then do the same again with the 1mm mm -hmm. uh, until you've got a deep enough drill hole uh, and set it in. If you get to the point where you've done what I've done and, and actually hit the, um, the drill hole passing that way, I'll show you now how to, you know, accommodate that. So does that make sense? Yeah. So would you be confident then of, of, of doing that and saying... It, it, it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. it's really, really easy. I thought it's... you were asking me to do it then. I was like... <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm ready. You can have a go, though, if you want. <laughs> do you know? But, um... I've got, but, yeah. I'll have a go. Do you want to have a go? I'd have a go. Anything, yes. I'll oh, have a go. On, then. You're a very good teacher, Jan, so I'm, I feel Reckon. confident that I've, I've watched you can, what you've you been can, doing. Um, well, you can drill it wherever you want to, really. Okay. There you go. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is... Holding it. Holding, yeah. holding the pearl and holding it and not getting my hands in the way. Okay. So, the best way to do is look for the largest, uh, the widest part of the pearl. Okay. Don't hold it that way, yeah. because that's, that's the smallest part, so you've got less room here. Yeah. If you hold it that way... You've got all that space there. Right, okay. Okay. So, um, but really, you should be wearing glasses. We should have, I should have put my safety glasses on, so okay. maybe you shouldn't yeah. do it. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah. Bruce is getting some safety goggles. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's really, really easy to do. Okay. You know, so, um, but I'd I, I really don't want to... You get into trouble on yeah, top of Yeah, I don't want to do on. that. Um, but so then, once you, you've got the, the, the drill hole, the yeah. right depth that you can get your, your, uh, your head, head pin through okay. and your, your insert in. So, first of all, once you've got that, we know that that's going to fit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we're going to take that insert out um, and I'm going to make a loop on here now. Okay. So, I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to pop those in and we're going to set the pin in first. I'm going to just pop that round. I'm going to make a small loop because then I can use a jump ring to attach it to a chain. Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to go around and then um, hold, hold the loop and wrap it around. Obviously, you'd spend uh, a bit more time doing this and get it nice and nice and neat. Okay? So we've got our little loop on there and we're going to cut that off. So now we've got our, um, our pearl drilled, ready for the insert. It's got a little loop there that we can put a jump ring onto um, and we're ready then to set things, okay? But or if, if you touch the drill hole going that way, 
always set your pin in your head pin in first mm -hmm. and then glue your inserting because if you glue your inserting first you're going to block that hole up anyway right so um that's that's the way to do it so if we then i'll show you how to attach the insert so you okay i'm ready do you want to go yes, do you want me please. to show you first or um remind me again I'm, okay. I, I did i did um right so we're going to hold it on the, the the deepest side there yeah and so we're going to hold it flat and we're just going to pop the drill on there and just down yeah that's it okay so hold it again like a pen yeah i'm a left hand okay just be careful <laughs> oh your left hand oh right hold it straight down just be confident, don't. Oh, I've got That's it, hold the pearl. That's it, watch your finger. That's it. That's enough now. Stop there. Let me see. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's the hole that that Vicky started off. There's the hole that Vicky started off. And all she would do is repeat that and continue with it. Oh, cool. It's so cool, it's, it's it? actually, yeah, it is. Really, and you say that this one is a bit, it's a lot That's easier a lot heavier. when you've got your... If, if we'd got the other one, um, the, with the flexor shaft, you would have found that a lot easier to do because you're not considering about the weight of the drill because that, that's You've quite a weighty drill, isn't it? Yeah, and it you is need to keep it upright drill. because you want to uh, hold your pearl and then you're going to be drilling down. If you hold your pearl to the side and do it like that, for one, the, the hole isn't going to be straight, yeah. it could be off centre. And um, for two, you're not getting the same not, pressure either. Yeah, you don't have the control over no, it, do no. you? So you really want to go straight down. But obviously with the, with the other drill, it's a lot easier because this is quite a way to drill. Um, but that, that's how you do it. But it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, oh, I can see how it would get very addictive. I'd be looking around. Very like, cool. Oh, very, very cool. I love it. Right, so once you've got to that stage, you've drilled the hole um, and you've got your um, post in and you've made your little loop, we're going to put that post into there so for for this you know for my pieces i did here for the examples i used um high post cement okay okay so you can use high post cement or you can use whatever you know whatever you think really i mean a two-part epoxy resin will do a, a great job um but the high post cement because it's not actually got any weight carried on it it's not like we're attaching a bale or something um so it's, there's no weight to it at all um it for me it works Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, I don't want to put too much in, because the hypo cement's got the um, fine needle, we're going to pop that into the, into the hole, okay, we're going to put some in, uh, but we don't want it too much, because we don't want it to, sp to um, spill out onto to the spill surface, out. so we don't want it to spill out onto the surface so, of the pearl. And that that's not going to damage your pearl? What, the, 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 the glue? Hypo cement, no, no, no it'd be fine. Um, Just be I careful of not getting it on the surface. Yeah, and all over your fingers, because I can't see how to get that back on there. No. <laughs> Hence the name, Excuse hypo me. cement. Yes, I, it's I, very um, sticky. Very sticky. I was going to walk it on my clothes, and I'll yes, don't do that. <laughs> right, OK. So now you've got your um, hypo cement in there. And the only other thing to mention is make sure that your um, loop is facing in the right direction that you want it to, because once that's dried, that loop won't move. Right. So that loop will stay just there. Okay, so now we need to pop that into there. So what you can do is you can um, just pop it in like that. Just go down that way, turn it over. I think I've got the wrong one now, actually. The wrong. Have you post. got my one. You need to pop a, a probably a little bit more glue in there because you want a bit of glue to come out on the top, but you don't want it to spill out onto the onto the pearl so you make sure that your post is in the right direction facing mm -hmm. the right direction because that's going to set because you've put glue in there and then you pop your um insert in there like oh, so oh it's amazing and then you leave it i'd leave it overnight to dry right and make sure it's dry and actually the the glue because the drill hole is there as well some of the glue will have gone into there and so it will set the pin set the post and everything will be in place but it's that simple that's great it's that simple it's not really that technical and i know some people worry about using power tools and things um, but if you do get the dremel with the flex shaft that takes all that fear away because it's so easy to yeah, use yeah yeah um and it's just great and once you start drilling and setting things in like this it's just so addictive yeah. 
And I just hope that we get more of these little pegs. Oh, me because too. Because they're so beautiful. They really, really are. They've been so popular. A, a majority of the, the moon and the star ones that we had earlier on are sold out. Lots of the multicoloured Caesared ones as well. Can Very I just popular. talk about the, the other pearls that we had? <coughs> Please do, in yeah. The, um, in the first kit, they were the coins. And we said before that some, especially the, the pearls that we've got um, that are shaped, they will have had a shape put within them that the nacre grows around them. So sometimes that shape might be from a, um, a shell, like a shell pearl product. So that's going to be harder than the actual pearl itself. So sometimes... Is that how they make shell pearls then? So they have a little bit of shell that acts almost as the well, grain a shell of sand pearl is, is A shell pearl is the pearl and the, the mother of pearl and the pearl and everything that's, that's crushed down, isn't it? And right. then, then back together, put yeah. back together to yeah. make that perfect round. Right. Well, I think sometimes that... That sort of product is used on the insert of for the pearls, so it is harder. So I would say when you do it, when you do that, I would use the pearl drills to get the initial um, hole there mm -hmm. um, to start that off. So you've got a nice clean cut. Because if you, I mean, I'll take this one out now if I could, before it dries. It's got a bit of glue on it now, but um, just wipe that off. <laughs> on your fingers. <laughs> yeah. So that's not very good. But if you see how clean that um, drill hole is see that's a really clean drill hole where so that the pearl drill creates that really nice round clean mm -hmm. cut well it's because it's sort of flat isn't yeah. it compared to your spiral yeah. or other insects. so what it does it slices through the, the nacre of the pearl but for the ones with the inserts that are slightly harder I wouldn't then continue down with the pearl drills because I wouldn't want you to damage your pearl drills mm -hmm. because it is harder so use your pearl drills for the initial so on the outside of the pearl it's a nice clean cut but then maybe um, what I tend to do then is the other drills that are in the Dremel kit mm -hmm. um, use those to go through that harder section um, but you've already made that initial cut on the outside right, okay. so the outside is really clean but this will take out that harder section from inside. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Can you drill a shell pearl? You can drill shell pearl. I've done that before. I've set Swarovski into shell pearl. Okay, we had yeah. some shell pearl cabochons, and I, I set into, into that. So you can do that. But again, be careful using your pearl drills, um, because, again, it's harder. It's a lot harder than, uh, you know, a, a normal pearl. So um, just, just be wary. Just, just think about what you're drilling and um, which tools you which use tool to it. use yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but like I said before having the pearl drills for me was a game changer and I liken the pearl drills and the normal drills to my flush cutters because I wouldn't cut uh, memory wire with the flush cutters mm -hmm. but I would use my flush cutters for other things and they're invaluable you know so it's horses for courses and I think having normal drills in, in your kit and pearl drills in your kit essential the burrs for the pills uh, for the uh, for the pearls that we had earlier on by the way they are still available i believe in the different sizes they'll be uh, on our website as well we had them earlier on in our two o'clock show the dremel kit by the way for anybody that's got it in the basket we've got about 10 people that are, have got it in the basket and have, have, haven't yet checked out. Right. If you are on the fence, as you say, there's a lot of people who are sort of a bit wary of power tools or, 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 or a bit afraid of using power tools or, you know, thinking it's an expense at 179 99 If you love it, it, yeah. I, I would say, say personally, for me, it was worth every penny because it's made my life so much easier. And, and I know some people have dexterity problems or if you, you've got arthritis or that sort of thing, but you still love making your jewellery. Um, holding a drill like that that we've just used might not be a possibility but to have the Dremel and be able to use things like a pen mm. or to do engraving and be mm. able to do it sort of like handwriting almost yeah. it's just um, it just opens up so many possibilities uh, the DVD as well uh, it was available earlier on we look, we had that in our two o'clock show so that will be on the website this is just a little bit of a snippet from the DVD but look how easy that, yeah. that looks to, to use yeah that's using that attachment yeah. of the, uh, the, the flexi, flexi shaft yeah. Yeah. and that that for me is, is the main thing for the Dremel. Oh, I love it. It isn't just for, for pearls, the Dremels. It's no. got so many attachments in there for loads of mediums. Lots and lots of mediums and um, yeah. And you will love it. And when you get it, it'll be one of those things that you're using all the time. And because you've got it there set up and you've got the flex shaft, the ease of using it. Because sometimes if, if, if I hadn't got that, I, I wouldn't be bothered to get my drill out. So I wouldn't do as much as I do. Yeah. Um, so it makes life so much easier. Oh, I can't wait for you to get it. Out. But I hope that was explained okay. But if you've got any yes, questions, you're amazing. Thank if you've you. got any questions, 
you know what I am. Just ask. Message in, message in. Um, okay, right, what would you like to do now, Becky? Sorry. Shall we do? I mean, everything today has been an amazing, amazing star buy, but the, we've, we've picked up this strand quite a few times. We're going to do the peacock pearls as a star buy. We talk a lot about classic pearls and, you know, pearl knotting and beautiful classic designs, but I love the fact that we can make them really contemporary by adding the inserts, and I think this one in particular is probably the most contemporary strand yeah. of pearls that we've had of the day. It's beautiful, and like you say, you could drill that exactly the same way that we've just shown, mm -hmm. and add one of those beautiful inserts, and it'd look beautiful, wouldn't it? They're coins, they're big coins, especially because of that large sort of face. Yeah. It'll work really well yeah. with the inserts. They are gorgeous, and like you say, the colour is beautiful. Um, and you could put any of the colours really, I mean the gold would look beautiful against it, the rose gold and the silver. Yeah, absolutely, I'll show you, there's the, um, oops, hang on, there's the, the yellow gold. I hate, I've got these nails on <laughs> which I've had for my holidays and they are doing my head in, I'm not used to them no. at all. Right, let me use these. There you go, there's the yellow gold. See, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? See that in the centre of that? <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, that is going to look amazing. Look at the colour of your peacock coin pearl, those iridescent colours. It almost picks up the colours it in does. the peg then, doesn't it? Yeah, it picks up the, the greens that you can see there in the, uh, with the sea's head. There's, so that's the yellow gold. Equally though, the rose gold, the, uh, the, the silver is going to look beautiful as well. There's the rose gold with them. They're all just going to work so well, aren't they? Beautiful. I'll make the most of those inserts before they sell out because I've got a feeling they're all going to well, go. I'm going to get them if, um, if there's oh. any there. I'm having them. Yeah, take John's word for it. They said, why don't you, you just put a couple of these in, insert a couple of them, and you they did said, them could all. You, could you do a couple of, just insert a couple of them for me? I couldn't stop, I did all of them. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you go, that says it all, doesn't it? Um, peacock coin, freshwater cultured pearls, they are big. So. I, do you know what I thought you just said then, 99.95, and I thought, do you know what, for once, it's, it's making a bit more sense. This at £100 still would sound brilliant. Look at this, 19.95. That's crazy. 95. Oh, they are gorgeous. They would make great rings as well, big statement rings, wouldn't they? Rings, big wouldn't they? coin rings. With one of those inserts in there. Oh, yes. Or, do, or with chain, silver chain, either side as a bracelet. Yes, absolutely. Gorgeous. They look gorgeous. Yours looks beautiful like that, actually, the, the pearl ring you're wearing. That'd yeah. be really nice. But you could do the same with that, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you could yeah, do exactly the same. Yeah. And because they're quite flush to the skin, they work well as bracelets, yeah. necklace piece, neckline pieces, earrings as well. Perfect so clothing. much that you can do. So you could drill. Could you drill the sort of top of these to do disc style earrings? How would you, what would you do with it? Would you just put a head, head pin through it? You could just put a head pin through them. Mm -hmm. um, or you could. Um, Put a post in the top and then drill anywhere on there and yeah. set something in there. There's just so much you can do with it. And when you've got the drill and you start working with it, you'll you can just work out lots of different things to do with it. I suppose that. you start looking at strands very differently, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you do. When you start thinking, oh yeah, I like that. I could use that that way. But if I drill it this way, I can use it in another way. So it's it's great. Love it, love it, love it. Nineteen pounds ninety-five. There are so many of you there again. Don't forget to check out one of our favourite star buyers. We keep picking this out today. We've got about thirteen of these left. And Fiona, Tracy, Alison, Annette, Warwickshire, and Marie do need to check out. Be careful on the web if you have got this in your basket. There's a lot of you on the phone. A lot of you on the phone. At the moment, the customer service team are whizzing through your calls. Is about a one-minute wait. That's it, just a one minute wait. It's been money cool weekend, hasn't it? It has. It's been great, hasn't it? It's been so good. Oh, there's been such a buzz all week, I must say, uh, uh, leading up to Pearl Weekend. There's a, a few, there's Amber Weekend, it's, it's the same sort of feeling. Everybody's talking about it, and the buzz in the office is amazing. So I've been here every day as part of Sewing Street, and um, it's just been amazing seeing it's everybody great. talking about it. I've so, so much new, new yes, things as well. Yeah, loads of premiere pieces. Brilliant. Love it, love it, love it. Just £19, 95 pence. It's great to see lots of um, new new people coming as well. We had Charlie yesterday, didn't we? Who, um, he, he was he was a fountain of knowledge. Yeah. 
And his enthusiasm for pearls as well was just brilliant. It's in his blood, isn't it? And yeah. he, he lives and breathes pearls, you can just see. Well done, Michelle, Fiona, Alison, Annette, Warwickshire, Marie, please do check out. We've got Elizabeth, uh, Angela, Marion, Rebecca, Margaret, Tracy, Devon, Mary, Patricia, Denise, Louise, Hilda, Susan, Ronald, Janice, Eileen, Bev, Tracy, Michelle, well done, everybody. This one about to sell out. Okay. I'm all right, Adam. Thank you. Oh, we've not seen this, this colour before. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? We, well, surely, I was going to say, surely we're close to spring yeah. now. The t this month. Be. Is it the 20th of March? We, it's supposed to be spring. Oh, gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I feel like it's been winter for about... Ever. Ten years, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are lemon. Wow. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. It's the when we start getting to the end of March and April, you don't know, do you? Bruce just said, "Do you know what I like this time of year? You know what to expect when you get up. You put a jumper on. You, you just know what to expect when you go outside. What's the weather doing? Of course, it's going to be cold." There we go, coat on. I love this lemon colour, that is really beautiful. And they, to me, oh yeah. They're around. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, they look very spherical. They're very pretty, aren't they? So imagine those, with, you could put a, like, a black spinel in between those, couldn't you? Well, that would change the look completely. Yeah, or you could put peridot and that'd look really spring, wouldn't oh, wow. they? Wow. So you could put, you know, your gemstones with it or knot it with a really mm. lovely coloured silk. I was going to say, see, I, I envis envision these with one of those like boxy sort of Chanel style jackets. It looks very, very smart, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? Really, it's really high end, very pretty. But then like you say, you change it, you add different gemstones yeah. in or you can um, add it with pinks or greens or black even. It's gonna look completely different. But hang on, that has got to be one of the most affordable neo round strands of the whole weekend. That's crazy, isn't it? It makes such a difference. Um, Becky was saying this to my producer earlier. I don't understand the pricing on pearls. I don't understand how near rounds, surely these should be £129 or at least sort of £59, £49. £12.95 is amazing value. Amazing. Okay. Um, we've got so many, so many different <laughs> pearls, haven't we? We've got loads to do. We've got loads and loads to do in the next hour. Oh. Okay, these are oh, beautiful. Shape. They're big. They are big. They're very like bright and sharp, aren't they? The, the great thing, is, yeah, they really are. They've got a lovely sheet. We can almost see ourselves in yeah, them, can't yeah, we? They're beautiful. Um, so quite often we get a lot of people ask about um, the drill holes in pearls. They are notoriously smaller than other gemstone drill holes. They are on, on, on a lot of the pearl strands. They are. But of course now with, with the Dremel, the Dremel. And the, Dremel the, the pearl drill burst, then you know you can extend that. So you're not limited to that, that size, are you? And if, if it, there is already the drill hole there, would you just very carefully go from either end with yeah. your Dremel, with the, um, with the new burrs that we've got? Yeah, in? I'd, I'd do one side first, sort of halfway through, then turn it round and do the other side. It's as simple as that? Yep. Yeah. Right, I just need to warn Becky before she presses the button again. Hand selected. Remember what happened last time? There you go, she'd already pressed it again. £29.95. Oh, it's not your price. They are hand selected. Beautiful, beautiful pearls. Oh. They're big as well, aren't they? Wow. These are eight nice. to nine millimetres. The amount of pearls that we've taken under £20 this weekend is That's just crazy. absolutely, it is crazy. <laughs> It's commercial madness, isn't it? The amount of pearl pieces. We're almost programmed as humans to know pearls as being expensive. Yeah. Because imagine that in a, in a boutique, a jeweller's window. Yes. Uh, on a bust, yeah. knotted. Yeah. Imagine the price ticket that'd be on that. Absolutely. Well, you, you can see it. Please have a look in your town. Go and have a look at how much you can pay. The only thing is, is if you are saying, oh, well, I've seen similar prices, ask if they are real. Because these are the prices of the prices that I've seen in your high street stores yeah. that is costume jewellery, plastic. These are real potato pearls. They're just beautiful. So wow. classic. So, so classic. £19.95. Uh, okay. 
This one, I, I might need your help, Adam. Oh no, I can reach just about, thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to keep get, making him get up. Oh no, it's all right. <laughs> oh, these Ooh, are nice wow. shapes. These again, could you drill through, could you um, insert on these? You can. I mean, the inserts that we've got, um, obviously it depends how, how deep the pearl is. That's it, yeah. Um, but uh, as long as you've got that depth to the pearl, yeah, not a problem. Amazing. Gosh, I love these shapes. They're Look at gorgeous, that one. That's lovely. And those colours as well. So pretty. Your cashew pearls. 30 centimetre strand, so on here you're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. And you know what? We've done some amazing prices on the near rounds, but which ones have sold out the quickest? It's been the Baroque and the cashew pearls, hasn't it? Yeah. I think we're seeing a real sort of change in the yeah. market. I think, I think that's the thing. I think they're really sort of on trend as well now, aren't they, to get that more organic shape. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Pound each. A pound, a pound a pearl. I just had to literally just add a, a bit of a check in with myself then. When I said it, I stopped myself. A pound a pearl. No. I feel right. like, you know, when you, when you go um, to the market on a Saturday and they're going, bananas for a pound, all this. Imagine, pearls for a pound. No. You'd sell out, wouldn't you? No, that is wow. brilliant. 18 pounds. Over allocated, over allocated. Thank you. Wow, round, round, oh, round, 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 round. Again, these. Oh, are they? Are they? Do you know, we are very, um, what's the word? We're very sort of conservative with what we call them. To me and you, Adam, I mean, what would you. Without even being pearl expert or anything, I would say that they were pretty round. Yeah. I mean, there's what, a millimetre in it, isn't there? Yeah. They're really round. Okay, these are potato pearls, so therefore you're going to get the most incredible price. Um, if they were rounds, the price would be very, very different. Oof. Oh, I'll have these. Buy them, buy them, yeah. buy them, buy them, buy them. Multi-buy no, on this. Nice. That's... Crazy. This has slipped through the net. There is no way that that is a 14.95 strand. It's a 40 oh. centimetre strand. Gosh, that's one of the longest mm. strands that we've seen in the show, isn't it? That's about amazing. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, nine, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight, fifty. Fifty pearls. Thirty pence a pearl. I was just going crazy at a pound of pearl. Doesn't make sense, does it? No, does it doesn't. It? So you could knot that and you'd have a, a beautiful necklace and you could get earrings as well because obviously knotting it will extend the length of the, of the strand. Keep it for yourself. So you've got a knotted necklace and a pair of earrings uh, and then buy another strand, turn them into earrings and make gravy. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> And yeah. that's how you make gravy. You've yeah. got to do um, a recipe book of it. We are. I think we need to. <laughs> and everything just turns to gravy. <laughs> 40 pounds, 95. They are, oh gosh, they're just so beautiful, aren't they're they? Beautiful. Classic. Less than 15 pounds. Wow. <gasps> they're gorgeous. They are so, so classy. Beautiful. Sold out, sold out, sold out. I'm not surprised. I think that was wrong. I think that was wrong. Adam, that was the one auction that you asked Adam to get out of the box. I've got a feeling that you've done a boo-boo there. That was too low. Thank you. Oh, these are nice as well. <gasps> Look at that. Good. Really pretty. Um, they are seven by eights. Five by seven, two seven by eights. So has this got a slight sort of graduation? They're beautiful. Oh, I mean, you're going to get different sizes in there. Freshwater pearls. Classic white. So when fun. you're getting, uh, when people come to you, do you find that still your white, your ivories tend to be the most I popular? think when, when I sell, I've always got a range of, of white and ivory pearls in there, and they are always popular. Um, but the, the colour pearls... Um, are really popular because people don't you, don't you don't see them as often yeah, do you no, so it's um, I think both but the white pearls yeah 
You've I'm always really, got always, them. Always, yeah. So if you're making to sell, definitely, even though if we're thinking, oh, we can step outside the box and do some more unusual, you know, the different colour pearls, still always have your classic yeah. ivory. Yeah, definitely. Or white, they're beautiful. And especially bridal jewellery. I went to the, um, the NEC wedding fair with my friend who's getting married next year. Oh, my word, it was the most stressful day. I just oh. hate exhibitions where it's just so packed, Mark. busy with everything everywhere. But the amount of jewellery stores that stands that I saw there... All pearls, yeah. all pearls, all Swarovski sequin -y, you know, hair vines and things. But pearls, so popular, bridal jewellery. A um, friend of mine, she's making her own uh, veil or, and embellishing some shoes. So even with jewellery makers, step outside the box and yeah. think of embellishing different things. At yeah. these sort of prices, less you than £10, pounds, you could add some pearls onto a pair of shoes or yeah. onto a clutch bag. Or, anything, couldn't you, really? Gosh, yeah. So pretty. That's so beautiful. beautiful. I mean, every strand of pearl is, is beautiful. It's all, all, they've all got their own character, haven't they, and their yeah. own beauty. They just look amazing. £9.95, it's been manic, 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 all day. I do like these bubble style bracelets, do you? Yes. And yeah, that strands great, like this, isn't it? yeah, great for that. And they just look so impressive. The amount of times that's been shown on air, everybody loves it. Uh, that one is just £9.95. It's a crazy price. That, that is one of the lowest prices of the whole weekend. So absolutely make the most of it whilst you can. Like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Five by sevens to seven by eights. It's been absolutely amazing. I've had a you? great time. You're such a fountain of knowledge, Jan. Yeah. Thank you. What and if say? anybody has any um, questions, you can find you on Facebook. Yep. Can't JM guest designer Janet Dwyer. So, yeah, just got any message, any questions, just let me know. Yeah, absolutely, because, oh, it was so good, wasn't it? Pearl knotting and um, using the Dremel. I think a lot of people are thinking, hang on, that is a bit of a game changer yeah, in jewel it making, is. isn't it? it? Is. That is brilliant. So, thank you so no, much. You're welcome. Well, it's been lovely, lovely to see you. When are you back on? Uh, 15th. 15th, I think it's a mid show. Brilliant. So, yeah. So we'll see good. you then. Thank you very, oh, very welcome. much. Do not go anywhere because we are going to offer you some more pearls. Don't you worry, amazing prices. And other gemstones after this. like to design a kit and launch it with a presenter live on Jewelry Maker. Well, with our upcoming 10th birthday this coming May, we're going to give the chance for one lucky viewer to do just that. All you have to do is send a blank email to the email address below, download the pack, fill in the details and send it back to us. A panel of judges will pick one lucky winner to have their jewellery designed and put into production. You'll get to spend the day at Jewelry Maker designing projects and finishing pieces with a guest designer and then you'll get to launch the kit live on Jewelry Maker on the 4th of May. And on top of that, you'll get £200 credited to your Jewelry Maker account. It's that simple. If you're stuck on where to begin, here's a couple of your favourite guest designers on where they get their inspiration from. I think the first few things you think is the who, what, when and where sort of questions. So who's it for? Is it going to be a necklace? Is it a tiara? Is it a suite? Is it going to be worn at a wedding or to the beach or shopping or something like that? So that's the first thing I'll choose. Is it going to be textiles, a suit cash, wire, all those things? That's got to be considered first. And then I think about how do I pull all those things together? So if I've got um, large gemstones, I think, well, I'm, I'm going to need larger clasps. So making everything fit together and that actually you can ensure when you've got that kit, you can actually make the piece of jewellery that you've got in mind. You don't have to add or bring anything else into it. 
I get a lot of inspiration from uh, being outside and nature. And then I also get inspiration from much quieter times. So the inspiration might come as um, a thought or a feeling or in, in poetry or stories. It's a sort of opening your mind up to lots of things. So sometimes really energetic things and sometimes really quiet and peaceful things. I think that's how I get my inspiration. The closing date to get your entries in is March the 3rd. So get your pack today. Jewelry maker. Create. Where? When? It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Hello, welcome back. We've got an hour to go. We've got loads and loads and loads to do. How amazing is Jan? We just love, love, love having her on here. It's just amazing. Founding of knowledge, learn loads and loads. Um, I think Vicky, uh, Vicky, that's me. I think Lucy's with you tonight. Lucy Nichols, I think she's going to be here, which is I love Lucy. I've known Lucy for years and years as well, so it's nice to always cross over with her. I don't get to see her very often anymore. So I think she's with you tonight. Um, right, we're going to start with, we've got so much to do. We're going to do lots more um, gemstones. We've got some silver. We've got some, uh, we've got a beading tray, a beading mat. We've got more gemstones. We've got fire line. We've got all sorts. Wildfire. Lots to bring you. We're going to start, though, with some amethyst bezel connectors. Uh, See Jan, okay. she's been packing up all of her bits and bobs. Okay, starting with your pear-shaped cabochons. Beautiful bezel set. Great, great connectors. 
Yes, please, Dan. 925 sterling silver bezel connectors with beautiful, beautiful amethyst. Look at the intensity of colour. There was, they, are these ambient by any chance? They, they are stunning, stunning, stunning amethyst colour. Yes, knew it. Zambian amethyst, great colour. Um, so whether you're using these in bracelets, necklaces with your pearls, uh, earrings, they do give you a very, very professional finish and with stunning quality amethyst as well. 95 sterling silver bezel connectors going to a brilliant price. Bearing in mind, you're getting 10 of these. You could even link them all together and make a bracelet, couldn't you? But those of you that are new to jewellery making, this gives a very professional finish very quickly. So you could drop a pearl onto the end of it, shepherd's hook on the top, and make a beautiful pair of silver, solid sterling silver, amethyst and pearl earrings very quickly, more or less with just being able to open and close a jump ring and make, making maybe um, a simple loop. Um, well done, Leslie's already there, Alice is there, Debbie's there. It's been one of the busiest weekends I've ever been a part of. Uh, it's just been amazing, hasn't it? So thank you so much for your company. These are £14.95, bearing in mind you're getting 10. You are getting 10, they are stunning quality. Big advocate of amethyst. I think it's probably one of the most, well, it was the first gemstone I ever bought. Um, and I'm not the only person that will say that. It is one that I think a lot of us reach for, uh, especially outside of your big four. It's one of the most famous gemstones there is. Debbie, Sue, Christine, Leslie, County Durham, Northumberland, West Midlands, well done. 95 sterling silver. Today, less than 15 pounds. We've done some crazy prices for the last four hours. We're going to continue for the last... In fact, we're going to go a bit crazier even. We've got gemstones. We've got um, some wildfire, beetle on wildfire. But we've, we've got um, amethyst. We've got, oh, some butterfly backs. The rose gold butterfly backs as well, which I know are always very, very popular. £14.95 for 95 sterling silver connectors. You don't, you don't necessarily need to, um, to use them as connectors either. You could take that one bottom connector off, couldn't you? Less than £15. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well done, everybody. Well done. There's a lot of people that have got these in the basket. Please do not forget to check out. It's only an amazing deal if you make the most of it, after all. It's been, um, it's been a funny weekend because we've... we've uh, I mean, it's been incredible. But it's very, very difficult. We, we haven't had any Wi-Fi whatsoever. It doesn't affect, obviously, the broadcasting side of it, but it, it feels like we've um, stepped back in time and all of us have to, have to chat. We had prep time, we had to talk. It's been awful. It's been absolutely awful because we didn't we couldn't sit and play our games or anything. Well done everybody. Angela, Christine. Let's listen to Bruce. Just £14.95. Hence why you haven't seen very many um, videos and pictures today. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're getting it all up and running. I think our technical team are working on it at the moment. Right. So there's all your connectors. Let's have a look at, I mentioned this just a, so, a second ago. Your wildfire beading thread from Beadle On. Really lovely and, um, and, and strong, obviously, if you are doing, uh, if you are stranding heavier gemstones, it's going to be, it's going to be fine as well. Colour as well. This is probably the most popular colour that we stock. Do you say Mark Smith loves this colour? Yeah, I, I think this might be his favourite colour actually. I know he, he loves this one and the green as well, but the grey is always a great one. Um, in the, the sewing world that, I, that I'm from as well, whenever we try and get something to blend in with different colours, we use grey. Um, and this is brilliant because if you're using solid, you know, 
monochrome ge uh, gemstones, you still want to be able to uh, make it work and blend in with both of them, then grey is always a great w way to go, a great colour to go to be able to blend in between them. You get loads and loads and loads on there. From Big Lawn. Going to a brilliant price. There you go, straight down, £6.95. You're firmly bonding, bead weaving thread. Um, so how much weight can this take? Does it normally say? In pounds, does it normally say? It does normally say, doesn't it, on the cover? But I know that this is one that it is always that file on that it tells you the, uh, the weight. £6.95. It is one of the most, Becky's telling me it's one of the most popular colours whenever we bring wildfire in grey, always sells very quickly. Just £6.95, I'm not surprised at that price. Stock up your stash whilst we can. Right, we've got some black elastic. Oh great, this is brilliant. Um, there you go, pearl stretches anybody, especially now we've got our Dremel, if you're worried about getting your elastics through the drill holes, now you've got the Dremel, you can make stretchy pearl um, bracelets, and it might look, re I think it would look really cool actually with the black elastic, quite often though if you're using dark, uh, darker gemstones, if you're using maybe the jet that we had on Friday, that was brilliant, you could use it with this. Uh, very, very simple to use. Those of you that are starting out jewellery making, you don't need any tools. You just need to be able to do a knot and maybe use a little bit of um, clear nail varnish to secure it. But you literally don't need any other tools or equipment just to be able to tie a knot. 25 metres of your black stretch cord. Oh, so hang on. Yes, it is elastic, isn't it? Just glass is elastic cord. Um, £6.95, £6.95, and you've got 25 metres, 25 metres for £6.95, amazing value. I know that Wayne, uh, Wayne's daughter Courtney, she started making loads of stretches, hasn't she? This, uh, I think for summer holidays, or to get children involved as well, it's brilliant, and I find it so therapeutic. Six pounds ninety-five, twenty-five meters. <laughs> for just six ninety-five. Um, we don't have any other colours to offer you today, so make the most of that. Oh, look at these! Um, somebody was telling me that. Can you see? I never even thought about this until you actually look at it. How these are made, how these are constructed, so you can see that they're folded round into curls. If you uncurl this and you put some uh, chain or, you know, you can make your own sort of gemstone tassels and then close it, you could have the front stud. I don't know whether this was um, Katie Reid that told me this, but you could have a stud at the front and then you could have attached to the butterfly back of your earring you could have really lovely long strands that are then interchangeable of different gemstones it's a great idea or different tassels um, butterfly backs though you absolutely can't go wrong the amount of butterfly backs that I tend to lose I don't know where but um, I'm always hunting high and low for them so these are really really handy to just have in your stash ready to go the fact that they're 925 sterling silver as well if you do craft fairs and somebody's saying oh do you know I only use I only wear not I can only wear 925 sterling silver you've got them there ready to go you have 50 in your pack now as well we've got our Dremel, I just keep thinking of lots of opportunities of making um, pearl earrings. You can now buy a round pearl that's not got you know, any drill hole, half drill it, make your own studs or with the, uh, with the posts that we had, um, posts that we had earlier as well, £10.95 for 50 925 sterling silver. 95 sterling silver butterfly backs. They're lovely, aren't they? I've got, I've got my sister I could do with getting there for her because we're always saying, oh, can't find any backs for our earrings. Just nine, just £10.95 for all 50. And your weight on silver, you've got 4.6 grams. 4.6 grams of solid 95 sterling silver and it's been rose gold plated. Lovely, lovely indeed. Okay. 
Dan's very, very busy tonight, isn't he? He's here, there and everywhere. Uh, he was here this morning as well. Dan, are you here till the, to the end? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know when you said that you were here doing double, you're actually doing triple. Yes. You are? Okay. It's all, all day today. You're very lucky to have done all day today. Number two, bales. I say bales, these are actually, they're, they're fluted bales, but I think these are really versatile because when I first saw these, I saw them like that. <laughs> and I thought, oh, you could drop a little gemstone and have like a bezel set gem like this. But then I, somebody emailed in and said, no, Vic, they're bales. <laughs> they're fluted bales, they're like this. So there you go, they're versatile. This is a great thing about making jewellery, making your own jewellery, is that I know a lot of people have got different uses for different things. Again, you could have them this way. Attach um, gemstones sitting in the centre and have it like sort of bezel set or, or um, sort of, uh, what's this word, when it's just hanging down. Looks like all. Um, yeah. I'm so delirious, by the way. I'm, uh, I, I don't know how many hours sleep I've had in the last few days, and my brain just. I'm just. Do you know if you were to have it? Uh, not. But I'm keep going to say the word vaulted concentration, right? So if it's hanging through the centre here, it's suspended. Got there on my own. Got there on my own. Thank you for your support, though. Thank you for your support. You're going to say draped. It's good, but it's not the right one. I was looking for suspended. Got there in the, on the, in the end. So you've got how many in the pack? Ten. You have ten 14 millimetre loop bells. And you're going to fit a nice chunk of chain through there, aren't you? Nice chunk of chain. Rose gold plating. We are loving rose gold. We really, really are. For those of you that have loved some of the, uh, the pearls that we've had today, they look stunning with rose gold. £14.95. So the individual pearls would look great as pendants. Really, really great as pendants. And you don't need to worry about making your own bale. Look a very professional finish with rose gold plating. £14.95. What are you up to tonight? What's everybody doing? What's everybody having for the dinner? Normally I get a lot of messages about this sort of time, about um, takeaways. It's Saturday. No, it's Sunday, isn't it? Oh, have you had a roast dinner? Oh, I, I don't think I've got the energy tonight to cook anything. Did you? He had a cheeky Chinese last night, delivered to the house. Oh, 14.95. Sunday, I, I don't think I can deal with um, cooking a Sunday roast today. 14.95 for all of it, but it is that sort of weather, isn't it, that we just want some nice winter warmer food. These are all stamped, by the way. I should show you the top of the, the bale there. They're all stamped as well. They're 95 stamped. Right. All 10 of them, great price points. And they're weighty as well. They've got great weight to them. They're not flimsy by any means. this citrine but look at the texture of these they're kind of frosted like these a lot forty five carats amethyst and citrine matte finish not frosted they're matte finish still mix these in with your faceted they look beautiful still with um with faceted gemstones but I do love this springtime palette Amethyst and citrine, uh, a great combination of gemstones. And like we were saying earlier with some of the strands of pearls, um, when you've got a graduation like this, for me, that's a finished piece of jewellery. You could restrand that and have it as a bracelet because you've got that lovely graduation or as a necklace equally. Um, you've got rounds in there. You've got these really lovely, beautiful, elongated um, tumbles, they're all called. But you've got some lovely uh, shapes in there, all different. Just like the texture of them. I suppose when you're starting out in the jewellery making world, it's not something you necessarily think about. But then as you sort of progress along, you think about different textures and how that, if you, if you put them with uh, highly polished gemstones, the look that you're going to get, adding it in with seed beads, adding it with accent gemstones, different sizes and shapes and scales, you start to think more about that. They're lovely colours together, aren't they? 18 centimetre strand, 45 carats. Amethyst and citrine graduated matte tumbles. 
the amount of strands that we've seen under £10 today has been crazy. We're going to get this one under £10 as well. So anybody, which I know there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you that have opened your order today, add this in, add it in. Citrine, Amethyst, you can't go wrong. And I must say, they go beautifully with pearls. They really, really do. Whether you're looking at larger pearls, smaller pearls, pinky pearls, they all just look beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And very nice with rose gold, actually. Very, very nice with rose gold. Wasn't there something that I needed to show for Liam? I know that Liam came in and said, could I show something? <gasps> he snuck these past Jan, didn't he? He was a bit sneaky with these. He's always sneaking up, isn't he? Um, have you seen the video of him? So he's moved in with a lovely um, Joe, and Joe's done a video of making Liam jump. We can't show it on air because the, he's, it makes him jump quite a lot. Uh, but it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, he was being sneaky, sneaky, getting these past Jan. You know how much Jan loves the lever back. One, yeah, two, three pairs of lever back. Beautiful earrings, they'd be great with any of the pearls. They're going to be coming up in Liam and Lucy's show after six o'clock. He also wanted to show us, was it this one? I think it was this one, you know. This strand of pearls as well that is going to be coming up very, very soon in Liam and Lucy's show this evening. That's coming up. Um, your amethyst is just eight pounds. 95 for amethyst and citrine, all those lovely different shapes and sizes. Okay, we've got double trouble, double trouble. Two big strands. Are these rubies? Gosh, they look amazing garnets. This is what I love. They look like rubies. 36 carats times two. Two 36 carat red garnet faceted rondelles. I would have these again with little pearls. They look so beautiful. Little pearls, maybe with some of your CZ inserts with them. It, it, uh, this is a bracelet with just one pearl with an insert and it would look so lovely. To say that you've got two strands is going to feel like two strands for the price of one, seriously. You're getting absolute top quality Indian red garnet. Is this Rajasthan garnet? Amazing. Should be £19.80. When I say we're going to do double trouble, two for the price of one, this does not make any sense whatsoever. I would absolutely be happy to bring you one. That looks bigger than 30 centimetres to me as well. 8 oh. My initial thought with these were rubies, and that's very impressive with this size of garnet, because normally, if you're looking at this size on garnet, it could be very, very black. Yeah, it can really be very overly saturated. These are so sparkly, so red, that mulled wine red for just £8.99. <laughs> 36 carats times two. 72 carats, I think. 36 times two, 72. Okay, we've got some lovely little star charms. Oh, oh, hang on. These have got pearls on as well. How pretty are these? Oh, if you've got a stretchy pearl bracelet or, you know, any of your pearl bracelets, this, this, these could be um, dangling off. You could have them on earrings. You could have even just really lovely, simple um, pendants. I think they'd all look nice for a cross the chain on a neckline piece. Oh, they are gorgeous. Good choice. What about with any of your pink pearls as well? If you were to have these just dangling off a, a pearl bracelet, it looks so pretty. Or off, off a bubble star bracelet. They'd look nice as well, wouldn't they? 95 sterling silver with fresh water pearls. I've got a feeling these are going to be very, very, very popular indeed. You know when we saw some of the, um, I wonder whether actually, I was going to say not necessarily with this colour, but some of the larger parts that we've seen, if you were to set these together, oh actually, do you know what? I think that works really well. That was a star buy from the last hour. 
having this again just suspended suspended over the top that would look beautiful or how would it work actually suspend no because they were rose gold you could mix your golds opportunities loads and loads and loads that you could do this you make a pair of earrings um, uh, have one dangling off a, a stretchy bracelet and also one for a pendant you're getting all four of them 9.95 £9.95 we've loved everything under £10 the, whenever we've gone under 10 the phone has have gone absolutely crazy 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 just so you know people are still checking checking out on the Dremel have a serious think about it I wouldn't wait too long though because that's um, that's a really, really exciting acquisition. I know that um, Jan was saying she wouldn't be without it. She said it was worth every single penny. So if you are umming and ahhing about it, have a chat with Jan maybe or send her a message. If there's anything that you want to ask about it, then let us know. But it does open up so many amazing possibilities when it comes to jewel making. So loads of people are just checking out on it. If you have got it in your basket, be aware that we're now becoming quite limited on that Dremel. All four of your star charms less than 10 pounds. They're stamped on the back as well. They are stamped. 95 sterling silver stamps. Right, we have got some amethyst. I like these shapes. I do like these shapes a lot. And I was thinking about this with Jan. Quite often now, I follow, follow a lot of fashion houses and I, I've been working with gemstones for, for nearly 10 years now and I've seen such change in what comes in and out of fashion, amethyst is always there, but actually you see um, more of the organic sort of colours actually, as opposed to, and the organic um, clarities. I think they're really, really beautiful, beautiful colours. 350 carats of lovely lavender amethyst slabs. Look at the colours of them, so organic. 350 carats of your light amethyst. We're going to go to an amazing price. Bearing in mind one of those could be on a, a, a statement bracelet. 24.95 is fantastic. Again, add them in with your pearls. They look beautiful. Just because we did say in the last the last auction that everything under £10 has gone crazy. This is going to be no exception. Just £9.99. Oh my word, I want to go to a, a roller disco. Roller skating disco. Where? 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 Bruce is going to a roller skating disco. You've been. Oh my word, we need to find another one. <laughs> oh my word, is, what, is the casualties, is there alcohol involved? What happens? Gosh, no, that's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Can, do you, I don't think I can do it. I used to be able to do it, obviously. I don't think I've put roller skates on since I was about 10. So, is it as good as you remember? <laughs> it's as good as you remember, Bruce is saying. Is it as easy as it used to be? No. No, it's a lot harder than it used to be. And it hurts a lot more than when you fall over. You know, you're, yeah, when you, I used to, uh, talking about that, things that used to be a lot easier, I tried to give my friend a backy on my new bike. Oh, I had a new bike, one with a basket, and I thought, come on, jump on, you can get on and we can go down, because um, I thought, I want, oh, she didn't have a bike with her, so I said, jump on the back. Oh, my word, it was so difficult. I'm never doing it again, it didn't end well, and yes, you're right, it hurts a lot more, it does hurt a lot, a lot more when you come off. Um, so yeah, I won't be ever offering anybody a backy again. <laughs> Just £9.99. So maybe a roller disco isn't my thing. Do it. No, but I bet you, you, you looked really cool though when you were like, nice skater outfits. I'd be there with my knee pads, my elbow pads, my helmet, everything, all ready to fall. <gasps> 650 carats of roach quartz. Hang on, is this an actual thing? I thought at the start that this was a bit of a joke, but actually you did go to a roller disco to together. Oh, I like this faceting. They've actually been. They, they've, the two of them have actually been to a roller disco together. Ah, so you tried to push Becky over and failed and you fell. 
I love karma. And then Bruce got in the mood, so he, he left. He left. He didn't get back on the. So is it in, like, does everybody go in the same direction? Everyone's going round and round. You've got to, otherwise you get told off. You're not allowed to stop. Because you know when you go to an ice skating rink, everybody's going the same way, but then there's somebody that's going in and out and round and it, they get in the way. No, they wouldn't put it up without the roller disc going. It's very strange. You have to go around and no stopping. <gasps> Gosh, I don't even know how to stop. Isn't there like stoppers on the front on your toes? Uh, okay, Becky uses the wall to stop. So she said, just go straight into the wall. Bruce uses his face to stop. <laughs> just straight on the floor. How have we got onto the subject of roller disco? <laughs> 600 of it. Well, how long ago was this? 650 carats of rose, rose quartz. Oh, that's why, because it was only last week. Oh, I'm so jealous. Nine pounds, 95 for 650 carats of rose quartz. Did you go on this roller disco, Adam? I wasn't there, unfortunately. No, no, Adam didn't go. I really want to go to one, that sounds amazing. Becky says she highly recommends it to anybody. I really recommend it. I really like the shape on these, by the way, I must say. They're like um, a bit of a twist to them. Oh, is that the snow dome? Nine pounds, 95 for that twist on a beautiful rose quartz slab. They're really, really cool. And there's certain gemstones. I said this the other day. I love gemstones that um, have got lots of history and lots of meaning. But this one, I, I honestly feel something from. I think it really represents friendship and love and just a very calming colour, isn't it? And that beautiful rose colour. 650 carats of rose quartz. So 9 95 we've done that again. Another one. Under £10 is crazy. Um, should we do the beadsmith beading mat? So, well, I say bead mat, you get three of them. Now, virtually every single one of our guest designers will come on with one of these. Why? Because, let's face it, you cut a strand, everything that we are, we're, we're looking at is on a temporary strand. Quite often, seed beaders as well. Um, the first thing I want to do is tip everything out. You've got a bead scoop, you've got a new strand. If you put that out without your beading mat, it's going to go everywhere. And we've all been there. You drop it and you can't pick them up. You can't find them. These are brilliant um, to have there on your desk. They're not going to be uh, slipping and sliding out the way. You're not going to lose any of your, your beads or your seed beads. It's like a bit of a, a felty sort of texture, fluffy texture, double-sided. It's going to protect the surface, but also um, is great. For, for doing all of your beadwork on. Essential, really, isn't it? Okay, so you get three of your bead mats. They're good size as well, aren't they? Because sometimes I've seen ones that are probably more this size, and, um, yeah, you're still probably going to lose a, a lot of your beads, whereas this is really, really handy. Really handy to work from. And you've got three. So maybe you keep one in a bag that you take off to your workshops or take off to, um, you know, if you're going off to to craft fairs or to, to a friends if you do beading together. And then you can keep one in your workroom. The one's slightly thinner. See, it's a slightly different colour. I don't know if I'm being... Bruce might know the difference. Bruce, do you know the difference between these two? There's three different, slightly different textures. Can you see? Oh, if only um, Jan was still here. Okay, anyway, they're £4.95. Message in, you all know at home. Message in, tell us, because Bruce doesn't know. Bruce's been here since day dot, and he's saying, do you know what, I don't know what they're different textures are for. <laughs> £4.95. Bruce is in charge, you see. He's in charge, he's keeping us, he's keeping us in line, he's entertaining us. He's making sure, just like at the roller disco, we all are going the same way and nobody stops. <laughs> but he tries to push everybody over along the way, doesn't he? Tries to trip us up. <laughs> and then he falls on his face. Four pounds, 95. Your bead map for 495, all three of them in there. Please let me know what the different textures are for. I'd love to know. 
You don't want any sea bee disasters though, do you? Because imagine picking all of those out. It must be um, a very time consuming if you drop a sea bee. So we don't want any uh, sea bee um, disasters again, do we? Let's do the beading tray. So I suppose this is another way if you are opening up your seed beads. So I suppose you could put your mat inside of it. And then they're really not going to go anywhere. Your, your beading uh, tray aren't going to... All of your, your beads and your seed beads aren't going to go anywhere. From Beadsmith. Nice to take on the move. Quite often, um, if you're doing work maybe in your living room or on the dining table and you do need to move it out the way then to, to, to have your dinner or for family to sit down and it's good to just have it all on the tray all on the mat that you can move it to one side and carry on when you're ready another one under 10 pounds only one pmp all day long remember so if you've already opened your order today either whether it was Zena this morning uh, whether it was this afternoon or whether you're purchasing with lucy tonight you still only pay one pmp all your orders will be uh consolidated at the end of the day at midnight tonight and you'll still only pay one pmp which is brilliant not many companies actually do that you know there aren't many channels that offer that so that's really good one pmp all day long but definitely get this alongside your bead mats um because that's a really lovely addition as well just makes it a bit more portable, doesn't it? Speaking of portable, we've got the, the save and go junior, haven't we? We can do that next, in fact, because these all sort of work hand in hand, uh, uh, being able to, to have your space all set up nice and neatly in front of you. If you're halfway through a project, you don't quite finish it, but you want to keep it where it is. You can keep your bead, your tools, and your projects all in the same place. It's the first time I've seen this, but I think this is really, really handy. Because how many part makes have you got? How many times do you pick something up, not get a chance to finish it, and want to take it away with you? This has got a beading mat included as well. There we go. So, you've got your beading mat. You've also got your... Um, what's this called? It's like a necklace board really, isn't it? You know when we have the beading trays out and they've got all the measurements so you know how long. It's like a mini version of those. It's like a little portable version, isn't it? Of those card version. So, um, if you've got any unfinished projects, basically you've got beading mat which is stuck inside of there. Both of them are... Uh, is that one stuck in? Yes. Or is it on... Um, yeah, they're both stuck down to the base of your, your tray so they're really, really not going to go anywhere create and build so you can create on it build on it um, and if you're not finished it's fine you can just close it take it along in your bag open it and everything is all in the same place and it doesn't necessarily need to just be your beads it can be if you've got um, your tools in there they're going to protect it as well it's a nice hard carry case uh, your your flash cutters and all, all of your bits and bobs plus your beads you can set out your necklace all in there let's show you so you've got your pearl necklace you're halfway through you want to keep it there put your tools in as well put your case on clip it all into place and you can take it on the move along with you I've um I've unclipped this I need to clip it back otherwise I'll get um I don't want to get the blame <gasps> Dan will not be happy there we go you don't want to see Dan's wrath the wrath of Dan do you Oh no, oh no, oh no. Right, there we go. These are lovely butterfly charms. Butterfly connectors, look, they've got the little loops on either end. And they're slightly textured out like this. They're only very, very slightly. Can you see? But they have actually got depth to them. They're 3D connectors. 925 sterling silver. There's plenty of places actually to, uh, to, to work from on there. They'd just be lovely on a macrame bracelet, actually. Along with your pearls, maybe. I think this would ni work nicely in conjunction with today's one-to-own. So if you were to do two rows um, and have this as well in the centre, so you could have this one where you could have your pearls together, they'd look lovely. Just today, bearing in mind they are 925 solid sterling silver, you're getting two grams of sterling silver. 
all three of these, I think you will be shocked on the price. <laughs> Again, another one under 10. Seven pounds, 95, 3D butterfly connectors. They're lovely and highly polished, aren't they? Can't go wrong, you can't go wrong with the Flutter by Design. Stamps on the back, which is always nice, nice little touch, isn't it? To be able to, if you're making to sell especially, you know that they are 95 sterling silver. Price per component is crazy. That's so good. They're big butterflies. 265, what about for a ring as well? They make really pretty rings. I like that. They look really nice as rings. Okay. Or oh, nice drop earrings as well. Okay, they're £7.95. Labradorite. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the blue. I really hope you can see it as well as I can here in the studio because it never comes quite uh, across quite as well as, as at home. But I know that you know Labradorite. And, oh, yes, look at that colour. Look at that. The quality of these is absolutely crazy good look at those every single one is amazing every single one has got that electric blue oh, look at that 20 centimeter strand 116 carats that blue wow 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 isn't that awesome it's electric blue, and I love this almost step faceting, the cut on the top. It's really cool. It's all about having that chill of the magic, though, isn't it? There aren't many gemstones that give you that. It's a real experienced gemstone. You need to get your be. You do need. You do need to, Adam. You need to get your uh, beading mat. Before we don't need seed beads. Disasters. Sixty nine ninety five. Okay. Is this tourmaline? Oh! Tourmaline. Wow. You got bicolor tourmaline on here. You've got blues, almost like in Dicolites. Wow, they look like green Paribas. Oh, I love this. Pink tourmaline, green tourmaline. That one's very, very blue, isn't it? Look at that one, I like that a lot. The pinks are stunning. It's like golden tourmaline as well. Is that a thing? I've never even seen golden. I'm trying to think, have I? Multicolours, though, you just can't go wrong. It's almost like a Cuprian, almost like a Cuprian tourmaline. Um, you've got 35 carats, multicoloured tourmalines. Beautiful bicoloured ones as well. So this is the great thing. It's such a high-end gemstone. And it's such an expensive gemstone. If you were to look at each of these individually, I don't know how I'd sort of price these. Pink, blue, green almost Cuprian colours and tones, or Pariba colour and tones, greens and bright blues. We're going low. 35 carats. A very, very, very high-end gemstone. I would have said that this would be the most expensive, one of, if not one of the most expensive gemstone strands of the day. And yet, we're under 15 pounds. What a way to own such a prestigious gemstone. Tourmaline. So many colours as well. Yes, you can get a pink tourmaline strand, but normally they're small rondals. These are big ovals. Great for rings as well. Just £14.95. Do you know what guest is on this evening? Is there a guest tonight with Luce? I know Liam's here, so you're in for a treat. Liam and Lucy, double trouble. Oh, you've got Laura Binding as well. Brilliant, it's going to be a lovely, lovely evening show tonight. £14.95. Right, we've got some more silver. Are these like little caps? Ah, right, hang on. We've got our Dremel. We've drilled our hole. There's your post. So you could do this straight into 
I could do it now. I've learned how to do it, how to use a Dremel. And they would sit beautifully. It's like a tulip. Look, a tulip bale and cap for an 8 to 9 millimetre bead. And we've seen so many 8 to 9 millimetre pearls today, haven't we? Whether it's already got the drill hole, pop, pop it on. Or whether you're using your new Dremel. That's exciting, isn't it? Sterling silver. It's so, so pretty. Sorry, I'm all fingers and thumbs. There we go. Let me hold it with the tweezers. Um, lovely detail. Is that just silver work? Or has it got some uh, little cubics? Yeah, it's got um, CZ in there. They're really pretty, aren't they? I can just imagine it. I don't know why it's, it's reminding me of Thumbelina. So pretty. Great for, ear, uh, for straight onto a pendant. You would only need to get your amps, your, you know, the, um, the chain that we had earlier on. It'd look lovely with um, a pearl, wouldn't it? It'd look great with a pearl. Just £9.95. Oh, I like that a lot. And I think that's going to give it a very, very, very professional designer finish. And you've got your bail incorporated already as well. Nine ninety five with CZ also. When's the next time you're going to Disney, Becky? What have you got planned next? Of March, twentieth of March. Just nine ninety five sterling silver, solid sterling silver as well. Nine two five sterling silver, and it has got your stamp on the top of the bale there. That one's really pretty. I've not seen that before either. And again, you would just use, like we saw earlier on, um, some adhesive, some of the, 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 what was it that Jan used earlier? Hypo cement, just a little bit of glue or whatever you want to use really to attach it. But that's really useful. Don't forget, by the way, Liam's got those lever back earrings later on, which are going to fly out. They are going to fly out. I love these little textured pieces. See, this is the sort of effect, again, you're going to be able to do with, um, well, you're going to be able to do different textures with your Dremel, but that looks amazing. Looks like it's been hammered. Hammered effect, connector, very designer. Do you know what I would do again? You could suspend, you could suspend a little pearl, couldn't you? That'd look pretty. Really, really pretty. Or again, just macrame bracelet. You could use it in earrings. You could use it that way. You could use it across with um, with pearls again. I've seen lots of amazing pearl auctions uh, that you could you could make um, a bracelet or a chain and carry that along. Lovely with your sterling silver hammered effect connector. Makes it very, very designer esque. Weighty as well. Look, you've got almost two grams of solid sterling silver. Making one of these, don't get me wrong, yes, you absolutely could. But for the time that it would take when you're, you know, you're soldering and you're, you're hammering and you're getting it as absolutely perfect as this one is, for the price that Becky's going down to, I would absolutely just make the most of all of these. Gosh, that is good, isn't it? £4.95. I'm, I'm hoping we've got a big quantity on this because it's very, very busy. Uh, not enough. 23. 23 chances I'd be multi buying on this one if I were you. 95 sterling silver. Hammered effect connector. 18 millimetres in size for just £4.95. You can't go wrong with that one. That is a deal if ever there was one. You could do it even with um, a really lovely, quite bright colour cord, couldn't you? You can put that with anything, really. Um, number six. 
amethyst. See some lovely amethyst strands this hour. Um, these are big faceted rounds, so you've got that almost disco ball effect. The light will just hop from facet to facet and give you brilliant sparkle. They're 10 millimeter rounds as well. They are big. I am thinking for stretches. In fact, with your black elastic cord that we saw earlier on, these would look nice. How about if you were to do one of those and one of the coins? One of those, one of the coins, one of those, one of the coins. That would look pretty cool, wouldn't it? They look really nice together. Or equally, I absolutely love purples with pearls as well. Amethyst and pearls, they do look stunning together. 260 carats of 10 millimeter faceted rounds. It's 38 centimeter strand. You're definitely gonna be able to make at least, at least two stretches. It depends on if, whether you want to, um, to use spacers, but they're really, really lovely. 260 carats, we're literally coming up to the hose straight. We've got about five or so minutes to bring you a few more pieces. Okay, I just want to show you how crazy we're gonna go on this. This is where it should be. It should be today closing at 1995. 260 carats, 11.95. Just 11.95. 95. That is another brilliant, brilliant way of getting at amethyst. Beautiful faceted rounds, 10 millimeter rounds, 38 centimeter strand. Uh, right, can we fit in a couple more? These are lovely. Earrings, I mean they are ready-made earrings almost aren't they? You have got a connector at the bottom which is great because you can start adding any of your pearls, or any of your gemstones onto the bottom of them or you could cut that and then buff it to be smooth and they could just be earrings as they are. But they are lovely. Your double ring with earring post and yes, you're also getting your butterfly back. Jewelry makers, if you're starting out or if you, um, if you just want some really quick, nice, easy makes, then these are absolutely brilliant. All you need to be able to do is open a jump ring and add a gemstone onto the end of that. It's as simple as that and you're making your own jewelry. One pair, sterling silver, they feel weighty. They really do, for less than £10, I tell you what, you've got a lot of silver there. 3.3 grams of silver, I'd understand if we're looking at half of that for the price. 9.95. Have a look at how much you pay for big, glamorous, solid sterling silver earrings. These sort of designs are very on trend as well. I've seen it with costume jewellery for way more. They look beautiful with um, the amethyst pairs that we had earlier. Wouldn't they, the connectors? You could add a drop of... Um, of amethyst on the end, oops, or as I say, a pearl to the end, or some chain hanging down, or a tassel, even just one of your tassels from one of the strands. This would look lovely. With your, maybe a few of the, um, with the garnets. Absolutely make the most of it, it's only a brilliant, only a brilliant price if you check out your basket. We're gonna squeeze one more in. Let's do some more amethyst. This time you're getting these big, 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 are they called barrels? Oh, rice beads, sorry. Lovely big rice beads, 10 by 15, 38 centimeter strand, 270 carats of amethyst. Beautiful faceted rice beads, 38 centimeter strand, it is a matter of how quick can you be, especially with Becky's prices. Trust her on this. Should be. 18.95. Let's go out with a bang. We've seen so many people coming in, getting involved at a certain price point. Uh, if you want to, even just one of those can make a really big statement. Necklace on a really lovely long chain. It looked beautiful like a Lariat star. Uh, for just 9.95. Because they're sort of through drilled like that, even one of those with a macrame bracelet or one of those with um, some really small beads, you don't need to necessarily add them all into one piece of jewellery. They are big statement beads there for just £9.95. I'm barely even moving them and look at how they catch the light. 
Brazilian amethyst, real Brazilian amethyst for just 9.95. 270 carats of amethyst. Don't forget, can I remind you, coming up with Lucy in a minute, you've got Laura Binding tonight and Liam, but also I just want to make sure everybody is aware I think these are coming up at 8 o'clock. I think they might be today's must-have. Um, the lever back, stunning silver earrings. They are awesome. You heard Jan talking about these earlier, especially with pearls. If you want that really secure back, they are great. They really, really are special. Plus, he's got more pearls. Of course, he's going to be wrapping up the pearl weekend, so he will be doing some crazy, crazy... Um, what's his nickname? The Plummet Prince Prices? He also, the Plummet Prince, he also calls himself Becky the Viscount of Value. The, um, what else is Adam? The Duke of, the Duke of Discount. Duke of Discount. The Duke of Discount, he loves it, doesn't he? He's had them all printed onto a jacket. They're all listed on the back of his hoodie. Sultan of Sales. The what? The Sultan of Sales. Oh my word, what is he like? Anyway, he's going to be joining you with Lucy in a couple of minutes, um, along with Laura Binding. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're like, Liam, it doesn't count if you're the only person that calls you by these names. What's he like? It's been amazing to be with you, by the way. It's been really, really lovely to have your company. I'm back. I can't, I'm not sure when, but I'll be back at some point um, over the next couple of weeks, so I'll see you then. Uh, don't forget, Liam is going to be coming up with the finale of our poll weekend right after this. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 60 